Before saying goodbye to Minecraft Hardcore Season 2 and moving on to Season 3, I thought it would be a great way to sign off with one giant episode for you to have on maybe while doing chores, doing your homework, studying, whatever. If you enjoyed the series and want to drop a like or sub, I'd appreciate it, but you don't have to. And I just hope you enjoy this video. What a throwback. So you went on an almost 4,000 day Minecraft hardcore adventure and didn't even tell me? Well, yeah, I suppose so. I mean, surely before the new adventure, you've got to get me all caught up on this one. All right, man, we'll start here. In this episode, I began my Minecraft hardcore journey. Safe to say I didn't know what I was getting myself into. Oh, okay. I will take this. Oh my goodness. As you guys probably know from the past series, I love living next to a village because it's so easy to get villagers that way. How lucky am I? This is, I thought that was another house then, that mountain. This is pretty lucky. No blacksmith, but I will take it. Oh my goodness. Look at this guy. Hey, one of your family members killed me. I will kill you. You don't know it yet because you don't know what I'm saying, but I will. Anyway though, welcome to Hardcore Season... Hello, sir. Welcome to Hardcore Season 2. What is going on here? Oh, it's a... Wait, it's a mine shaft. Oh, and it's burning down. I will take it i very much need food but yeah welcome to hardcore season two i'm very can you just please be quiet i'm very excited i've got a lot of stuff planned i, I can i can do more i've got a lot more time to play <gasps> emeralds you guys know i love my emeralds i love emeralds and i love tnt Preferably 100,000 of it. I have a lot of time to do things on this world. I don't go to school anymore, YouTube full time, so I can actually do things. So yeah, very exciting stuff. Look how weird I look without armor. Oh my goodness. Yo, could I just like steal some of your crops? Take that as a yes. Aren't these guys like really useless? You know these like green guys? Aren't they just useless? I don't know. But anyway, as I was saying, welcome. <laughs> to hardcore season two i'm very excited i think i'm just going to explore i mean i've got other things to do you know wait let me just grab the coords of this place but yeah we've got a lot of things to do it feels so weird seeing that day counter on day zero we have a lot to get done oh those squids just reminded me i need to get an axolotl i need to get a purple axolotl in this series wait is that is that a really weird looking mountain or is that a village that has got to be a village if that's not a village and that's just a mountain i'm gonna be so surprised Ah, I thought so. Oh, and there's a, there's a, te not, not, not temple, what's it called? Portal. Anything good? I mean, anything that's in there, I'll take it. Maybe not the pressure plate, but I'll take these things. But yeah, if you guys didn't know, the last episode where I was trying to get the purple axolotl, the reason I needed to get so many buckets from the iron farm was because I was going to be getting either a stack, 100 or 500 axolotls. I wasn't sure which to go for, which would be better, but then I died. But what he did it anyway? So I mean, I'm glad someone got to do it. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure Cookie did it as well. If you guys don't know Cookie, in his comment section, I offered him a war to see who can become richer not knowing that i was actually richer anyway and then i died in my world so i think he might overtake me this this is minecraft generation for you look at this you ready straight into a mountain this bath is useless oh mr b hello <gasps> it could be a blacksmith oh my goodness this village is so much cooler and i'm right near the ocean i can uh maybe go get a black slot all i need to go and grab every single piece of hay because i would like infinite bread Okay, I just finished breaking this little pile of hay here. There's still some to go, but do you see that in the background? Can you see that? Another village. What is this luck? I'm just gonna quickly grab the rest of the hay because I, really, I, I genuinely do really want it. And then it's time to explore another village. Oh, I do need to go into a cave, actually. Not quite yet because I will probably die, but I, I do. I, I need to get that done. Oh, we have a blacksmith. Anything good? I hope so. Okay, I'll take it. Oh, look at all those advancements. Not exactly the best we could have got, but you know what? I will take emeralds, diamonds, and some armor. I mean, I didn't get the emeralds, but this is still a cool screenshot. Look at me. Wait, do dogs look different? They're a bit different, aren't they? Those little things around the ankles and stuff. That's not just that's not just me, is it? I feel like that's a 1.17 thing. I don't know. To me, they look different. Okay, I'm gonna go head over to the village now, but it is becoming nighttime. I mean, it, it basically is nighttime. My first night. <gasps> Skeleton on the house. Excuse me, sir. I'm gonna have to kick you out. I'm sorry. My first night of minecraft hardcore season two look at this amazing landscape on minecraft hardcore season two it is now morning and the cows are mooing are you gonna are you gonna moo all right i think that's everything in fact i'll grab these squads as well why not <gasps> a dolphin hey dolphin could you could you give me a ride please time to go very fast look at me go Oh, I'm drowning. I forgot I don't have my enchantments anymore. Oh, a boat? Okay, I'll take it. Could get a nice little treasure hunt going on from one of the maps. Okay, I'm going to try not to drown. Wish me luck. Anything good? Oh, a buried treasure map. Anything here? Okay. All right, there might be one more chest in here. 
Oh, oh my goodness. That is very good. I think I know what I'm going to do next. I've just realized I've gone almost two Minecraft days. Wait, what is that? Another portal. But I've gone nearly two Minecraft days without even chopping any wood. So I'm going to go to that now quickly. Bum, 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 bum. Um, boom. Crafting table. I want to find this buried treasure. Imagine it's like right here. Okay. I Is that that way? I don't know. I guess we'll have to see. Oh, okay. That's that's definitely not correct. Okay. Maybe I need to go this way. Oh my goodness. This is so annoying to do. And another pirate ship. I'm not going to loot it. In fact, yes, I am. Anything good? Wow. So about 21 wheat. Amazing. Oh. <gasps> Oh, we are getting close. Okay, I'm going to try the Filzer tactic. I mean, I don't know if it's his tactic, but I saw him mention it and I know it works because I've used it before. So we go there. Is that correct? Good thing I got this golden shovel because it's time to dig. Oh my goodness. Okay, I don't think I've found it that quickly, but look at that. We have found the treasure. Okay, three, two, one. I'd say that is a win. I will take that heart of the... And I'm dying. Oh my goodness. Four diamonds now. I will take it. Oh wait. I'm so dumb. I didn't take a bed. Okay. Before we continue to adventure out any further, I think I'm just going to head to the village quickly because I don't want to be surrounded by those guys. I need to go to sleep. So I'll, I'll see you in a second. Oh, I accidentally went over the ocean monument and now I've got three minutes 15 of mining fatigue and tomorrow I need to go mining So I guess i'm literally just gonna sit in this house for a couple of minutes. Oh, no, I can't go to sleep because of this guy Oh wait, I have an idea Never mind. I was gonna do that and then hit him but he's walking away anyway. What a day. Oh my goodness Can't even get out of the house. Look at him. He's so annoyed Villager, we can finally escape. Oh my goodness. But yeah, what do you guys think I should actually do on this world? Of course, you know, there's the normal things. But if you guys have any ideas, I have a bunch of ideas and it's literally only episode one. Do you want me to do massive things every episode? Do you want me to take it slow? Do you want me to do a bit of both, you know? I mean, we can't exactly do massive things right at the start anyway. Because, I mean, it's not like I've got materials and stuff to do so. But, you know, when we're grounded and stuff, we've got all like, you know, house, tools. We've got all materials. We can actually, you know, we can start doing some pretty cool stuff. In fact, should we ruin the comment section? I'm going to pop a word on the the screen for literally one second and you guys will have to comment it we're gonna completely ruin the comment section but also please give me comments of what you want me to do in this series and stuff okay the word is okay if you got that comment that but only certain people will be able to do it in fact wait, before i go mining i just realized i was gonna wait until i get some stone to make the tools but i am rich with iron i mean not exactly rich but i, I can make some iron tools there we go Easy, 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 easy. I should have said this earlier on, but I actually have three main objectives for this world. So the first objective is to get some pretty decent armor. I'd say at least full iron is good for the first episode. The second was going to be to get some diamonds, but I mean, we, we've already done that. I mean, we could still try and find some through mining. And the third is make some sort of house. It doesn't have to be an insane house, but you know, some sort of an okay looking house, you know, maybe like the size of like two of these normal village houses put together, you know, a decent size for me to live in. How many iron ingots can I make? Okay, two. So I've got 11. Did I make full iron armor yet? No. I can make a chest plate, but I can't make the boots. I literally need two iron nuggets. Oh my goodness. I guess it's time to get mining then. Oh, a dark oak. I mean, it's not like I just saw it. I did already notice it before, but look at this. A dark oak forest. These are pretty cool. We've got the spruce. We've got this. We've got like plains. We've got the swamp. We've got the warm ocean for Fraxartles. This is great. All we need now is a jungle. I literally said in my last video, I was asking what are your guys' favorite biomes. But yeah, we didn't really get many comments of what your guys' favorite biomes are but i genuinely wanted to know i think the reason is everyone was just way too distracted about me dying in my hardcore world so yeah comment it on this video because i'm actually curious of course mine a jungle i'd love to live in a jungle although i don't know if we would we, we could find one but I, f I feel like it's kind of unlikely but that's not important now anyway the important thing is finding an actual decent cave speaking of which i will take it we need to make a shield as well especially if i'm going to be going in caves i don't think i'm going to be exploring like loads of caves i just need some of the basic materials materials right now time to grab this quickly and then i think i'm gonna go smell to my iron i might make myself a shield maybe an iron shovel of course i just need the boots and then we are all set for full iron armor i can't believe how quickly we got it this is a pretty flying start anyway though let's put that there and now we wait All right, there we go. Oh, look at that. 22 coal, 22 iron. So what do we need to make? Boots, we'll take those. I'm gonna make a shovel as well. Why not? And I think, I 
think that's pretty much it. Wow, look at me. Now at this point, all I wanted to do was just explore. So I did that, but this video is already getting way too long. So I'm going to cut all that out and this is where we're at now. Anyway though, I think now what we're going to be doing is getting a bunch of wood because I still have a bit more exploring to do, but I'm not going to be doing that just yet. Oh, we've got, we've got matching colors, Mr. Miss, Mr. Chicken. Look at that. I've got a bit of red on me. He's got a bit of red. By the way, comment if you know what this skin is. Like, do you know what the colors are or anything? Does anyone know the context behind this skin? I mean, I'm not going to lie. I don't fully understand it either, to be honest. But what I think I'm going to do now, before we do any exploring or anything, I think I'm going to go do some deforestation. But not that's a good thing. In Minecraft, it's okay. So I'm going to go break down some trees because I kind of need the wood. I think we're going to get building our first house, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so we're back uh, literally where I spawned at this uh, this first village. And as you can see, I've cleared a bit of space. I, I, I just destroyed grass. I didn't really have to destroy any blocks. I put all my items here. And I think we're just going to get building a house. It's not going to be anything too insane, but it's just going to be, you know, a nice little a nice little build. In fact, I think before anything, what we're going to do, I think there's going to be a little square going here. And what this is going to be is a little wheat farm. Not like a massive one, but just, you know, it, it will look cool. It will look cool. Okay, I guess I can quickly chuck these here. And I know sort of how the house is going to look. I did a kind of rough build on creative, but I don't exactly know how it's going to look with this mountain here. So I think what we're going to do... Oh, I really wish I had scaffolding, but I can't because I don't even have bamboo. So I guess I'll just be sticking with dirt. But I think what we're going to do is go one, two... We'll go for four. And then if I do that on each side, and then this is where the house is actually going to be starting. Because of like the size of the build and stuff, I think it would look weird if the floor was like a whole block. So I think slabs would be perfect for this. Okay, there we go. That's the first floor done. So if we go one, two, three, I think that's probably the perfect roof height. In fact, before we continue, I've just realized for the roof, actually no, probably shouldn't dig here. Here we go, a bit further away, just so I don't ruin the area where my house is going to be. For the roof, I'm going to need some cobblestone, kind of where the roof starts, if you know what I mean. So let me just grab some of that now quickly. There we go. There's those done. So I need these stairs to kind of go here, and then it's just going to go like this all the way up. And then this way as well. So yeah, that's kind of what I meant by the cobblestone part at the edge of the roof. And then the rest on the inside is probably just going to be oak stairs. And now I'm just going to do one sort of thread of the roof. Does that? That's probably not the right word. Just so I can sort of see where the rest of the house is going to go. Oh no. I need some more stairs. Oh yeah, and I should probably say, I've actually got some ideas for sort of how the area is going to look for this house, how I'm going to kind of try and make it look better. Okay, now I'm looking at this now. I don't think this roof part is actually long enough. Okay, so if I extend this roof to about here... All right, there we go. I'd say that's 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 looking pretty good. But now I think what I'm going to do is do a bit more of the house. I probably won't get it completely finished. I'll give you an update before it's actually done. And I'm actually kind of more excited to get the whole decoration going rather than the house. I'm going to have like a pond here. I'm giving away too many secrets, but it's going to be good. Anyway, I'm going to get to building a bit more of this. And yeah, I'll, I'll see you in a second. Oh, 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 oh. No. Come on, skeleton. Please. Oh, no, 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 no. <sighs> anyway, this is where we're at with the house. I now need to fix that. But now I can kind of show you guys what I'm trying to go for with the house. So I think there's going to be maybe just like blocks going around here, some windows. I don't exactly know what's going to go here. And then obviously the same with this side as well. I, I have no idea how it's going to look. But I know there's going to be maybe like a door here, probably a staircase going up to it. And then just windows all around pretty much. So yeah, now you guys know what I'm actually trying to go for with this house. But this guy's bugging me. Every time I look at him, I just get reminded about the terrible experience I I had with him so i think what i'm gonna do is kill him oh my goodness this is scary okay can't hit him there oh if i miss that jump you're telling me i have to go one lower is he gonna be able to hit me i hope not come on man here we go i'm all good this is what you get man i'm sorry you don't deserve it but your family members did all right it's getting close to is that rising no it's going down wait can i go to sleep yet i'm pretty sure villagers can go 20 seconds before us go to bed i'm pretty sure i could be completely wrong there there we go anyway though now i've got some more materials i think what i'm going to do is just get this build done because i'm pretty sure if i'm not wrong this video is getting on a bit you know it's, it's probably about i don't know 15 minutes long at this point hello mr villager how are you so i'm gonna get this house completely finished Hopefully, this is going to be a pretty cool time lapse. Probably the first proper time lapse of the season since the others were just, I wasn't really doing much. So, yeah, I'm going to get finishing this house. Hopefully, it's going to look pretty cool by the time you guys actually see this. So, yeah, I'll see you when it's done because we have something else to do before we finish. <laughs>
And now here we are in my humble abode. Safe to say I took a few arrows to the head trying to get this bone meal from the skeletons. But look, I think this looks pretty cool. You know, it's not the most massive extravagant house, but I, I think it looks quite nice. You know, I've got the little entrance here. A nice little bridge going over this pond with like no fishing. But maybe we'll have an axolotl in there at some point. I think this wheat farm is kind of nice. And then all over here, I was going to have wheat. But I thought it'd just be nicer to have a bunch of vegetation. Is that what it's called? We've even got some bees here. Anyway, I think we've done quite a lot this episode. More than I've done in any other episode one. But like I said before I finished the house, I have one more thing to do. You know, we've got some decent iron armor, some things in the chest. We've got a lovely starter house right here. But one thing I haven't done out of the three on the list is get diamonds. I found diamonds, but I haven't actually mined diamonds, which is my main goal. So it's time to get to mining. Now, while we could find caves, I'm just going to go mining. I'm going to go all the way down to level, I think, 11, 10, and 9 are the best ones. I don't know. What do you guys think? I know it's very controversial of what level is actually the best. I don't know. You guys can tell me what you think. Also, by the way, if you didn't know, a good idea to block those off because if you don't, then creepers may spawn. Trust me, I know. Anyway, though, what level are we at? 25, 14... All right, level 10. I think we're going to go with that. And now it's just time to time to mine. Wait, I wonder if the level of like diamonds has changed. I mean, I can hear lava, which is a good sign. But what if where you get diamonds has actually changed? I don't know. What are these blocks called again? Are they called tough? No, they're not called tough. What What's the block that's called tough? I don't even know. Wait, is it this one? No, but there's a block in this game called tough. I don't know what the point is in it, but it's called tough. And I can't even remember what it looks like. Oh, my first bit of gold. I will take it. Wait, is it my first bit of gold? I have no idea. I can hear lava and it's scaring me. I'm literally not going uncrouched because I'm so scared about falling in lava. <gasps> tough, we found it. I have no idea what it is, but we have found some tough. But we don't want tough, we want diamonds. Oh my goodness, diamonds. Okay, please be a fan of eight. I'm just gonna mine them. I'm not gonna mine around them. One, two, okay. Definitely not a vein of eight, but I will take any diamonds nonetheless. Five. Is it more? Okay, five. I'll take it. I will take that. Ladies and gentlemen, we have now completed the challenge of finding diamonds. I've now got... Wait, how many have I got? I think I've got nine. Pretty cool. Anyway, now I've literally broken all my pickaxes getting those diamonds. I'm trying to think, what should we do with those diamonds? Oh my goodness. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Oh, oh my goodness. Anyway, though, what I was going to say is I feel like we can't just leave these diamonds here. We need to do something with them. So I think we're going to make myself a fresh new diamond chest plate. Or should we make a sword? Now nah, we'll make a chest plate. Look how snazzy I look. But I think we're going to be ended this episode here. We actually got quite a lot done. We explored all around this area, which is very exciting. We got a fresh brand new house looking looking pretty good. I genuinely like this more than my other house. I don't know about you guys, but I think it looks pretty cool. I like how it's all like closed off with the trees. I like this area. I think it's pretty cool. And and of course, our second and third goal, we got our armor and we got some diamonds, which is very exciting. Not even like one diamond. We got nine. But thank you very, very much for watching. Hopefully, you guys are excited for the future of this series. I very much am. And I've got some more videos coming that aren't just the hardcore series. So let me know if you are excited for those. Let me know what you want me to do on the channel other than the hardcore series. Because I have some other video plans. Maybe even with my friends as well. Anyway, thank you very, very much for watching. And uh, yeah, here's to a great series. I'll see you in a bit. Bye-bye. Seems like you had quite the start. Yeah, I'd definitely say I got quite lucky. So what happened next? Well, you know how Minecraft Hardcore can be quite the challenge? Of course. Well, I decided to make myself some enchanted diamond armor for protection, which gave me the courage to go into the nether and go on a big diamond mining trip. Hello, hello, welcome back. Welcome to Hardcore Episode 2. I know, I've not died yet. Are you proud of me? But yeah, welcome back to the Hardcore series. In fact, let me show you. A couple of things have happened. Of course, we have the sugar cane here. Nothing special. But the reason I actually had to get that sugar cane is because we now have a librarian over there. Can you see him? Because, ladies and gentlemen, I did some off-camera mining. And I got myself 23 diamonds plus a diamond pickaxe. So what we're going to be doing is making some diamond armor. I have this guy over here to actually get emeralds with wheat we can then go and buy a bunch of protection yes it's only protection three but you know what we'll get protection four later on and the reason i want to get such good armor early on is because when i go to the nether i want to be safe wait what is going on with these is this normal look at these clouds why is this literally looking like my maths textbook paper okay anyway what i'm gonna do before anything else is quickly make this armor there we go done and dusted and now my friends we can put the old armor right here so now 
of course, I do want to go to the nether and I need a way to get emeralds. But before we do that, let me go over here to show you something. So while I'm running, I'm going to pop a time lapse on the screen right now. But this was basically an hour of me fishing. I did try and do it over at the ponds near my house. But unfortunately, I just wasn't getting amazing luck. So I came over to this river over here and I just sat fishing. I did have to just use one of these normal fishing rods for a while until I eventually got this one. And then it all just started to reel in from there. Anyway, though, enough of me rambling. Like I said, I do need to get a bunch of wheat so I can get the emeralds to buy protection. So I'm going to go and quickly flatten out this area quickly. And now we have this nice, extremely flat area where I can go ahead and add all these fences. And I just realized I've got about two and a half stacks of fences. That might not be enough. I was going to be doing maybe just like a row of wheat with water, a bit like how the actual villager wheat farms are made. But I thought this massive wheat farm would be a lot more efficient. What I'm going to do is just leave it open because there's not really any need for me to actually kind of close it off. So now I'm going to go ahead and completely cover this whole area in wheat seeds. But we're going to do it in replay mods because I reckon this is going to look very satisfying so hopefully it looks satisfying and if not then i'm sorry i failed you Now, before you mention it, yes, I did accidentally place water a couple of times, which did make it a bit less satisfying, but at least we got all the wheat seeds placed. Of course, we need to go to the nether, so I'm going to go and grab obsidian. Oh, the miners over here. What am I doing? And one other thing, you're probably wondering to yourself also, why do I want to go to the nether that bad? And I'm not going to lie, the reason I want to go to the nether is because then, if I can survive the nether, then I should be all good. Because out of everywhere I could die, the nether is usually the most common. Also, I've just realized it would probably be a good idea for me to get efficiency, maybe even I'm breaking on my pickaxe before we go mining later, because of course that will result in more diamonds. Anyway though, nine obsidian, I think I need ten if you don't do the corners, I'm pretty sure that's right. Now time to make the nether portal, we're not going to go in there quite yet, we're not going to make any sort of podium for it, we're just going to have it. And there we go, there's the nether portal. Eleven minutes later. My friends, we have some bad news, and that bad news is that I was about to begin farming loads and loads of of wheat so we can get the correct amount of emeralds to get my protection and then head to the nether before we go mining later on but after going over here to the lectern and walking around this whole village it has now become apparent to me that our librarian villager is gone so what we're going to do now is go and grab this lectern and i've also got a fletching table so what i think would be a better idea is go over to the village all the way down here so what we're going to do is actually get the fletcher so i can trade sticks to get the emeralds i think it'd be a lot easier than a villager with wheat and to also, of course, a new librarian. But what I am going to do is just leave these villagers here because they can have their own home near my area at some point. Maybe we can make them, hey, a new villager trading hall or something, you know? Oh, hello, sir. All right, man. Are you going to use it? Okay, looks like this guy's just stolen your job. Surely one of them's going to grab himself some protection for. Whoever does that will literally become rich. Oh, I thought that was it just then. Oh, mending. I do need that. I'm not going to get it just yet because I just really want protection, but I am going to need that at some point. Come on, roll up, roll up. I swear none of these guys want jobs oh i think this guy's coming over yes no okay it's the next day maybe i can get some better luck oh my gosh this guy is so scary Oh my god, finally. I'm not joking. This literally, I'm looking at the recorder now, has taken me about half an hour. But you know what? I'm just happy that we finally got it. I did bring Emerald to the book just to be safe so he didn't lose his trade. In fact, I'm not letting him go anywhere. I cannot afford to let him die. Now, I do need to get a Fletching Villager as well, but I'm pretty sure that's going to take me literally, like, I'll probably do it on the first try. Okay, maybe not the first try. There we go, second try. I'll take it. So now I've been rambling on enough this episode. Sat in my little chair here. I think what I'm going to do now is just get a bunch of wood, get a bunch of emeralds, and eventually get myself three more protection books for my armor.
And back at my base, I've managed to get every protection book I need and a feather falling book because I thought we're probably going to need it if we go into the nether. Now, luckily, I think I have enough iron to make myself an anvil from all that mining I did off camera. I'm pretty sure it's three blocks and then that. There we go. I can put that there. And please say I have enough XP. Oh, easy. That's all on there. Wait, do I have enough XP for this? I do. Wow. So now if I can quickly grab myself one piece of flint, I'll just keep one eye. It is time to head to the nether. And honestly, my friends, we are not going to be there for long whatsoever. All this is, is just a nice little trip to the nether just to make sure that I can actually survive. I'm... <laughs> I'm nervous. Can, can you hear it in my voice? Please give me a good spawn. In fact, I don't know if I've been to the nether since the 1.17 update. I don't know if it's any different, but I am genuinely extremely nervous. Come on, please be a good spawn. Please be a good spawn. Ooh, not exactly the most safe way to spawn, but at least we're not in one of those basalt biomes. Is that what they're called? Now, just to be safe, I'm just going to make sure none of those piglins are next to me because I would not like to be dropping off this when I go into the nether. Oh my goodness. There we go. Lovely jubbly. A bit more secure now. Now, what do we have over here? Anything good? Maybe a fortress or something? Oh, this is actually a fairly easy way to get down. Oh, no. One of these guys. I really should have put on golden armor. I'm not dropping down to him. There we go. Being here really, really does make me want to go and get myself an elytra. I think we're very much going to be doing that in the near future. Okay, I'm staying up here because the hoglings very much scare me. Do you know anyone else that gets this scared for being in the nether? Probably not. Oh my goodness. That makes my feet tinkle. Why do there have to be so many steep drops in the nether? Oh my goodness. <gasps> Ooh, that is tempting to go for. I think before I even think about going to fight nether fortresses, I think I might go get full netherite armor. Surprise. Oh my goodness. Oh, that scared me. Okay, yeah, I think that's enough of the nether trip for today. I really, really do hate this place. Do any of you guys actually like it here? Be honest in the comments. Do you like the nether? Ah, here we are. That is exactly where I was fighting that pig. Wait, where did my water go? I've just realized my water out of my bucket somehow disappeared. Anyway, that is the end of the nether trip. It feels so good to be home, and I was in the nether for about five minutes. Now, yes, I know you've read the title and thumbnail, and you're thinking to yourself, Zetro, where's the mining? So, people, it is time to get to the mining. If you've watched the second episode on the last series, we fished for two hours straight. So, I thought, this is also the second episode. Why not do another thing for two hours straight? So, we decided to mine. Anyway, though, let's get to mining. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have begun the timer now. In fact, I've actually just realized how I have barely any torches. So, I'm going to have to be collecting up some coal as I go along. Although, I do know we won't find too many diamonds. We might find a few, but, oh, some gold. I'll take it. But, you know what? Nonetheless, we're going to see how many diamonds we get. And it's just something fun to do because I can't do anything too extravagant yet in the series. So, I thought this would be something pretty cool to do until we can do those massive things. I've also just noticed that this pickaxe, I'm pretty sure, was brand new. And it's already about to break yep there it is good thing i've got more now i've got this long line what i think i'm actually gonna do is just go this way because i know there's a bunch of lava that way please give me diamonds oh i'll take some redstone oh more redstone <gasps> not just redstone yes my first diamonds ladies and gentlemen can we get a hype a diamond hype in the comment oh that should be some sort of emo on my twitch diamond type is it an eight vein Oh, yes, it is. Yes, it is an eight vein. Now, we don't have fortune, but nonetheless, we have ourselves our first vein of diamonds. And I'm pretty sure that's the most diamonds you can get in a vein. Ladies and gentlemen, eight diamonds on the diamond counter. Not quite the two stacks of diamond blocks we used to have, but we'll be getting back up there very soon. <gasps> Hello, diamonds. How are you doing, my friends? The second... Wait, is it? Is this an eight vein? One, two, four, six. I will take six. That is very nice. Ah, uh, this is always just the worst part about strip mining, isn't it? Blocking off the caves. But you know what? If it means I can get diamonds, then I'm all for it. But how long has it been, actually? I think maybe around 20 minutes. And we've found two veins of diamonds in that time. So, hey, I reckon we can get to a stack. Put your predictions, actually. And make sure you don't cheat. What are your predictions before I finish mining? Come on, be honest. Ah, uh, this really does throw me back to the 10-hour mining challenge. I'm actually also thinking now, do we do a mining for 24-hour challenge? We've done mining for 10 hours straight, but maybe to celebrate 100,000 subs, do we do that 24 hour stream? Do we go mining for 24 hours straight? I mean, last time we got redstone, we found diamonds. No diamonds. Oh, iron. I will take it. I'm going to need a few of those for pickaxes. 
Oh, yes. Oh, it was only two, but I will still take it. Wait, there could be more. There could be more. No. no? Okay, but still, I'll take a nice cheeky couple of diamonds, but we want more. But anyway, we're probably around a quarter of the way through now, I think. Oh, I hear more lava. That is scary, but it also could mean diamonds. Come on, caves have just given me luck. Could I get some more luck? Oh my god, that's a lot of creepers. Oh, and I don't even have a sword. Wow, there are very, very many mobs here. Creeper. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our national anthem. Or maybe not. I thought we were going to have to sing that to try and get some diamonds, but... Oh, please don't be one. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Three, six, oh, or seven. Nope six but i will take it six diamonds very nice you know i've not had this world for too long i will take a nice little six diamonds i will take it and you know what i won't take l's diamonds i will take some lovely diamonds how many is that 14 and another 14 at the base some lovely copper i haven't actually done anything with copper yet i've got copper but i've never used it for anything at all also we're probably over halfway into the video now for anyone that's watched up to this point i want to say something the next video is going to be big i'm not going to say why but it will be a bit jam-packed full of insane stuff that i can't believe i'm doing in the third episode but i've got to make the world better than the last one that was my promise to you oh wait oh this place is looking good oh oh my goodness i've just realized i make the most random noises when i find diamonds but di is this only one one diamond mojang i'm telling you there better be some more around here oh mine wait <gasps> diamonds and a mine shaft i did not notice that in fact we should probably be getting the shield out if we're going to go into this mine shaft but i need to clear some inventory space there we go oh let me grab that diamonds now are we really going to go into this mine shaft right now it is kind of breaking our system we've got going on here but you know what we're living on the edge today ladies and gentlemen wait is that oh my goodness yes it is Ladies and gentlemen, wait, how many diamonds is that? Okay, let's have a look. So that's 23. So we have... 37. We are on track to get that stack of 64 diamonds, my friends. You never know with Minecraft, do you? <gasps> wait. Oh my goodness, the best mob spawner in the world. Also the scariest. Yes, we have found a mob spawner. Let me grab the cords for this because this is going to be a very, very nice XP farm. That is is very lucky oh wait no torches you know what time it is ladies and gentlemen it's cold time oh i should probably be taking these tracks i might do that next time i need to make sort of a minecart rail track i'm definitely gonna be coming back here oh a double whammy of chests i forgot you could even get chests in this but oh wait what is that glow berries oh these are glow berries not these other things i've never seen these in the game before trying to find your way home you never know what you're gonna find Okay, I'm getting out of here. There's an Enderman over there as well. Today, I saw a tweet of one of my friends, Lagundo, if you guys know who he is, almost dying to an Enderman today. So, yeah, we're, we're going to be avoiding that area for now. Okay, we're now back at home base. I've made a bunch of pickaxes and I've got all my diamonds because I want to see how many we have by the end. But my friends, it is time for the final, I don't know. I know we're over halfway though in the two hours. Oh, here we go. Here's the lapis that we don't want. The other blue thing we don't want. Also, I've realized I've been killing a lot of mobs and a lot of animals. Not very peace, love and plants of me, is it? Oh, we're in a cave. Whoa, that looks very cool. But can we get some diamonds? We actually could find some diamonds right here. Wait, what is this? that <gasps> oh my goodness what have we just stumbled across ladies and gentlemen wait is this my first one our first amethyst geode listen to this it sounds so cool when you walk on it pretty cool minecraft good job yeah. oh my god that scared me i literally moved backwards i jumped in real life anyway let's get rid of this guy in fact i'll let him do it himself and clearly there are no diamonds here so it's time to get back to our strip mine oh wait is this uh oh it's the same one and there's a skeleton on me cool he is gone oh we have struck some more diamonds no this isn't just gonna be one surely or oh, two. Oh, yeah okay okay that's what we want six more diamonds very scrumptious right i think it's been a good few minutes since we've got diamonds i reckon it's time for our national anthem <coughs> oh, i am a dwarf and i'm digging a hole 
please give me some diamonds. Minecraft, I would appreciate it. Any diamonds? None. No diamonds whatsoever. I'm gonna grab myself some gold. Literal golden nuggets. Those are so cool. We've hit another cave. Please give me some diamonds. And no, I do not think this one's going to have any diamonds. Um, oh, I stand corrected. Oh, please be a lot. You're kidding me. Two again. You know what? I'll take whatever I can get, honestly. Oh, more diamonds. I was not going to go this way, but we found some more. Wait, how many is this? I think there's like a seven vein. So wait, now we're at like 50? 52. Okay, we need 12 more diamonds and we have about 20 minutes left. Okay, we're cutting it a bit short. Right, time to get those final diamonds. Oh, we got some more diamonds next to the redstone. Please be more than two. 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 And it's two. Oh, wait, no, it's not. It's three. Oh, my goodness. Wait, four. Okay, a vein of five. I can deal with a vein of five. So that's 57. So we need seven more. So with the right vein, we could hit our goal of 64 diamonds. <gasps> oh, it is to be expected. I was hearing lava. Is this going to be the final vein of diamonds that we need? Okay, there's one, two, three, four. Oh, okay. Oh, no, I don't think we're gonna... We're, we're one short. We're literally one diamond short. Can you believe it? 12 seconds later. Ladies and gentlemen, the time has come. No, we're not finishing the mining yet. No, we haven't got the last diamonds. But, my friends, it's time to use the diamond pickaxe. It's not actually that big of a deal, but that just shows how long I've been mining for. How many blocks I mined for. I wonder how many blocks I have actually mined. Going into a cave. Caves have been very good for me recently. Like, I don't normally find most of my diamonds in caves, but this, is, this has been pretty good. We literally only need one more diamond. Are we going to do it? I actually have no idea. I don't know. I, I don't know what to say to you apart from let's just keep mining and just hope we can get that final diamond. Oh, and we've struck some more lava. I'm not going to lie, my friends. My hope is running out. I don't know if we're going to get those 64 diamonds we want. Literally now in the final minute. We have 60 seconds left to get the final done. We literally need to... Oh! Oh my goodness! One! No! There's no way. We've done it. We've done it. We've got 64 diamonds. We only needed one and we've got a bunch. Wait, so we've had three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I found a nine vein because eight there plus the one there. Oh my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, we have 20 seconds left and we have found over a stack. Well, a stack and eight. What a way to finish off a two-hour mining session, my friends. A stack and eight diamonds. For the second episode in, I will definitely take it. Ah, uh, it really does feel so great to just be rich. I'm joking, obviously. We have a very long way to go until we actually get as rich as I was on my other world. That's why I think it'd be a good idea to mine for 24 hours straight. But we need a beacon first. Anyway, though, I think I'm going to end the episode off here. I've just realized I'm always, like, going onto these trees and just parkouring on them for no reason. Anyway, though, we are going to be ending off this episode here. Second episode in, and we've already got full crop 4 armor and a nice few diamond blocks. And I'm sorry we didn't get more done today. I think that's a pretty decent amount for episode episode two, but I've got to save my energy for future episodes. Hopefully you enjoyed. We had a lot of positive feedback on the last episode, which means you guys seem to be very excited for the rest of the series. I'm going to end the video here. I'm going to chuck these in here before I actually lose them. Thank you very, very much for watching and see you in a bit. Bye-bye. I mean, fair enough. You've got some good trades now, but where are you going to keep the villagers? Well, in the next episode, I decided to make the biggest villager trading hall I've ever made. You mean the one with the giant useless villager statue? Yeah. That's the one. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, you've seen in the thumbnail what we're going to be making today. We have loads and loads of cobblestone because I am very excited to make that statue. It's going to be massive. But first of all, this massive villager statue we're going to be making is mainly going to be made of stone. Oh yeah, by the way, a creeper blew up here, as you can probably tell. But it's made mainly out of stone, not cobblestone. So we need to make a super smelter. But anyway, though, hello... Ow. Hello. Welcome back to the channel. A lot has been done since you've last seen me. We've got we've got a decent amount of wheat now. And over here, you can probably tell we have ourselves a nice little potato farm. Nothing too special, but it does feed me. And I've also been using it for my villagers to breed them. Because to do all that mining, I've needed good pickaxes. I think I have a bunch of broken ones down at my mine. But yeah, basically, I've had to get a bunch of unbreaking books, a bunch of efficiency. That is actually another reason why this has taken so long. Hello, Mr. Squid. 
Squid, how are you? It's taken me a very, very long time, especially with no very efficient way of getting villagers and also getting emeralds. So I'm going to have to go to the village all the way down here because um, all the villagers are dead in my village. I, I, I don't know why. But luckily, we've got a couple of other villagers all the way down here and they take a very long time to get to. So I should probably make a minecart track or something. <laughs> Wait, is there a villager over there? Actually, no, I don't think there is. I think that's when I tried to trap a villager. But the actual villager, I think it's the efficiency one, is... Yep, yeah, <laughs> there he is. So, yeah, what we've got is the efficiency villager right here. Then we've got some fletchers so I can get some sticks to get emeralds. And then the other villagers from breaking other fletchers and etc are all over there. So that's you all caught up. I've made a potato farm, got loads and loads of cobblestone and some actual good villager trades so I can get decent pickaxes. Jeez, I really do need to get an elytra. Oh my goodness. I need to get one. This takes way too much time. And now here we are. This is exactly where I'm going to be making my super smelter. Now luckily, I've already got everything I need. So this shouldn't be too hard. And I'm also watching the tutorial. Now, apparently, we need the furnaces here. There we go. Oh, yeah. By the way, for anyone that doesn't know, I don't actually have any reasoning to make this massive build. I just think it would look sick. Like, imagine it's over there. It would be, like, that tall. I also hope I've got enough cobblestone for this build. I believe I do. But at the same time, my calculations could be very wrong. Oh, yeah. Also, as this video has been uploaded, I'm most likely, like any other good Minecraft YouTuber, at Brighton right now. You know that place where Tommy and it met? What's his name? Wilbur Yeah, I'm most likely going to be there right now. Whoa, we're getting somewhere. Now, apparently, we need four solid blocks here. There we go. No problemo. Why has this happened again? Why is that happening? I don't know if that's meant to happen. Yeah. Turns out that wasn't meant to happen, and only I managed to pick the only tutorial that's for bedrock. But I quickly changed it and made a completely new super smelter. All right, here we go. Here is the new and improved super smelter. Now, I've got a lot of stone in here, but I've also got a bunch over there as well. Now, let me just show you where this stone is going. In fact, we're probably going to start building now, so I should probably grab some blocks. And now I'm going to grab a bunch of cobblestone as well, although I'm not actually going to need that much. It is mainly stone, hence why I'm getting a bunch of it. Now, let me go show you. You can probably see over there what's going on. I, I'm very excited. So, I'll pop a picture on the screen right now of how the mini statue is going to look. So, what we're going to do is basically make that times 10. So, every block within that sort of villager statue, is that what you'd call it? It's a 10 by 10 block right here. But before anything, I need to place water literally everywhere because I don't have an elytra. And if I fall, I need somewhere to land. So, let me go do this quickly. There we go. Now, I think it's safe to say that is going to be enough water just in case I do fall. Now, literally, all there is to do is get building. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now, of course, I'm not going to be building these walls because that would be pointless. And actually, I'm thinking about it now. This literally is going to be the biggest mob trap in the world. I also hope I've done the dimensions right. I'm pretty sure I have. But at the same time, they could be completely wrong and this could look very odd. But we'll see. So, if I go all the way across here. Now, this is two sides of two completely different blocks. I know it doesn't look like it. But that right there is two blocks. Now, before anything, I think I'm just going to complete these two blocks. Luckily, I do have a screenshot. So if I need to check back for what's cobblestone and what's actually stone, that shouldn't be too difficult. And when you build it big, I don't think you actually really be able to tell where the cobblestone is. Unless, of course, you go really close. But either way, though, this is going to look sick. Wait, I'm actually thinking now, do I have enough cobblestone slash stone? Because I don't think I do. Just talking right now, I've used basically a stack. I might have to go mining again. This is going to be a very big project. But anyway, after I've done this little bit here, that should be two of the blocks completely finished, pretty much. Okay, and I've already run out of stone. Oh, be back in a second. The next day. And there we go. Oh, I wonder if this guy's got any good trades. Nope, of course not. Oh, small drip leaf. I actually don't know what that is, but it looks cool. Anyway, though, let me quickly go do this cobblestone one because I haven't done one of these cobblestone blocks yet. And then what I think I might do is just do the whole back two or three blocks because these three back here are all actually just going to be stone. So I could probably just do all those at once. And doing that all at once will probably save a lot of time as well. In fact, what other YouTuber do you know that makes a giant villager statue instead? of getting actual good things like an elytra and full netherite armor if there's one out there let me know but i don't think you can find one anyway though let's get finishing this off i don't know why all the water's overflowing into there i think i did put a bit of water in some of the blocks just in case i fall in those because you never know i might fall inside instead of outside anyway though that's the first six blocks on the outside done so this is technically speaking one block high and the whole thing is ten and a half so now i need to go up another 
95 blocks. There we go. Oh, I'm nervous. Right, let's go. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 78, 49, 50, 71, 2, 3, 4, 90. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So this, this is how tall it's going to be. Yeah, it's a bit of a tall villager. So if I just look at the coordinates, this is 170. So when we get down to the bottom, if the calculations are correct, the bottom block should be 65. If this water doesn't save me, I don't even know. Oh, that is very scary. Oh. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, so that definitely is the right height. So now I suppose it's time to grab a bit more stone and get building the rest of these back blocks. Now, I would say from the back, this is looking pretty cool. I mean, it doesn't actually look very cool, I guess. It's very plain, but it is massive. Oh, yeah, I've also done a bit of the front as well. Not too much, but now I do need to go and place another six blocks, I guess. I like how I'm calling them blocks. They're literally not blocks. I also hope I'm getting these dimensions exactly correct, because if I'm not, then this might look very odd. Also, I've just realized if you guys could comment something I can actually put in this village up, that would be amazing, because I'm not going to lie. I have no idea what's going to go in here. I was thinking maybe, I don't know, a roller coaster or something. But realistically, I have no idea. Oh, I hate misplacing blocks because I don't have a silk touch pickaxe. So when I do, it just goes to cobblestone. But anyway, though, that is another couple of blocks done. Now, time to move on. Basically, what we're going to do is one, two, three, four, five. Oh, this water is so annoying. So this is basically going to be an upside down staircase, if you couldn't tell already. All right, so that's one side of the sort of staircase. You can't even really see it because of the water. Now, if I do it quickly on the other side. Now, this is the most annoying part. Actually, my first time filling in something in this build because if I don't, then there's just going to be massive gaps just randomly in the villager. Boom. There we go. So I don't think I need to fill in this part because there's just going to be blocks on top of this. Oh, wait. Looking at the screenshot right here. I need to do more staircases. If you've ever wanted to make a giant villager out of stone and cobblestone, don't. There we go. That's what it needs to look like. So then we need to do a cobblestone staircase sort of there. Uh, I have run out of cobble. All right. Time to make a pit stop. Thinking about it now, it's actually kind of crazy that I'm doing this all in one video. What do people usually do this in like different parts? Why am I doing this to myself? I don't even know. But anyway, I kind of feel like we've done a lot of this just in the video while I'm talking. And I'm pretty sure the video is about halfway done by now. So to save you time, I'm going to go and build this whole thing in a time lapse. So for me, I'll see you guys in a few hours. But for you, it's going to be about 30 seconds. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go do this. Wow, my friends, would you look at this bad boy? This is insane. It's not exactly finished yet. I've still got to do some decoration and stuff. Maybe like chips in the stone, vines, all that kind of stuff, vegetation. But for now, just as a base layer, this looks pretty sick. And it didn't even take me that long either. But now that this bad boy is done, so now time to head to the village. I don't know where it is. I know it's this way somewhere because we have no villagers here. Very sad. I wonder how many villagers I should try and get from these because we've got a couple of villages. So there should be around like at least eight to 10 villagers combined. I'm trying to think, do I bring them all over just a couple and then start breeding straight away? I have no idea. But first of all, we just need to get a villager. Oh, it's that guy. Let's just ignore him. And I'm just going to grab this Fletcher over here. Can you get in straight away? Easy enough. Oh, wait. This is the way I literally went last time. This is why these things are here. Okay, so I should be able to use these things again. No, 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 no. Oh, <laughs> this is why I hate moving villagers. Oh, I just realized it's becoming nighttime. Okay, this could be a very big issue. I mean, not that much of an issue, but I might have to go sleep because I don't want no creeper blowing this bad boy up. So you can go through, like, with your heads with leaves. Oh, no, 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 no. Get back. I need to go sleep. Hopefully, he's not dead when I get back there tomorrow. He is alive. Oh, hello. Now, do I get the villager up one block to go all the way there? Or just dig my way there? Um...
Okay, I've just got some cobble deep slate from my chest because I'm going to put this villager... Wait, where is he? There he is. I'm going to put him in a little home just for now until I get another villager so they have somewhere to go. But I'm looking at this thing now. He kind of looks a bit like an iron golem. And you know me, because of the last series, I hate iron golems. But anyway, it's fine for now. We're just going to put this guy in a cheeky little home just so he doesn't, you know die. And then once we've got another villager, I think straight from there, then we're going to get to building somewhere where the villagers can go. Now time to get another villager. Now, which villager do we go for? A Fletcher or a Librarian? I think we're going to go for... In fact, you know, we'll go for a Fletcher because we do mainly need Fletchers. We need some Librarians as well, but we mainly need Fletchers. We're going to take one of these guys to match the other villager. And we are here, Mr. Villager. You have our friends now. Look at them, the boys. Now, you're probably wondering to yourself, where are those villagers going to go? Surely they're not going to go in there. They're not. You know how in the last series, we actually built a villager trading hall, but then just put all the villagers underground? That's where the villagers are going again, in a massive tunnel. So now I'm going to make said tunnel but i remember actually making a tunnel last time on my other world and it literally taking me hours and hours on hours and i remember it taking that long because i remember being on a call with fru till literally like 7 a.m so i think we're gonna make the wise decision to not keep that in the video and now i know this video has been a lot of time lapses but i don't want to waste your time making you watch me doing all of this you just want to see the fun stuff so once again we're gonna go straight into another time lapse i'm gonna get digging and yeah time to make a massive tunnel ready to breed all of the villagers i think this looks pretty good now it's nothing crazy and i am probably going to make an entrance to it going from the massive villager but look at this i think this is looking pretty good so far oh hello mr bat now it isn't completely finished because all i need to do is just do this all the way down there and then of course go and add villagers at some point but that's going to take way too long to do it all in this episode because this villager trading hall is going to fit 500 villagers ah. Yeah, that's a lot of villagers. So yeah, that's it for the villager portion of the video. I'm pretty sure I'll probably finish this off camera and it'll be done for the next episode because this is going to be very boring and it should take a very long time. So now, my friends, was it last video or this video that I mentioned? I, I literally can't remember now, but I do remember seeing, I think it was a jungle tree. That could be completely wrong and I could be wasting my time here. But I feel like when I went to that skeleton spawner down here one time, I did see a jungle tree in the distance. Another that does remind me we also do need to make a mob spawner i did actually see a zombie spawner when i was digging that villager trading hall down there which is of course very close by but at the same time zombie spawner is not that great i'd probably rather travel over here so i can get to the skeleton one for of course bones arrows and that kind of stuff especially bones for bone meal there it is. Wait, is it? Or is it a very high up swamp? Please be a jungle tree. I'm pretty sure it is. And the reason I actually want to go over here is, of course, to get myself a bamboo farm started. It doesn't have to be anything insane, but if I can just get a decent amount of bamboo to start placing it, that's going to be so good for sticks when trading with the Fletchers. Oh, a fox. Hello. What is in that fox's mouth? I have no idea. Uh, I'm taking a screenshot of that. Okay. That is very odd. Anyway, though, we're in a jungle. Probably one of my most favorite biomes in Minecraft. I've said this in many videos. Some of you agree with me. Some of you didn't. You'll have to let me know. I'm pretty sure there's certain parts in jungles where there's just bamboo... Uh, uh, okay. What is going on with this jungle? Hello. Okay. I'll take this because all I need is a little bit to start off my farm, but I don't actually think there's many massive bamboo areas in this jungle, so I might have to just go home with the 38 I have. This is actually reminding me of the massive bamboo farm I had before in my other series. I don't think I put it... What is going on? With... Okay. These trees are looking very odd. But yeah, like I was saying, I don't think I put it actually in a video before, but I do remember spending multiple days breaking bamboo so I can get so many emeralds for that beacon I got the big beacon what a throwback that took so long it was probably the best method for emeralds though oh my goodness is that the yes it is oh my it's like a beacon jeez you can see that from a mile away wait thinking about it now why don't i do this with other mobs i think that'd be really cool oh my god this building is intimidating but imagine that didn't mumbo jumbo do that with one of his bases he had like these going around ones that were a lot smaller though I don't know. Imagine that. We had those for like different mobs and stuff. I think that would be kind of cool. Anyway, though, where is this bamboo thing going to go? Because it is going to grow very sizable. So I can't just find a little spot for the bamboo 
to go. But I don't really want to have to hide the bamboos. I need things that are going to fill up my worlds right now anyway. Because there's not much going on around here. I mean, I say that. So I think we're just going to have the bamboo just chucked right here so we can actually see it. I think that'd be a good idea. And hopefully it will begin to grow very, very quickly and we will become rich. And that is all the bamboo gone. But anyway, once again, back on the parkour trees. I think I'm going to be ending the episode there. I have quite a lot to do before I even start the next episode. Of course, I kind of want to finish off the villager hall, get this growing a bit more. And hopefully in the next episode, ow, we can finally fight the ender dragon because i've kind of been avoiding the nether avoiding the end and i think it's time so i'm gonna end the episode here Ten thousand likes and yes i will mine for 24 hours i don't know when of course i do need a beacon first that would be smart that's probably the reason it took me so long to mine here in fact let me go show you i mined all of these strip mines down here all the way around here without a beacon so yeah it took a very long time so i am 100 percent gonna be getting a beacon before we do the 24 hours of mining anyway though i'm gonna end the video here thank you very very much for watching and um yeah i'll see you in a bit bye bye i mean it's quite cool having that area but you didn't put a bunch of villagers in there well that's what episode four was for i decided it was time to become invincible in minecraft hardcore as the diamond armor wasn't cutting it so you got god armor yep hello hello welcome back to the hardcore series and welcome to these sheep Look at them. So I've made a sheep farm and you may or may not be able to guess why. I mean, I'm going to tell you anyway. So I managed to finish this bad boy right here. I mean, you can't even see the end of it. Oh, hello, Mr. Villager. I'll get to you guys in a second. But this is what it's looking like at the moment. It's completely finished. We've got all the beds. That's why I needed the wool. We've literally got so many beds, so many lanterns as well. You have no idea how much iron all these cost me. Literally the whole way down, 500 of them. And now we have two villagers. So before we get anything done, in this video, of course, I need to get myself a bunch of villagers. And it all starts with these two. In fact, I've just realized I completely forgot my potatoes. So let me just go grab those quickly. I wonder if it's better to use cooked ones because I've got a bunch cooking in there. Is it better to use cooked ones or normal? I have no idea, but oh, I'll just take the normal ones anyway and we'll see what happens. We need to get loads of villagers because that's probably going to be the best way to get my enchantments. So now we do this. Hopefully, if we throw enough potatoes, they'll meet in the middle. This is going to take a while. Oh, he's slowly making his way this way. Oh, okay, okay. They've almost had a stack of potatoes. If this doesn't happen, I don't know how to do it. Oh, 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 oh. Please, and... Oh, yes, finally. Hello, sir. One villager down, a bunch more to go. In fact, I've got... So that's one so far. Because I want to use the villagers to get all my enchantments rather than an enchanting table, I'm probably going to need a good few more. So this may or may not take a while. Now, we have around 13 villagers. This actually didn't take too long. Main reason probably being that I just blocked them off so they couldn't move. But look at that, 13 villagers. We definitely don't need any more, but what we do need to go get is lecterns. Also, if my voice sounds a bit croaky, between me getting the villagers and me recording this clip now, I fell asleep for half an hour, so... Yeah. Hey, it's, it's not my fault. I had to wake up at like 9 in the morning to go somewhere. I also went to bed at like 2 a.m. But anyway, I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to even make some lecterns. I'll have to see. Right, I can just chuck these potatoes somewhere. Wait, let me see if I can actually make some lecterns. So what do I need? I need some wood. Okay, I've got some leather and then some sugar cane. But I also have a bunch of sugar cane over here. And I'm pretty sure we make bookshelves. So that means I can make three lecterns. And then is it that? Let's go. Okay. Right. So what are we looking for first for the armor? I want to go for thorns. Now, it's a bit of an odd one, but I know thorns can actually be very useful. Now, who's going to go first? Oh, this man's feeling brave, I think. Oh, never mind. Okay, definitely not that. So, of course, I'm going to be getting completely OP armor, but also probably OP tools as well, like sword, pickaxe, all that kind of stuff, because it will be very, very useful. Wait, what is respiration again? Isn't respiration for breathing underwater? Okay, I think I'm actually going to get that. Respiration. Nice. Oh, wait. I should have got a higher respiration. I probably would have got a better price. Uh, I am stupid. Anyway, let's carry on. Oh, I completely forgot about mending. Wait, and it happens to be the exact villager that I accidentally hit. 
Great. I'll take it anyway, though, because we need a mending villager. That's good. Okay, looting. I will take it. Not exactly an armor enchantment, but I'll take it for now. Okay, fortune. I'll take that. I don't need it right now. It's not exactly the top priority. I am aiming to get probably every enchantment at some point, so I'll just take any enchantment that I can get at the moment. Okay, infinity. I kind of need that. Thankfully, I'm getting the cheaper books because I'm running out of emeralds. Knockback. Don't know a lot of people will hate this enchantment. I'm going to take it anyway, but I'm pretty sure that's hated by many people. I don't know. Do you guys like it? Personally, I don't know. I think it's all right. Getting a good collection of villagers going on here. Not quite got all of them. I still need a lot of armor enchantments and tall enchantments, but this, this is actually looking good. This is going well. Like I said, I do want to get like 500 villagers in here one day, all stacked up, but it will take a bit of time. Now, speaking of things that take time, taking a break from the villagers down there, the poor things, I need to make myself a creeper farm because of course, if I want completely OP armor and tools, I need netherite and the best way to get netherite is of course TNT. So I'm going to need gunpowder for that. I've built this creeper farm many times now, so hopefully it should not be too hard, but this is where I always get confused, so bear with me. Of course it's raining. Now I've made it daytime because the mobs were becoming very, very annoying, but I believe that this is correct. Now if I'm not mistaken, by the way, I'll leave, oh, I'm in water. I'll leave the tutorial in the description because it's just a good tutorial. It's the one I always use, but I believe we are going to have to just do this. Dig out a massive hole and leave some area for water. There we go. Now we have room for the Agua, the H2O. This is exactly why we needed one of these. Imagine I was doing this without an infinite water source. That would take a very long time. And we don't have time to be wasting, you know. We've got TNT to blow up, armor to make. I do want to make full netherite tools as well. I don't know if I'll get it done today. Hopefully I will. But I do want to make sure I get full netherite and fully enchanted tools as well as armor. Right, I'll keep those buckets spare there. But what do we do here? Do we dig? I'm 99% sure we just dig. Here we go. Now we're talking. Look at this. I mean, it's not exactly dumb. Look how symmetrical it is. It's not exactly the giant one I had on my last world, but this is good enough, especially since we're not quite exploding 100,000 TNT yet. Maybe one day. More digging. Very nice. Very nice. Half of the name of the game. The principle of life, some may say. Okay, I need to stop. Okay, now this part is done. We now proceed on to part two. Oh, there's a wandering trader. Hello. Right, so we're going to go this way. One, two, three, four. Same the other way. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, no, no. No. Yes. Okay. This guy has tropical fish. Okay. Okay. Completely different turn to the video. I actually need to get this guy. He has tropical fish. This is going to be amazing for when I want to get an axolotl farm going. Okay. I need to try and get this guy away safe. Operation get the wandering trader. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And he's off. Right. We're going to name him. Now, I don't know if you need to name him. I don't know if you have to just trade with him, but at least I know if I do this, he's not going to despawn. Look at him. And you, my friend, can just sit in here. Right. Here we go. Reinforced walls. Anyway, though, now that is Steve protected, we we can go carry on with this. Right, anyway, back to what we're meant to be doing. I've not looked at the tutorial for this part, but I believe this is what we have to do. Set all these all the way back. Now we're going to go dispenser, put a few cheeky little blocks here. And if I'm not wrong, this is going to be the first layer. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it is. And now we make a star. Now we leave one block so the observer can actually see the water. Put the next dispenser down and then it just carries on from there. So now I can quickly do the rest. And then all I need to do is all the layers. This isn't actually taking too long. I'm quite impressed with how quick this is going, to be honest. So now let me quickly put the last ones there. Oh, wait, I need to remove the blocks. I actually wonder if I could build more layers. Like, if I did, would it actually make that much of a difference? Like, would it be good? Would it be bad? I don't even know. Because I'm pretty sure if you had a certain amount, they just stop working because of how many creepers are spawning anyway. I don't know. Also, that reminds me, this usually gives uh, spiders as well, I'm pretty sure. Which means I'm going to have so much string. And that's going to be useful for training with the Fletchers down there. Because I'm pretty sure they take string as well as sticks. But anyway, I'm getting way too ahead of myself. First, I actually need to finish this thing. It's not taking that long this time, to be fair. Because after building it so many times... I pretty much know what I'm doing. But now I need to quickly do all these layers. Hopefully, it shouldn't take me too long. You have got to be kidding me. Why is this guy not dying? There we go. Oh my goodness. I'm upset. You have no idea how upset I am. I'm so dumb. Why did I not put torches down? That was literally going to be my ticket to a purple axolotl. You have got to be kidding me. Anyway, though, final step of the creeper farm. Let's just get this done. So basically, we have to kind of make a star shape. Is that maybe the best way to explain it? And then cover 
every single one of these in trapdoors. <sighs> for the TNT, for the netherite. Is that the first layer done? I believe so. That's the thing. You need to double check because if I miss any blocks, then that is not going to be great. You know, zombies and stuff going to start spawning. It's not going to be good. I wonder how long I'm going to have to go AFK in this for. Oh, wait. We shall not just be getting the gunpowder because we also need a bunch of sand. And I'm not going to lie. I don't know where a desert is. I've also not decided how long I'm going to go AFK for. I think maybe an hour might be enough. I'm trying to think how much TNT we're actually going to need. That's the thing. But there is another layer done. I'm not actually checking these i've just realized i was meant to double check them to make sure i've actually done it correct but i'm not doing that so hopefully we should be all good but i mean if not then we're definitely gonna find out when we start using it but anyway why have i got so many trapdoors spare maybe i didn't need this much but anyway that's this part completely done and now the very confusing part i'm trying to think so this whole row here has to be 16 so that's one two three four five six seven eight okay i've counted this and it's 31 now i think i chuck a block there and then chuck one on the other side now that should be right, which means we need to do another eight blocks here. There we go. Looking good. Why does this guy look like a pirate? And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is basically complete. I say basically because there's still one more thing I need to do all the way up there. So I know I need to go from here up 123 blocks. So I'm currently on level 71, which means I need to get to level 194, if I'm not mistaken. What I'm going to do is actually go over here. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering why I put the water here, it's because I don't have an elytra. So I don't really want to be dying to full damage. Anyway, though, this is exactly the middle. So I've put this block here. So now when I build the platform, I know exactly where I need to put it. In fact, do I even have enough blocks? Ah, uh, yeah, I should do. Worst case, I just have to use cobblestone. I hope my maths is right and this all actually works. Wait, did I say 192 or 194? I think it was 194. Hopefully it's right. So now we need to make a little square platform. Nothing crazy. I'm not going to make it like a massive platform with protection, but I am going to put the doors here because I do not want phantoms killing me. So now we just need to put the water down. Hopefully I've done this all right. Imagine if I just go AFK for an hour and it doesn't work. That would not be great, but I'm going to go AFK and hopefully this is successful because if it is, we are going to be able to get netherite armor. Anyway, time to go AFK. Please work. Please work. Oh, that is some spicy looking TNT. So this is the amount of TNT I got after an hour. Of course, I went and got loads of sand. But the amount of gunpowder I got after an hour got me three stacks of TNT. I'll take it. It's not too bad. Especially seeing as I've only got one single gunpowder rather than two on my old world. So now I think you know what time it is. Going back to the nether once again. This is my first netherite mining trip on this world. This is very scary. Anyway, though, we're going to make it down to level 15. Oh... Oh, this is why I hate the nether. It's fine. We may be able to get across. Oh, okay. I think we're all good here. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Where would be a great place to dig where there's not going to be loads of lava every time I try and dig down? And there's a gas. Come on. This is the one. This is the one. I'm going to get the advancement. Come on. Oh. That was extremely close to that piglin. Yes. What an amazing sound that. Oh my god, don't tell me there's another. Oh my goodness. All right, we're at level 38, so I don't actually need to dig down that much, but let's just hope that this is actually somewhere that I can dig and there's not going to be it's not going to be ridden with lava. Anyway, though, it's looking good so far. Wait, what level am I on? Oh, okay, 24, 18, 17, 16, 15. There we go. Perfect. And now we dig. Have you noticed how the whole time I'm literally staying crouched? Because if there's lava, I don't want to be falling. <gasps> Netherite. My, wait, this is my first piece. What a momentous occasion. Oh, my goodness. That is very exciting. What a time to be alive. Anyway, though, we're hitting the... Ba basalt? Basalt? I don't know. But we're going to start placing TNT. I'm pretty sure you can actually leave... You guys can let me know in the comments because I have no idea. But I'm pretty sure you can leave one block between each piece of TNT. But either way, though, I'm just going to spam them. I don't know if this is going to be enough TNT. Hopefully it will. All right, that is now exactly a stack and a half of TNT. Time to explode my first piece of TNT in the nether. Three, two, one. 
Oh, <laughs> I get so scared. I'm running a lot further than I need to, but I don't care. I am sweating, not just in Minecraft, but in real life. That was, that was a lot. Any ancient debris, though. I know I'm 100% going to get comments saying I've missed some here, missed some there. But either way, though, let's go exploring for the ancient debris. Oh, is that? Oh, no, it's a two vein. Okay, it's a two vein. I'll take it. Oh, no, it's a three vein. Let's go. I can now make one. <gasps> Oh, I can now make one piece of netherite. Oh, okay. This is actually starting to stack up. Every time I go and explode a bunch of TNT in the nether, it just brings me back to the time when it was like me through ProdMD. We all did it for the first time. It was pretty cool. But anyway, though, we are at the end. There's none around here, is there? That's the last thing I'd like to do. Miss ancient debris. But how many have we got? Okay, we've got nine. That is pretty good. Like I said, I literally have no idea how many we need, but I'll take nine. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Oh... I thought we had it. I thought we had it there. It looks very similar, but that was definitely, definitely not ancient debris. And again, oh my gosh, Minecraft is just trolling me at this point. All right, I'm trying to think, is this far enough? I don't see the end, so we should be good here. Time to get placing the TNT. Wait, so is that a stack gone already or was that half a stack? No, that was a stack. So we have half a stack left. We need seven more ancient debris. Time. To get some more. Oh my goodness. More lava. Great. Oh, lava or not though, off the bat, I will take a three vein. Two ancient debris veins next to each other. If that's not lucky, I don't know what is. Right, I'll take a one vein. I need everything I can get at this point. You know what I think was the most time-consuming thing with this episode? Wasn't even getting the enchantments or anything, getting the ancient debris. It was probably getting all the wood and finishing finishing the villager trading hall. I mean, it's so long. You guys don't even you guys haven't even seen the end of it yet, I don't think. Oh wait. Are we? Are we at the end? Unless this is a three vein, I am going to have to get even more ancient debris. Oh no. And that's just what I did. I got a bunch more gunpowder, sand, made loads of TNT, and got myself a bunch more ancient debris. And then we ended up right here. Right now, here we are. Look. Oh, that's the wrong chest. Look at this. We've got loads and loads of netherite scrap. Now, I'm pretty sure you can literally just put it in any order. Yep, yeah, there we go. Boom. 11 netherite ingots. I will take it. And now, all I have to do... Wait, does it cost XP to do this? Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay, good. Because I literally have basically none. Oh, <laughs> now that is a great advancement look at me full netherite in fact i need i need to make netherite tools at some point as well but ladies and gentlemen as you can see from the enchantments we are not quite done just yet i've actually managed to get basically every book i need pretty much i've still got some more i need to get so now all i need is the xp to actually go and put the enchantments on my armor <laughs> So after using a few different methods of getting XP, mainly being going and mining in the nether, that was very good. I've now put most of the books on my armor, apart from a mending book on my leggings, which can be done now. But here's my problem. I can't put any more enchantments on my armor. So I don't know if it's the way I did it or with the update changing. You guys, please let me know in the comments because I'd appreciate it. Maybe I have to make new armor, but I can't put any more enchantments on this armor. It's too expensive. Either way, though, I'd still consider this very OP armor armor. Look at me. I feel like Thanos or something. I actually look like him as well. I am so dumb. I just recorded a bit basically saying that of course we've got full enchanted netherite OP armor but of course with the OP armor we need an OP sword. So I got some enchantments on this sword and we're basically now trying to get a couple more enchantments with these villagers and I didn't even open my recording software. I just started talking. So none of that was recorded but at least... <gasps> Oh, but at least now you're caught, all caught up to speed. Where are my emeralds? Come on, the sweeping edge. So now what do I need? Not even that much anymore. I think I need sharpness. And then all I need actually is unbreaking. But if I'm not wrong, we do have an unbreaking villager. I swear villagers before, you could only have like one villager per lectern or whatever the block was. But now I've literally got like all these guys connected to this one. Like, how does that make sense? I don't even know. Maybe Minecraft just made some changes. Oh... Or this, there's no way this villager is coming all the way over here to become a librarian. Is he going to do it? And... Uh, I'm not going to lie. If I get a sharpness villager and it's like sharpness one and they want a ridiculous price, I'll probably still take it. Because I know if I don't, it's just going to take me a very, very long time just to try and find an actual decent price. 
Ooh, sharpness three. Very expensive. But you know what I said? I will take it. I'll take, but how many do I need? I need four, I think. So now all we need to do is get enough XP to one, make these into sweeping edge three, two, make this into sharpness five, and three, get it all on this one single sword. Oh yeah, and we need some unbreaking. Ladies and gentlemen, this video is getting a bit long. We haven't really been using it too much recently. Cue the music. Oh my goodness, I need an XP farm. So I've just come out of the nether. I've got 28 levels. I did actually have more levels, but I managed to put, I think it was unbreaking on my sword. So we've got a decent amount of enchantments. But ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be leaving it till the next video. But by the next video, I'm going to have these both on my swords and hopefully it'll work an XP farm because like I said, it's proven very hard to get this XP. This video took me way over like a week and a half to do without the proper resources. I need to plan a bit better next time. But anyway, we're cutting it short on this video this video needs to go out and if i try and get these on my sword in this video it's not going out for like another day so i need an xp farm so anyway ladies and gentlemen in this video i literally got the whole village of trading hall sorted i had to redo it multiple times of course we got the new creeper farm a bunch of netherite full netherite armor netherite swords loads of xp and a bunch of new villagers anyway thank you for watching and uh yeah i'll see you in a bit bye bye so what did you think it was good. Although, do you think that creeper farm will be big enough for getting a bunch of netherite in the future? Well, hello, hello. Welcome back to another hardcore episode. Episode 5 are we on? Look at that arrow in my head. That is so annoying. You can tell I've been fighting skeletons. But like I said, today we have a bunch of things to do. First thing being making an XP farm. So I know first of all, we basically need a 4x4 four four square. Once again, I did use this tutorial before. So I will be sure to leave it in the description again. Oh, I really hope my pickaxe doesn't break while doing this. It is very close. I've I think I've got about seven of these pickaxes, but because of getting all the stone for obviously that giant villager build I did, they are literally all completely done. And I can't even fix them up or put mending on them or anything because I don't have enough XP. So this is what we have to do before anything. So now this is done. I believe the digging does not stop there. We need to dig at this roof here. So that's completely gone. Also, I don't know if anyone noticed in my last video, I said digging and then I said that's half of the name of the game. I actually cut out the part where I said mining as well. Don't worry. I know the game isn't called dig craft anyway though speaking of digging this is actually taking not as long as i thought i should have the tutorial done fairly soon and then we can get on to the more fun stuff all right so that's the floor completely gone now i believe we put water here and then here as well i'm pretty sure anyway though now oh there is lava this may make it a bit difficult oh that is a lot of lava the thing is though it's not like i could have chose where this is because this just is where the spawner is so i guess we're gonna have to try and work around this okay now after i've done this bit of lava here that should be all the lava blocked off if i'm not mistaken blocked off all the way to the bottom level as well there we go and now we should be able to get going now i want this room to be kind of big so i can fit chests in but i can always make it bigger another time if i need to i hope these stairs i'm making actually leads to the way to get back to my house because that would just make things a lot easier oh my goodness of course there's a spider spawner right here oh we're at the dirt and of course it's night time i swear every time i dig up it's night time but anyway is this going in the direction to get back to my house it is not either way though it's fine one extremely annoying shift later so this definitely is not how my skeleton farm looks before so i do not exactly know if i've done this correct but either way we're gonna go with it hopefully it should be all good so now if i am not mistaken all i believe i need to do now is make this all into cobblestone and then break the torches and break these blocks here so the water flows all the way down oh yeah and put a sign there Okay, so that's now this done. I mean, I haven't done the roof, but who cares? Who cares about the roof? Now, if we do this, please, is it going to go in? Perfect. Now, if we take out the rest of these quickly, we should, we should be good to go. Let me go down here. Come on. Are they going to spawn? Yes, there we go. They're spawning. There we go. XP farm mission complete. Look at me. Oh my goodness. I need to relog. But anyway, skeleton farm, XP farm, mission complete. Great success. Oh yeah, you guys haven't actually seen this, but I got something off camera. So tell me, what's the best thing you can get in Minecraft Hardcore? I'll let you leave your guesses in the comments for a second. Guess before I actually show you. So personally, I would say an enchanted golden apple. And when I open this chest, you'll see what I got. There it is, a golden apple. <laughs> 
Now, it's nothing too crazy, but I just thought I'd show you. I think it's pretty cool. I want to get like a stack of these one day. I don't know how I'll do it, but I think that'd be pretty sick. Anyway, though, that doesn't matter too much. We have other things to do. What am I doing? I can't. There we go. There we go. But now for the most important part of this video. I know you've seen the title and thumbnail, and you're probably like, Zetro, what the hell are you doing? So, ladies and gentlemen, here I introduce to you the platform where we are going to hold four creeper farms all connected to each other. Got all the materials here. I got it all off camera. It did take me a very long time. Safe to say when I was testing this thing out on creative, world well edit didn't even come into my brain, and I was up to like 5 a.m. So, I've got all the correct materials here. I'm going to chat to you while I'm doing this about why i'm actually doing this also um i probably didn't need to get this many buckets i did not need to get like four fishing rods and i did not need to get this many doors yeah i'm not the smartest minecraft player but anyway why am i making this build so a good few months ago now i promised that i was going to explode 100,000 tnt and if you check my channel you'll see that i have not done that yet so this is exactly how we are going to do it so then once we've actually got the whole creeper farm thing done over time off camera and in between videos i can keep using this and eventually we'll have like 500,000 gunpowder or whatever it is i need to make 100,000 tnt This thing is already looking ridiculous, but now we have to do more digging. I feel like I didn't realize how long this is going to take, especially in survival. Everything just kind of takes longer than when you're doing it in creative. This is definitely going to be a big thing, but I will get it done. One thing I do want to say is, oh wait, the sun's going down. I should probably go and sleep. But one thing I do want to say is you can probably tell it. Well, you may, I mean, you might not even be able to tell, but it is very, very hot in the UK right now. If you didn't know, I'm from the UK. I mean, it's probably hot in loads of places in the world. So I am very, very hot. And I mean, I can't even have my windows open because I don't want the mic picking up people outside. So yeah, that doesn't exactly help, but... We're still going to get it done, eventually. While I'm doing this, realizing that I'm building a creeper farm, I'm also realizing we literally built this. Literally, wait, it was the last episode, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure. So we've just built creeper farms two episodes in a row. I don't think I've ever... Has anyone ever done that before on Minecraft Hardcore? Building creeper farms two episodes in a row? I don't know. Bit of an odd one. At the same time, I'm realizing this also. I could have probably built this sort of creeper farm thing over there where I know that there's already one. So that'll probably save me like a quarter of the time. Uh, it's fine. We can have two creeper farms. I mean, te technically five but you know who knows maybe we'll make more in the future as well maybe rather than have a two by two make like a three by three i mean i don't know if it would work but we can try it we can try it now i know what a lot of you are thinking zetra why did this video take you like a week to make the creeper farm doesn't even take that long to make like most episodes and a lot of youtubers probably would say the same it's not even the recording that takes all this time it's the preparation some videos it's not bad but videos like this let's just say it took a very long time to get the materials and actually doing testing to see if this worked imagine if i didn't test it so when i built the thing it just didn't work that that would have been great at least we know it's actually gonna work and it's gonna give a pretty decent amount of gunpowder like i said i think it's like over 2500 that's not 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 confirmed i won't lie either way though it's gonna be better than that boy right there i'm having to block off so many holes this is so annoying why can't i just build it on the floor why why didn't i just do that i could have just done that i feel like i'm just kind of getting ahead of myself and just doing things constantly trying to get this done so if you do properly want to see how it's actually made i will obviously be sure to leave a link in the description i'm now realizing as I said that I may have not done that in the last video if I haven't I will change it I, I apologize but yeah if you want to watch the tutorial I'll leave a link in the description I'm not quite placing the chests yet because I feel like it might be a good idea to connect them because since I've got so many creeper farms I'm not going to be wanting to go to all these different areas with chests maybe to like connect them up in the middle by the way does anyone else know that this doesn't break rails I did not know that I thought water would break rails so quickly but yeah chest in the middle that could be a good shout Now we have the first part done. We are moving on to the second part. Of course, of course, that's how it goes. You go one, then two, then three. Wait, what is the third part? Oh yeah, it's those like boatloads of slab at the top. You know that part there? It's basically that, but like obviously times four because of what we're doing. It actually feels kind of weird. Imagine like doing something and then you have to do it like four more times. Yeah, this is kind of time consuming, but it's, it's fine. We need to get it done. It just gives you another reason to like the video. So if you haven't already liked the video, please do. I think it doesn't actually do anything, but I mean, it motivates me. So if you want to like the video, that'd be good. Motivates me to make more videos. And um, if you don't want me to make more videos, then I don't know what to say to you. 
How did I just fall? Another thing that's also going to make this creeper farm pretty good, of course, apart from the fact that there's four of them, is you know how, like, with obviously this one, there's, like, layers, and the ones I'm doing right now, there's a bunch of layers that I'm doing. With this one, I think it's got, like, five layers or six. I don't know. Either way, though, I've added one extra one, so I think it's now six layers rather than the five, so it's going to be better. But leave a comment now. Leave a prediction. Do you think we'll get over 2,500 gunpowder in an hour? I'm not too sure. I believe we will if, if my maths is correct. I I have no idea. I feel like I should start streaming a bit more on Twitch. If you follow me on Twitch, I haven't really been streaming that much at the moment. I've sort of just been getting things done and dusted, like, off camera so I can fully concentrate. But I might start doing that again. I do need to do the 24-hour stream on Twitch at some point, which is then obviously going to be a video mining for 24 hours straight. Because if you guys didn't see the last video, I think it was the last video anyway, or the video before, we hit 10,000 likes, which means, of course, I have to mine for 24 hours straight, as I just said. Maybe it could be, like, a Christmas special. I don't know. I do want to do something for Christmas as well. I don't know. I think it's just, like, the best best time of the year even if you don't celebrate it i think it's pretty cool so that is five dispensers down but like i said i believe we're doing six so i'm gonna do this fifth layer now real quick and there we go that is ow the one two three four five six layers complete you can tell it is usually five that kind of looks a bit odd to me i need to destroy that dirt block but i'm just gonna do this three more times so let's get to it but don't worry i won't make you sit through that so here's a very cool looking time lapse I did it again. You know how I said in the last video that I basically just started talking? I didn't even open my recording software before I started talking. I mean, I had OBS open this time, but I just didn't click record. So I was just talking to myself for like a good five minutes. But this is basically where we're at. We've made the frame for like the roof kind of thing that's going to make the whole thing dark. Of course, we've got all the layers done. Now, there's actually seven on each one rather than six. And now we place the trap doors because I believe, tell me if I'm wrong, if I'm guessing correctly, these are basically so other mobs don't spawn, not creepers. Because obviously creepers and spiders are the only two mobs that are kind of shorter than the slabs. That would be the logical idea, so I think so. Also, another thing I'm going to recommend to myself is I need to get some shulkers. Oh my goodness. I found the desert. Basically, it's extremely far away. Obviously, that's how I got the golden apple, the, the, the notch apple. And it literally takes me a good five minutes to get to it. So if I don't have shulkers, I really can't carry that much sand. So I'm going to have to kill the ender dragon very soon. I wasn't really in a rush to do it because it didn't really matter. But now that I need stuff from it, <sighs> it might be go time very soon. One farm down three more to go. While I'm just placing all these trap doors, it'd be cool if we just, like, have a chat, but you're not here. I mean, we can. I can ask you guys questions, but, I mean, can't exactly answer them in time, but I can hear your answers in the comments. Hmm, what can I ask you? Okay, I've got a good one. What is your favorite Minecraft mob? It doesn't have to be hostile, just any mob. Wait, what's my favorite mob? Definitely not Iron Golems. I hate Iron Golems with a passion now. I'm sorry, Tony, from the last series. If you guys know Tony, he's an OG, but I, I, I genuinely hate Iron Golems now. I feel like there's a mob that I really like, but I can't think of what it is right now i don't know it'll come back to me 12 seconds later oh yeah bees bees are pretty cool i mean parrots are cool turtles are cool but bees i like bees i think the reason i probably like bees is because of the what was it the trailer i think that was like that was quite a long time ago now well not that long axolotls as well axolotls are pretty cool wait can you still get purple axolotls i actually you guys probably know i actually don't know if you can i'll try and get one Wait, what if, like, while I'm doing this, mobs just start spawning? Because they're spawning in those. Like, is couldn't they just, like, spawn whenever they wanted? Like, a creeper just spawns next to me? I don't know. I'm pretty sure, though. I feel like they can. Oh, speaking of mobs, do you see that guy right there? If he's going to be no trouble to me, I'll leave him. But if he does try to come for me, I might have to give him a little one-two left hook, right hook. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know what I'm saying. Either way, though, mobs or no mobs, another pillar. Done. Look at that. These actually look like waffles. Has anyone noticed that? Like, you know, just like the little like breakfast waffles. Yeah, anyway, on to the next one. Safe to say, after placing all the breakfast waffles, I got a bit carried away and basically finished the whole creeper farm. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
This is looking insane. All I need to do now is put the buckets of water in the dispensers, put power to these bad boys, and we will be rocking and rolling. I can put a big platform up there. So now I shall put a bucket of water in every single dispenser. I'm hoping I've got enough. I've got iron spare just in case. But I mean, if the maths was correct, I should be all good. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we're all good. Nope. No, this is gonna go wrong. No, 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 no. Oh my goodness. And that's it. I believe we're done. I genuinely think we've finished this whole thing, apart from one last thing, which is the AFK spot all of the way up there. Oh, you can't even see it's my big head. But that's all we need to do. I need to grab some doors, make sure I count the right amount of blocks, and we should be good to go. Like I said, made a few too many doors, a few too many fishing rods for no reason. But you know what? I'm just happy we're finally finished. Putting those water buckets took way longer than it should have because of just creepers and spiders and stuff. But you know what? It's all good. So now I believe I go here and now I need to go up 123 blocks, which will be 182, I believe. And we have made it above the platform. Feels like I'm like breaking out of somewhere or something. It's so dark down there. Look at the size of this thing. Oh my goodness. Look at that one. And then look at that one. You can't, you could literally fill a whole screen with it. But what level are we on now? Level 149. Wait, what did I say again? Level 182. And then this one is 57. And then we should be exactly in the middle. I don't know if you have to be exactly in the middle, but I'm just going to do it anyway, just to be safe. Oh my goodness, I nearly fell. And I've just realized if I fell just then, I actually would have died. Oh my goodness, that was close. So I believe that's the platform done. We now have a little water thing going up to it. And then I've placed a bunch of water here. So if I do fall... I should be all good. And we've got little water things here. That one's disappearing as we speak. And yeah, we've got waterfalls here so I can actually get up. I really do need an elytra, don't I? Oh my goodness. So I'm just going to put some blocks here to make sure I'm a bit more protected. And hopefully... This is going to work. In fact, put your predictions for how much gunpowder total I'm going to get with all four creeper farms together. I'm going to put a timer on for an hour and now I'm going to go AFK. Wish me luck. Hopefully this wasn't a big waste of time. All right, let's get going. Okay. This is what it all comes down to. An hour of going AFK, multiple days of making this creeper farm. This is the moment. If there's like nothing here, I'm going to be very upset. Please, please be a lot of gunpowder. Here is the moment of truth and... Oh, okay. Okay, I'll take it. You have no idea how worried I was just then. I genuinely thought I was just going to like have like two stacks, maybe even less. But I will take that. So, so far, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 stacks. All right, I'll take it. I'm hoping that it's going to be the same for this side as well. A good few stacks and... Okay, pretty good, pretty good. So we now have 9, 18, 27, basically 41 stacks of gunpowder. Now I'm quickly going to put it into a calculator now. That is over 2,600 gunpowder in an hour. I will take it, especially seeing as my old gunpowder farm was like 500 or something, maybe even less. I barely even used it because I've now got this one. But I will say that is a success. 2,600 gunpowder in an hour. We're going to have 100,000 TNT in no time. I am very happy happy with this. In fact, I've just realized this whole video has been me building two different farms. One significantly bigger than the other, but I only just realized that. But I believe that is where we are going to end the video. This farm took me almost a week to get the materials for and build and testing as well. So if you could drop a like, drop a sub, I'd really appreciate it. Anyway, I'm going to end the video here because I genuinely have a lot of stuff to do off camera. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. But as I said, this did take a very long time. So if you could subscribe and let's get to 200k subs. But yeah, thank you for watching. This is and shoot me. I'll see you in a bit. Bye bye. That gunpowder farm was massive. Yeah, definitely a lot better than the other one. So, did you have any plans for the farm? Well, that's exactly why I built the farm. I had a big plan in store for the next episode. Ooh, sounds interesting. Hello. Hello, welcome back to the channel and welcome to this random area that I'm at. So you're probably wondering where I am right now and let me just show you straight away. So we are at the desert that I was talking about in the last video. So of course, I've already looted that village. I've looted this. This is actually where I got the golden apple. So before we get into doing anything in this video, I want to quickly just explore this desert. See if we can find any other loot. As you can see, I've been digging a pretty decent amount here. Although before I go properly digging, I do 100% need to get some shulkers because traveling all the way to this desert without a shulker it's not great wait is that what 
I think it is. Oh my goodness. Not exactly a desert temple, but I believe we have found a villager outpost. Oh, this uh, this desert isn't exactly massive, but look at that. There is a villager outpost. Oh my goodness. I will not be going to that right now. I don't even entirely know what I'm looking for. I just want to get some sick loot. Oh, oh my goodness. I thought, I don't know why. I thought that was a temple, but I will take it. Another village. I can actually get so much hay from this. Look who it is. I think you know what we have to do, ladies and gentlemen. That was satisfying. You love to see it. You really do. I will take some lovely hay. I will literally take all the hay that I can get. Of course, perfect for bread. That's probably what it would be used for. Bread and yeah, that's it. I think that's everything I really wanted from this village. Wait, any chests in... Nope, nothing. So I think that's probably everything I wanted from this. But over here, I do see over there. Do you see that? I think we have a village on our hands. Anything good in the first chest? Okay, I'll take it. Oh, I actually need one of these grindstones as well. I hear an iron golem outside. We're going to leave this guy. Isn't this chest up here usually quite good? I'm pretty sure. Nope. Oh, some armor. Oh. I did not know that was possible. You learn something new every day. Ooh, very nice. All right, I think that's that village done. Right, back to the desert. I've got a feeling this desert isn't really too big. I just want to have one little last explore of it anyway, but seeing as the surroundings at grass, I'm not too confident on there being much more. In fact, no, the desert does actually carry on over here. Oh, that is one big ravine. I mean, I could literally take that full damage. I'm not going to, but I could if I want to. Got the trusty old feather falling. That's an interesting mountain. Look at that. Oh, wait, I see a house. Oh, that goat just went crazy. Any blacksmith? No. It's fine. At least we can steal some more hay from the animals. Now, I believe we're making it back to square one, which means that is the end of the desert. Not exactly a massive desert. Anyway, though, this desert will be amazing for getting sand. And I'd say the loot we got was actually pretty awesome. Now, this is basically where I've been for like the past two, three days, genuinely. Because if you couldn't tell from the title and thumbnail, we're, of course, going to be exploding lots and lots of TNT. So, yeah. I've just been AFK here for a very long time, but I've got a lot of gunpowder. As you can see, all these chests, I think I've got about 17 or so chests of gunpowder, which is nuts. And I've also got all this TNT so far. It's not like 10,000 or whatever, but it's enough for now. But let it be known, before we go exploding TNT... We have a lot of work to do. But anyway, that's the reason I actually wanted to show you guys the desert before I actually go digging. Because today, I'm going to have lots and lots of digging to do. That desert is going to be destroyed. And don't forget that I'm also going to have to do a lot of back and forth running because I don't have shulkers. So transporting the sand or whatever, it's going to be a bit of a pain. But what I'm going to do now is go over to this chest. Hey, there we go. Look at all those shovels. But now what I need to do is go all the way to the desert and get digging. It's going to take a long time to get there. Ah, it's a good thing I bought a bed. We've got pretty much all the gunpowder we need. So now the sand is the main problem. But luckily, we've got the shovels for the job. I do not remember the desert being this far away. Oh my goodness. I'm literally at the North Pole right now. 7.59 a.m. Here we are. We're back. It's time to destroy. That sounded kind of cool, didn't it? I'm hoping I put like fire effects there just then or like make my deep voice or something. So when I said destroy, it actually sounds cool. I don't know. Editor Z chart. I hope you actually did that. Anyway, though, enough of that. As you can see, I've been digging and it's time to get digging. Luckily, I know there's no like cool structures around here now, so I can just dig wherever. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Six completely full double chests of sand. That is what I have collected up. It's not all the sand we need. We still need six more to go because I believe we need about 12 in total if I've done the math correct. But it's good to know that we have got half of the sand at least. I am glad we got it, but it is safe to say that my sleep schedule did not enjoy it because I was up till about 6 a.m. But anyway, though, quickly before we go and get the rest of the sand, I do want to quickly show you one little thing right here. So if you watched the last video, of course, we built that massive creeper farm. We needed a bunch of wood, so I placed a bunch of these trees and some down there as well and also if you watched the last video you'll know what my one of my favorite mobs is and why you can comment it down below if you want but essentially we've got loads and loads of bees here and i saw wadsy get like a hundred ages ago i'm pretty sure i'm just saying there's 
Possibly over 100 here. Maybe. I don't know. Getting over 1,000 bees in Minecraft Hardcore? I don't know. It could be fun. But anyway, though, we are not getting bees today. The one thing we need to do now is, of course, get the rest of the sand. So like I said, the desert is like a good, I think, six-minute walk. I think I timed it roughly. And transporting this sand was so time-consuming. But anyway, though, time to go get the rest of the sand. <laughs> I'm going to chuck literally my whole inventory apart from food and I'll keep a sword just because just of mobs. I'm going to chuck it all in there. Oh my goodness. Ah, you got to love creepers, don't you? Why are these guys not burning? It's literally, the sun is literally out. Come on now. Anyway, now that we can fit maximum sand in the inventory, we should now probably just get digging. Just like I have been doing for many hours what we could maybe do is like move to different areas so i'm not just destroying the whole this part of the desert i mean it's all gonna go anyway i know it doesn't look like it and you're probably thinking to yourself zetra there's no way you're gonna destroy this whole desert i will the amount of tnt i'm gonna be exploding in this video i am gonna be destroying lots and lots of this desert it will take time <gasps> oh i could draw something in the sand by digging it that'd be cool Wait, if my full inventory is going to get around just over a double chest, I should be making probably around 10 trips back to the chests. Lots of people playing outside in the sun, having fun. I'm having fun breaking sand. Two chests down, four more to go. Chest number three down. I need to make sure I actually keep an eye on my shovels because I want to get them to like this when they're about to break, but I can fix them. But my shovels keep breaking. I need to be more careful. <sighs> Now, that should be all the sand that I need. Oh, my goodness. It's now the next day because the transporting part going from basically the desert over to my house and taking it all to here. That genuinely took hours and hours, which is why I need shulkers. But we now have one thing left to do before we go explode all the TNT in the nether, and that is make the TNT. But anyway, this TNT needs to be made so we can actually go and explode it. I'm very excited. Also, if I'm talking weird, I bit my lip. I know it's annoying. I'm sorry. Anyway, time to make all the TNT. There's one stack down, about 120 more to go. Now that all of the TNT was fully created, I had an idea which was basically to go over to the pillager outpost and then start a raid in the desert village. But then after fighting the raid for a good 10 minutes or so, this happened. It says raid's defeat. Has the raid just stopped? Or does that mean I have to defeat the raid? Uh, wait, wait, the boss just disappeared. Um... Did the raid just end because all the villagers died? So yeah, that raid wasn't very successful. So then I went back to the pillager outpost. I killed the main pillager to, of course, get Bad Omen, which took a very long time. I don't know why. One just wasn't spawning. And now we end up here where I head back to my home and it's time to start a raid. This guy's just doing all the work for me. I really don't like Ravengers, but what I hate even more is Vexes. When the Vexes start spawning, that's going to be a problem. Oh, now that is scary. Good thing I've got a boat. If I didn't have a boat, I don't know how I'd ever complete a raid. Uh, I hate when they go underground. Oh, that was easy. It's like target practice. Look at this. Easy. Oh, my first totem. Where's my totem? Oh, no, 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 no. I need to grab my totem. Oh. Oh my goodness. My heart is racing. Oh, oh, oh my god. My heart. My heart. I mean, I had a totem, but oh my goodness. I need to take a minute to breathe. Oh, I can't even hit my shots now because I'm shaking so much. Oh my goodness. Can you tell that I'm shaking? Please tell me this is the last round. I hope so. That wasn't it. That wasn't the last round. Okay, there's one of the magician guys gone. Ah, almost done. So scared to get this totem because last time I did, I almost died. What's faster, me or a Vex? I'm hoping me. Wait, I think the last pillager's downstairs at my villager training hall killing him. Come on. Please tell me this is the last one. What? There's not another round. Oh my goodness. If there was another round, I don't know what I'd do. What an amazing sound. Look at these cheap trades amazing now that was scary oh my well at least it's done now and i can sleep anyway though after all that in this video i believe it's now time for the main event of course exploding 10,000 tnt now it may not sound like a lot i mean it does sound like a lot but we will be doing 100,000 tnt at some point i'm just not 100 percent sure when because we need to get things like shulkers because if you couldn't tell i'm gonna be making many trips back 
Anyway, though, time to head to the nether. I don't actually know where I should be placing this TNT. I do have a hole, like, down that way where I can get to level 15. That could be a good idea. Oh, there it is. But now, I suppose, it's just time to dig and place loads of TNT. In fact, comment how much TNT you think I'm going to get. I literally have no idea. A couple of stacks of ancient debris. Oh, there we go. There's our first bit. All right. We've hit lava. I actually haven't gone too far. I'm just going to place TNT. I don't know how much we're going to do. Maybe like a stack or two. But we're just going to go from here. I also don't know if I should be leaving like a gap. Like I, I say this every time. Every time I explode TNT, I don't know whether to leave like a gap between each one. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I should just, just spam them. But anyway, what is that? Nearly two stacks of TNT? Oh my goodness. As you know, I, I run very far, farther than I need to because, you know, I'm just being safe. Any ancient debris? Oh, hello. Hello. Don't mind if I do. Is this another vein of one? Oh, a vein of two. Oh, a one little uh, hidden away over here. Any ancient debris? No. So we got five. Okay, it's a start. Oh, look at that. I dug into another one of my tunnels. I have a feeling that I'm going to have to go very far if I want to get away from all my past explosions. Wow. wow. All right, so I've exploded. How many stacks of TNT was that? I'm going to guess like 20 stacks or something. I know it was around a third of the chest, but from all that TNT, we got 61 ancient debris. Okay, I'll take it. Now I just need to make my way back home and then we can get exploded in even more TNT. At least I'm going to get a bunch of ancient debris from it. <coughs> 15 minutes later. Home at last. I'm not gonna lie, that took me probably around 15 minutes to get home. Now, time to chuck this stuff in the chest and do it all again. Ah, the wonders of getting ancient debris. So now, after getting about, what is it, nearly a stack of ancient debris, pretty much a stack of ancient debris from this much TNT, I want to see how much ancient debris I can get from the rest of the chest. So what I'm going to do is grab as much as I can, and then I'm going to come back again, grab the rest of it, and I'm going to go to the nether and see how much ancient debris I can get from just that. Hopefully I'm going to end up with like three stacks. I think I'm going to try and put the TNT just in a straight line, so I don't have to like go around and explore in the nether to try and get back home. But anyway, unless I die that would have been great i'll check back up with you when all that tnt from the double chest is done Well, well, well. What do we have here? Wait, was that was that a goat? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I don't know why. I thought a goat just fell from that creeper farm. Anyway, we now have completed one double chest of TNT. And now I'm going to open up the chest. And you guys are going to see how much ancient debris we got from that double chest of TNT. Three, two, one. Look at that. Oh, basically three stacks of ancient debris. I think that's pretty good. But of course, we have some more to go. I really do wish I had some shulkers. Wait, before I go to the nether again, let me just check one thing over here. Are all my villagers dead? Okay, yeah, I was right. Look at this. Look, we've literally got zombies over here waiting to kill the villagers. I'm definitely going to have to do a video where I just fill this villager trading hall one day, which would be like 500 villagers. Anyway, though, maybe, maybe at some point I'll get like 500 villagers. I'm pretty sure that's exactly how many villagers the villager trading hall would fit. But I now need to go explode in loads more TNT. I have no idea how many I'm going to do now. I'm just going to go with the flow and just go and explode loads of TNT. Because that'd be fun. Oh, we're back. The final stack of TNT. Can you tell that I'm kind of drained from placing TNT? I've been doing it for like the past two days. I'm not actually going to show you. I think all the ancient debris is in this chest right here. I'm not going to show you yet until we've quickly placed this last bit of TNT. And then we're going to be completely done. I actually have a lot more ancient debris than I thought I would. Let's just say that. But I mean, that's not surprising. I thought I was going to get like two stacks. Okay, now I don't know what way to go because I went that way. I've been like this way, this way, this way, this way. Literally every Every direction I can go. I'm trying to think where I can go. In fact, I may be able to just fit in a stack right here. Okay, now I believe that's enough space. And that's it. That's the last stack of TNT. Time to get the final 
ancient debris. I'm going to watch this explosion. Amazing. Amazing. Oh, there's actually a bit of ancient debris. Okay, I fully expected to just place this stack and just not get anything because it's only a stack of TNT, which is a lot. But at the same time, I think I just don't realize how much it is because I've just been exploding so much. Before doing this stack, I think last time I was actually in the nether, loads of like zombie piglins started going after me. Not these ones, like, you know, the, the other ones. But anyway, it's... Oh, hello. Hello, sir. Goodbye, sir. Wait, is this the last bit? I will take it. I thought I was going to get nothing. Anyway, how much was that? Five ancient debris. Okay, I'll take it. So that's it. That's 10,000 TNT placed. Well, 10,300 and something. Now, it is, of course, time to see exactly how much ancient debris I've got. I, th I believe it is that chest there. I don't actually know myself. I know roughly how much, but I, I can't remember. So three, two, one. Almost almost nine stacks of ancient debris. I will take it. Going from literally only having netherite armor and like a netherite sword, I will take that. Now we just need to put it all in this bad boy. Now, I can make a little bit of netherite. Not loads. I don't exactly have the gold for it. I can probably get it by the next episode. In fact, I will 100% have it by the next episode. But for now, let's just make a few ingots. And now, now we can get placing the most satisfying block. Are you ready? Oh, it's just satisfying. It really is. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, while I stood on my netherite ingot blocks, I think I'm going to be ending the episode here. It was very, very time consuming. Doing this in like a week was kind of tough. I'm not going to lie, but I'm very happy we did it. That is... That <laughs> There's a lot of netherite for like episode, what is this, six or something? Thank you very, very much for watching. I've had many late nights for this video, so I mean, if you could drop a like, drop a sub, road to 200k, I'd appreciate it. So, what do you think? That was insane. Do you think you'll ever explode 100,000 TNT? I hope so. That has always been the mission. Well, that and getting a full netherite beacon. So maybe one day. Awesome. If you thought that was awesome, wait till you see this next episode. Wait, what? Anyway, hello, hello. Welcome back to the Hardcore series. Now, you're probably wondering wondering why there's seven and a half stacks of TNT in my inventory. I want more likes. So basically, the last video got about 4,800 likes from the time I'm recording this, so I'm gonna go and explode 480 TNT. So this is a new thing I'm doing with each video. However many likes the last video got, I will divide that by 10 and explode that amount of TNT. So if the next video gets 10,000 likes, I'll explode 1,000 TNT. I would do the amount of likes equals the amount of TNT, but that would be impossible. Anyway though, thank you guys for liking the video, because now I'm gonna go explode 480 TNT, which will hopefully eventually build up to us actually finally getting a netherite beacon. One like equals a slice of TNT. Anyway, now I just need to get just to the end of here, and then I can start blowing up all of this. I'm hoping I can do it all at once, but I have no idea. Okay, three and a half stacks left. I might actually be able to do it all in one go. Oh, I can't see the end yet. Oh my goodness. Okay, where can I run to? Okay, I'm gonna run that way. Tell them to bring me my money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 19 ancient debris just from you guys liking the video. I'll take it. Now I can make another block. And there we have it. So if you want to like the video, I'd really appreciate it because more likes equals more TNT equals more ancient debris equals a faster netherite beacon. Anyway, on with the rest of the video. So the first thing we actually need to do is go to where the potato farm's at. I believe it's the other side of this mountain. So the reason I actually built it over here is just in case it creates lag. But also, I don't need to take a building space around my house. Anyway, though, this is where it's at so far. So as you can see, I've tried to flatten this area out as much as possible, but I'm nowhere near done. Literally all of that over there has to go. So I don't want to break all of this at once because I don't want to actually lose the wood from the trees. So what I'm going to do is break all the trees first, and then I'll be able to use this wood for future builds. Just one mountain of trees remains. I'm pretty sure anyway. I'm pretty sure I got literally every tree that's actually in the vicinity. Is that the right word? If you're wondering why out of any crop I could do I'm doing potatoes, it's because you guys actually chose it. I basically made a community tab post and I thought everyone was going to pick carrots because of course you can get golden carrots. But it seems like everyone likes potatoes. I, I don't know why. I don't know what the fascination is with potatoes, but everyone likes them apparently. It's getting evening. Just a few more trees. Oh my goodness. I'm actually running out of space in my inventory. I did did not think I was going to get this much wood. But anyway, I believe that was the last tree. Oh wait, we have a culprit.
Okay, now they're all gone. So now that the trees were gone, I thought it might be a good idea to go and get a bunch of potatoes from my tiny potato farm that I already have and just go and do one row of potatoes along. That way, I'd be able to do the maths and see how many potatoes I'd actually need when it comes to filling the whole thing. Right now, I'm probably going to guess around 20 double chests. Would you look at that? It's evening again. I'm so glad I have that skeleton farm. I think we built that a few episodes ago, but that skeleton farm has been amazing for getting bones to, of course, grow potatoes. Almost finished this stack. Hello, sir. Easy. I think that's the third stack done. Oh, my hose about to break. Right. 60, 60. Oh, okay. We're using another stack. So that was five stacks and five potatoes. Ah, uh, creeper. All right. Now, time to do the maths. Okay, so here's the potato farm. This way is five stacks and five blocks. This way, three stacks and 12 blocks. So this equals 204. I definitely didn't use a calculator for that. And then this one equals 325. I believe we need to do 325 times 204, which equals 66,300. And then divide that by 64. This is definitely all in my head, by the way. Definitely Definitely not using a calculator. Divide that by 64, which is 1,035. Divide that by 54. This is how many double chests we need. 19.2. I was actually very close with my guess of 20. That is a lot of double chests, especially since it took me a day to get like six. I've got a lot of work to do. So now we're eight double chests. What I'm going to do is grab as many as I can right now. And I think I'm just going to go place in these quickly. Because then while I'm flattening out the rest of the farm, I feel like those hopefully would have grown by then. So then I'm going to have a bunch more potatoes. Hello, B. Shall I let him free? Yeah, why not? There you go, man. Fly. Be free. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Imagine this times like 204 all around this area. That is going to be so many potatoes. Oh my goodness. I really need to place water because the ground keeps drying out. I think I'm probably going to do that last though. We'll just have to live with it. Uh... How have I managed to make this block here exactly 32 blocks long? Which means if I do this, I can get rid of a whole stack in one row. This is actually pretty efficient. And soon this will be, well, it's already potatoes, but this will be a lot more potatoes. That's what I meant. When you look at this from a bird's eye view, it's actually insane how small of a patch it is compared to how many potatoes we're actually going to be placing. It's kind of nuts. Wait, should I put torches down below here? Because there's going to be a lot of mobs spawning. I probably shouldn't need them. It'll be fine. I just need to make sure I don't drop down there because if I I do i actually might die look at that they're already starting to grow where are they i think so <laughs> look at that little patch there and look what we have to fill but you know what we can't fill the area if it's got mountains and stuff in it so these need to go i'm going to continue to try and flat out the area i'm hoping my tools actually have enough durability and don't break so that could be a problem these animals are making it impossible to do this now I have more room and free food. Recently, I said that I have an idea for 150,000 subscribers, like a celebration video. I should have just done getting 150,000 potatoes. There's going to be probably more than that within this farm. I'm going to be able to sell these to farmers as well and get so rich because I want emeralds and to fulfill my hunger. Who knew that crafting tables just looked like a plank of wood underneath? Oh, that was close. Oh my goodness. Good thing I've got spares. Wait, how many? Okay, I've got two shovels. That should be enough. Now, while two shovels probably would be enough to flatten out the whole area, I thought it might be fun to do something we're a little more familiar with. Exploding loads of TNT. So, I went home, grabbed loads of TNT, and took it straight back to the potato farm to get using it. Righty then, I have my TNT. I'm trying to think where I should actually place it. Do I go, like, through the middle? I think I'm just gonna dot it around and then see where we're at. Alright, get my flint and steel. I would use my boat but i don't have flame on it in fact that one might activate the other one we're getting somewhere now these are quite close together so these should all explode there we go it's working yeah this is definitely a lot quicker than using a shovel oh no the pig the pig move move Oh no, I'm a murderer. So now I'm probably just going to use all of the TNT then. Or oh, I think I have a cool way to explode this. In theory, this should work. Okay, maybe not. Looks like we're just going to have to use flint and steel. All right. Oh my goodness, that is scary. But this should all go. 
Okay, now this is working good, but that was all the TNT I brought with me. We've got the big creeper farm, we've got sand, we've got TNT. I think you know what we're going to have to do now. Now, this doesn't look like a lot of TNT, but this is completely threaded with TNT inside. There's probably about eight snacks here. So, I'm going to light this and just run as far as I can. <laughs> it's going. Come on, please explode all the TNT. Oh, my goodness. I don't want to get too close. I don't want a piece of TNT flying towards me. Okay, the mountain's definitely taking a lot of damage. It's not completely gone yet, though. Now, if I wanted to destroy the rest of the mountains with TNT, it would probably take thousands of TNT, which I didn't want to do because I wanted to keep my TNT to get, of course, the amazing netherite. So, for the next two days, I decided to take matters into my own hands and destroy a bunch of this area with pickaxes and shovels, which did take a long time, especially since I was doing other stuff and had to fix up the tools, but I got it done. Now, it was almost time to get placing all the potatoes now we just have this last little bit to do here i'm not joking i genuinely think this is my third or fourth day trying to terraform this potato farm if you could even call it that yet imagine how much easier this would have been with a beacon i think i might have to get one of those at some point oh yeah by the way a quick little thing i was thinking do i start streaming on twitch again i don't know you guys can let me know what you think i might though i think it could be fun but anyway before anything else we just need to get rid of this i can't actually wait to be able to place all the potatoes i think once this area area is done that's it we can actually start placing them we do still have a lot more to get though from the farm because there's no way i'm filling this whole area with what i've got Now, one little chunk gone. It did take 20 minutes, but oh well, we'll carry on. Now, you can imagine why this video took me so long. I apologize. I'm pretty sure I haven't uploaded in two weeks. I had to recover from the TNT video. I was staying up till like 5 a.m. But hey, the video is nearly complete. Oh yeah, also one other thing. As soon as I finish this, I have a couple of really, really cool things to show you. In fact, I'll give you a clue for what it's going to be, but I need to destroy this first. The clue is I need a name. Okay, there we go. I'll leave it up to your imaginations now. Now, quickly, before I take those potatoes over there, over to my farm, you might have just heard the sound. I have something to show you. Boom. So, I have two skeleton horses. I didn't even mean to get them, but they just spawned behind me. I was like, okay. So, I need two names for these guys. So, I want you guys to leave one, a comment for this guy. Two, a comment for this guy. And three, I have one more thing to show you. I need a comment for a name for this little guy, right? <gasps> no, no. I'm trying to save you. Oh, no, he's out. Okay, stay in water. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no. Come here, man. Come here, come here, come here, come here. No, I'm so dumb. Anyway, a name for this guy and a name for this guy. I also need to build them somewhere to actually stay. I don't want them just sat in my house. Oh, yeah, I got a couple of enderpearls too. Anyway, now it's time to transport a bunch of potatoes over to the farm, which may or may not take a long time. This is exactly why I need some shulkers. I think it's getting to the point where I'm gonna need to go to the end. But anyway, I need to go back and forth now, probably around 20 times to deliver the potatoes. Wait, what if I just killed the Ender Dragon now, got an Elytra and a bunch of Shulkers, and then it would be a lot quicker? Nah, I'll do it next episode. So now I've brought all of the potatoes I have from my house over to this new farm. And you probably saw in that time lapse that I planted a bunch of potatoes. In fact, I'm just going to use an ender pearl. There we go. But now, hopefully, by the time I've actually placed all the potatoes that I have, I'll be able to harvest the ones that are already placed down. Oh my god, you are kidding me. That sounded like Mario. A little longer than a few minutes later. <gasps> it's another. I could re-get the zombie villager. Come on, man. Follow me. No, not you. If only he was on a chicken. All right. Stay. There we go. Wait, we can't just leave him there, though, because he's going to despawn. I need a name tag. I don't think I have one. I'm pretty sure you can get one from fishing. Notch, if you're watching. Please. I'm begging you. <gasps> yes. Yes, 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 yes. I'm pretty sure that only took, like, what, five attempts? Okay, we're actually going to be able to get this guy. 
And... Dot. And now, once again, we need a name for the zombie villager. Oh, if he's even there. Oh, please be there. Please be there. I would be so heartbroken if he's gone. I've got a feeling that it's not going to be there. Am I going to hear him? No, not again. Well, you know what they say, third time's the charm. So even though it wasn't the main objective of the video, I really now wanted the zombie villager. But luckily, this happened. Wait, did I just hear... <gasps> it's him! What? How? Quick, before he despawns, we've got another. Okay, we'll leave him right there for now. All right, I have a helmet for him. I'm hoping this is actually gonna work. Okay, if I give him that, yes! If I block off the water, there you go, there's some steps. I've captured him. So now, for the third time, I'm asking you to comment a name for this guy. I'd appreciate it. I can't believe that. Anyway, one baby zombie villager later. I thought you guys deserve a satisfying time lapse. So I finished up the area that I was working at, and now we were left with one big rectangle of grass. Now, this video is dragging on a bit. I don't want to make it too long. So yeah, enjoy the potatoes. So now that that's all done, I'm going to give everyone here some advice if you're wanting to place loads of crops. Don't. This right here, all these potatoes to place, took me like three days. It was such a hassle. But hey, it's finally done. Also, I'm going to quickly say I'm sorry this video took a very long time to come out. Because as I'm recording this, tomorrow, which is probably when you're watching this, is when my room is completely transforming. Now that I've got this whole new setup, the video should be coming out a lot quicker now. But now I need to go and dismantle my setup because my gaming setup is being redone. So thank you for watching. This is the world's biggest potato farm. Make Make sure to comment those names for the two skeleton horses and the zombie villagers and i'll see you in a bit bye bye yeah i'm guessing you never struggled for food ever again exactly you do really like doing big projects don't you yeah big projects but also useless ones i see i mean speaking of useless projects anyway welcome back to the hardcore world you guys got thirteen thousand likes on the last video which means i have to go ahead and explode 1300 tnt so i'm gonna go do that now and now depending on how many of you like the video we will eventually be able to get a netherite beacon anyway though i need to go and explode all this tnt this is uh gonna take a very long time for the ancient debris Now, while I was at the nether, I actually got some gold as well. So I could, of course, make all my netherite scrap into actual netherite ingots. Now we have 17 ingots. In fact, I can actually make another block. These are all the netherite blocks we have so far. And hey, with the people's help, we can eventually make this a full netherite beacon. I also got a wither skull, which is pretty cool. So as you probably saw from the title and thumbnail, today I'm going to be killing the end dragon. But before that, I do need to prepare. And to prepare, I need to get potions. Luckily, I've already got pretty much all the stuff I need for most of the the potions but the main one i need is actually slow falling oh look at those so this should take it to i actually don't know but probably like three minutes i'm guessing oh four okay i'll take it so after seeing how useful it would be to upgrade all the potions with redstone i decided to do that with all my other potions i then looked at what other potions might be useful for the end dragon fight and realized that i'd probably need regeneration which meant i'd need some gas tears so i made the choice to go to the nether and try and kill a ghast and i let's just say i got extremely lucky oh my goodness literally a gas straight away that's probably the best outcome that could have happened wait if i can use my sword on this i can get looting from it if it comes down low enough oh oh my goodness i've been in the end for what like 30 seconds and i've just got two gas tears how lucky can someone get oh my goodness so i've now got slow falling i can get regeneration i actually don't really know what else i need okay there we go well you only get a minute and a half i think that actually should be enough now i think i'm gonna grab some buckets of water not for doing like an mlg water bucket move or anything but in case endermans come near me and i need to sort of keep them away that'll probably be pretty useful but now that we've got the potions and water buckets sorted i actually don't think i need to grab anything else although i have no idea where the end portal actually is so the one thing we're gonna have to do is get some more end portals. i've literally got one our first opponent 
Now, I have got the 19 Eyes of Ender in my inventory. But as you can probably notice, I've got everything else in my inventory as well. Because I believe it's time for the final battle. Which I'm actually nervous for. Every time, I manage to complete it pretty easily. But also, every time, I get extremely nervous. Ladies and gentlemen, we've done a lot on this world. And hopefully, it's not all about to come to an end. It's time to actually fight the Ender Dragon. First Eye of Ender. Oh, okay, this way. I actually feel like I've got a lot less stuff this time. Usually, I've got a bunch of different potions everything but anyway i'm gonna do the next pearl now oh we're definitely going this way so i forgot this whole area was even a thing isn't there like an ocean down that way is the ocean i was talking about i'm hoping this is gonna go behind me because i don't really want to have to get in a boat <sighs> oh it's going behind me now okay okay i'm really hoping it's gonna be one of those ones where i can just see it from the ocean that would be amazing anything down here Oh, another trident boy. Okay, this area looks promising. Oh, I'm really hoping this next one doesn't break. Okay, so it must be here. Time to dig. Okay, I can hear a cave. This is promising. We are here. We've made it. I feel like it's probably a good idea to have my shield out right now. Now, here's the really annoying part. Actually trying to find the portal. Oh, the loot here is probably amazing. In fact, I'm going to screenshot this because I need to come back here at some point. Oh! <gasps> There it is. That actually didn't take too long whatsoever. That's probably the quickest I've ever found it. We've found the end portal. Oh my goodness. Block over the lava. Oh, it's water. So we could actually swim down to here. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I think you know what time it is. There it is. Right, I've got everything I need. I'm hoping this is not the end of this Minecraft Hardcore series. It's time to go. This spawn is actually perfect. So, of course, first I need to take out all of these things. Oh, there's another. One out of the cage. There's another. Wait, are there only two cage ones? I hope there are. Ah, okay, that makes my life easier. Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay, I should be able to get him here. There's one. Yeah. Was that another gone? I think so. These Endermen are so angry at the Ender Dragon. Okay, last one, I hope. Boom. Wait, was that actually the last one? I think it genuinely was. Now time to just shoot this guy loads. Okay, he's actually like half elf at the moment. This fight is actually so easy if you've got a bow and arrow. Come on, man. Just let me hit you, please. I'd really... Oh, no, that's not what I meant. Okay, I can actually hit him now. If I can hit this guy once with my sword, we should be good. Okay, I'm going to drink one more slow falling. Okay, you know what? Come on, come back down. Just let me get that last hit. Come on, man. Make your way down. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Now I'm going to move a bit away from my mic because I'm probably going to be very loud here. But here we go. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. There it is. We have defeated the Ender Dragon. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at all of the XP as well. Oh my goodness. This is great. Now I didn't bring torches with me, but if I could just grab one of these and there... We have it. Look at that. I'm actually so happy right now. Now, where is the portal? That is the real question. There it is. I'm going to build a little staircase up to it. Just so then when we come back, we can get straight to going to get ourselves some elytras. There we are. Now it's just time to go into this amazing screen. And there it is. Look at that. They're talking about me. But look at that. We have the dragon egg. I need to think of a way to display this. It needs to be shown off one way or another. Now that the ender dragon was defeated, of course, I was able to go in the portal and it would be time to get myself a bunch of elytras. But there was one thing I quickly needed to do before. And that was give my two skeleton horses their new home. So I already had an area cleared out and it was time to give them their much needed horse stables. So this is the house. This is where the skeleton horses and future horses are going to be staying. Now, I'm not going to lie. The roof doesn't look amazing. I might change it in the future, but for now, I just want to get straight to getting elytras. So, of course, in the last video, I asked you guys to give me two names and also a name for the zombie villager, but I'm going to leave naming the zombie villager until next episode. So, if you want to give some more names for that, please do. So, the first name going on this villager is going to be Jeremy, and that's by someone called Villager. And then the other name, I'm actually going to be naming it Spook. Someone called The Minecrafter actually commented Spooky, which may me come up with the idea of spook so i think that's a pretty cool name so we've got jeremy and spook i think they're pretty cool a few moments later now we're back here at the end portal of course it's time to head back in i've come prepared you know i've got slow falling i've got end pearls of course i'm trying to get a total of 27 elytras but at the moment i'm honestly just excited to even get a single elytra but anyway three two one 
My goodness, we're in. I've actually got loads of fireworks. So, of course, when I do get an elytra, I can fly back. So here's what I'm probably going to do each bridge. I'm going to place water. I've got slow falling. I've got ender pearls. And also, I've got this water to hopefully fall into if I do need to. So I've got plenty of backups. We should be fine. I'm hoping we can get an NC straight away. I'm also hoping I'm not going to have to do loads of, like, massive bridges. Wait, is that? Oh, no, it's nothing. Water bucket. Time to bridge. Reposition the water. And again. And we're here. Wait, I actually thought of possibly a really good strat. So let's say you got loads of slow falling. You could actually just bridge really high up and then if you fall, you'll be able to land on an island. I'm actually going to do that strat. I'm not going to go really high, but I'm going to go I'm going to go a little bit more up. Oh, it's going and it's gone. Wait a minute. Is that? Oh my goodness. I actually can't tell. This actually could be it. This could actually be my first elytra. Oh no, I don't think there's a ship. Oh no. Oh wait. There it is. There's a ship. Oh my goodness. I've literally been in the ends. Not even that long. I'm so excited right now. I'm so excited. I'm actually going to get an elytra. Wait, couldn't I just use an ender pearl? This should be fine. Wait, is it? Oh my goodness. That scared me. One shulker down and another. Now let's carry on. Oh, here we are. Right, what's going to be in these chests? Oh, you see, this is it. This is why I love end cities. Oh, I'm so dumb. I didn't bring any wood with me, so I can't make any shulkers. I'm going to have to grab the cords for here and then come back because I can't carry the loot right now. But I will go to the ship. Wait, where is it? There it is. Okay, I should be able to end a pearl to this. Oh, there we go. And there it is. Ladies and gentlemen, the elytra. Look at it. Wait, I can't pick it up. There we go. The sky is the limit. Wow. Look at that amazing loot right there. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, we need to grab the dragon head as well. Oh wait, we don't have space. Now I just need to try and find a portal to get home. So what our plan is, is I'm going to go home. I'm going to bring wood so I can make shulkers and carry a bunch of end loot. But I'm also going to put mending and unbreaking on the elytra. Oh, there it is. Time to head home. And we are officially home. And now to get more elytras. What in the world have I just come across? Look how close these two are. Oh my goodness. This is actually so cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. I honestly have one word to describe how that end looting went. Wow. First of all, look at all this loot I now have. This is actually insane. But also, we are now on 12 elytras. Well, 13 if you include this one. And you couldn't see it in those clips, but I found two end cities next to each other, each with a boat, four or five times yesterday, which was just insane. I'll play my reactions now because I genuinely feel like my world has glitched. It was extremely lucky. Another two next to each other. Okay, what is this luck? You'll never guess what. Boom, boom. Ha ow. How? I actually think my world is glitched. One here, one here. I, I I don't understand. There's a pole there because I've just been to that one. Flew over here. Boom. I don't know what to say. Yeah, it was pretty nuts. So I came back for a few reasons. First reason being I need to clear out my inventory a bit. Second, I actually need to go grab some more woods because of course I need to make shulkers when I'm there. Four more logs and then that should. Yep, there we go. And last of all, I need to quickly fix up my elytra. There we go. And now I'd say it's time for the final trip back to the nether. Whoa. Tell me that this cutout does not look like the Yoshi egg. So I'm pretty sure when we get to about here, I have to turn left. And now if I'm correct, the portal should be around here somewhere. Yep, here it is. Ah, we meet again for hopefully the last time in this episode. And now this is the easy part. Just fly around until we eventually see some massive building. I actually hate going over the void. Even though I'm really high up, at least if I'm on an island, I've got a totem, so I'll be all right. All right, now where is this next end city? Oh, there it is. An elytra and... Oh, I'll take this loot. There it is. There's another. We're getting there. Is this like the record for most elytras in Minecraft Hardcore? Are there any other Minecraft Hardcore YouTubers that have more elytras than me? Wait, I'm going to count how many we're at. So we're on 13 so far. 16, 17. 10 more to go, ladies and gentlemen. 10 more to go. Okay, so I know this episode has been a lot of back and forth going into the nether and coming back here. I hope you guys don't mind, but I was literally running out of inventory space. It had to be done. But before I carry on, can we just appreciate the amount of loot you get from NCs? This is actually nuts. And now if you include my elytra, we're on a total of 21 elytras. But yeah, I need to go back to finding elytras. I just wanted to show you guys, if you haven't gone and looted loads of NCs already... 
I highly suggest it. So in the effort of not making this video really boring, while this voiceover plays, you can clearly see that I managed to get a total of six and then eventually that final beloved seventh elytra. So currently, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't include the elytra that I'm wearing, we now have 26 elytras, which means that if this boat hasn't been looted, this is our final destination. The last end boat. And has it been looted? It has not. There it is. There is the final elytra. I literally remember in the middle of this episode finding my first elytra and now this is the 27th elytra to go in the chest. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been a journey. And just to make sure I've counted right, I'll show you when I get home. I just need to find a portal and then that's it. And here we are. Next stop, home. And right here, we have what this whole video has been leading up to. First of all, I'd just like to show you all of the loot we've managed to get. And this isn't even all I saw because I missed a lot of chests. But every single one of these chests is completely full with insane loot. Just look at this. Seeing all this actually makes me realize how little I had before this video. Especially all these diamonds and gold. I had like no gold and iron before this. We've also got a bunch of dragon heads, an extra elytra, some eye vendors, and of course, the elusive dragon egg right there. And now, what we've all been waiting for. What I've been waiting for, what this whole video has led up to. We have now got ourselves a complete shulker full to the brim of elytras. 27 elytras to be exact. Of course, I've also got my own elytra. And now our two skeleton horse friends over here have a nice new home. Anyway, I think that's going to be the end of the video. I actually need to go collect some materials because I have a good idea for the next video. I hope this has inspired you to go end city looting because it really is very, very useful. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to subscribe because we're on the way to 200k by the end of the year. Thank you for watching and uh, yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Bye bye. So, what was the point in that? Well, I've lost a lot of elytras in the past, and I just wanted to make sure I never had to look for another elytra on that world. Well, you definitely achieved that. True. Hey, have you ever seen those videos where people make, like, massive mega bases? Yeah. Well, you want to see another? I thought it would be cool if I made one using an official Mojang book. Sounds interesting. Let's do it. Anyway, hello, hello. Welcome back to the Hardcore series. So as you saw by the title and thumbnail, of course, we're going to be making ourselves a mega base today. I'm not going to lie. I don't know really how big it's going to be, but I do think it's going to be bigger than the mega base I started on my old world. So from what you saw from the thumbnail, you probably know what the base is going to be roughly looking like. And it's made pretty much mostly out of sandstone. So I think it'd probably be best to put it in the desert. Although there's one problem. I don't know where to put it. So I think I'm going to go here for a couple of reasons. One, as you may have seen from the picture, there's going to be a bridge, which would be perfect for going here. And then also, the actual main part of the base needs to have a mountain with it. So I think this area is kind of perfect. I don't know if it's going to be enough room. I think I'm just going to get building and then we'll see. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this base. I don't know if I'll live in it. Maybe I can store things in it. You guys could probably tell me what I should do with it. In fact, so I can plan out what I'm going to do. I have an idea. So probably the best paint drawing you've ever seen right here. This is the bridge. This is the smaller tower. Then this is the big tower. And then I don't even know what these bits are. So what I think we're going to do is, of course, make this bridge here. And then sort of try and make the entrance part. And then when it gets past this little tower part where there's like a balcony, it goes into the first sort of big tower. And then eventually this giant tower right here. We've also got some lava flowing right there. I also think we're probably going to leave out some of the details. We can do all that after. But anyway, I think it's finally time to get building. But wait, stop there. I do want to quickly say that every episode, I divide the amount of likes on the last episode by 10 and explode that amount of TNT. And at the time of recording, the last video got 8.1k likes. So I went and exploded 810 TNT. And this is how much netherite we got. Look at all that netherite scrap. So now we'll make this into some ingots. Another couple of blocks. Look at it. We're getting there. But anyway, without any more distractions, I believe it's time to head back to the desert and finally get started on this mega base, which we will finish all in this video. But anyway, like I said, I do want to do the bridge part first. I did actually just build it on creative, so I'm sure I should be able to do this fairly easily. So if I'm correct, there's going to be stairs here, some stairs here, blocks, stairs, stairs, 
and then one more block. I think that's about it. I was going to make this bridge quite narrow, but this pillar starts at that part. So I'm kind of thinking we make this pillar at this part. All right, there we go. First two parts down. It's looking good so far. I can't imagine actually what it's going to look like, but I would say it's probably going to take up a lot of this space. So now I'm going to make this pillar. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then here, so there's ten blocks in between. Two very boring minutes later. So now a couple of pillars later, this is how they're looking. The weird thing with this is that obviously this part looks so much higher over here. But then because I want it to be the same length, it's literally like next to the floor over here. I do still think this is looking good though. But now I'm going to go and finish the rest of the pillars probably all the way up to here. Okay, so maybe this mountain might be in the way a bit. All right, now this whole bit is gone. Thinking about it now, it might not have been a good idea to do it on the mountain. We've still got this part to keep the build up on though, so I guess it's kind of good. It's just going to take a long time to remove this part. But anyway, now I'm not sure how tall this part's going to go. I don't think it matters too much. I think it's probably up to me. But I don't want this part to go too high because I know the bit that goes around here needs to be a lot higher. So if I make this too tall, then that part's going to be too tall. Maybe like this height. I think for now, like I said, I'm just going to do these parts just plain sandstone blocks. And then, of course, I can go back and add all the details with the stairs and the walls and everything to make it actually look a lot better. I think a lot of acacia wood as well. I need to go back and add a lot of acacia wood within the sandstone. But yeah, for now, we'll just be using these. I don't know what I'm going to make the flooring. Do I make this like pattern blocks? I'm pretty sure you can get those from like sand villages. I think that could look pretty cool if I can actually get enough of those blocks. Now we have the side tower parts to do. So it goes three blocks out, then another block, and then six, I'm pretty sure. To make sure it's actually symmetrical on the inside, I'll do this as well. And then once these two towers are done, hoping that they're tall enough, I think I'm just going to build their roofs. But first, let me just do the towers quickly. Right, there's one tower done. And then there we go. There is the other done. And then the shape of the actual build kind of looks like handcuffs. So the roofs. For now, I'm going to go with a nice simple acacia roof that we can then change. So I think I'm sort of going to do this like layers. So now we can do this second layer just to make the shape a little bit, I guess, different. Okay, yeah, that doesn't look great. Okay, add in some cool blocks. This is looking better. Now, if I make some stairs to add. Okay, now this is starting to look very, I think, different. Chuck some more stairs here. Okay, that looks fine for now. But now I need to somehow try and copy that really weird and random design onto here. Okay, that didn't actually take too long. So as you saw, I've done the two roofs, but I'm not going to lie, I went a little bit overboard and I've now done this part. So what I've done is pretty much done most of the outlines. I may have missed a couple, but most of the outlines for the towers are here. And then I'll put the signs down as well. So we've got the second balcony part. We've got the second tallest tower and then this being the biggest one. This is a farm. Stop the cow. A bunch of outlines. But now we need to make these outlines taller outlines. Starting with this one. So as you probably may have guessed, I'm just going to be building them out of sandstone. And then adding all the detail later on. It's actually crazy how much detail I'm going to need to add at the end. Bye-bye sign. I will see you soon. In fact, how high should I go? So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 15, 16. The balcony part that goes on top of this block is usually in line with this according to the picture. So that should be about perfect. But we now need to go and do that however many more times. Am I the only one that's thought that sandstone looks like popcorn? Oh yeah, by the way, speaking of bows, I mean, I didn't say anything about bows, but the skeletons have bows. I no longer have a bow. I was at the skeleton farm earlier, minding my own business. And then when I decided to chuck a bunch of stuff out my inventory, I'm pretty sure I must have just chucked away my bow as well. Oh wait, I should probably put a space here for a door. There we go. Anyway, though, that's done. I'll do this balcony properly when I do this balcony properly. But now, this tower. So this one actually goes up very, very high. I am so glad I have an elytra. Now then, this tower actually goes pretty high as well. Without the roof, it probably goes maybe about five blocks higher than this part. And then we've got the farm part, which I don't even know what it looks like. And I'm just reading the book now, and it's not a farm. It's called a forum. How did I read that as farm? It says outdoor forum. What even is a forum? But this 
this part actually goes a little bit higher than this one. So that should be about the right height for this. And then we have the massive tower right here. This tall tower literally goes like 30 blocks higher than that one. It's, it's going to be in the clouds. Wait, I wonder if I could get into that water from here. Whoa, I did it. Hello, squids. Now what I did with these little tower things here needs to be replicated with all of these blocks. Right, time to get making these towers. Now, after three hours of placing lots of sandstone, aka popcorn, tell me that doesn't look like popcorn. The last part to do, which is probably going to be the most time consuming part, is detailing this whole thing to actually make it look good rather than just some pipes out of Mario. Look at these things. But for any of the viewers of this Minecraft hardcore world, you guys will know that I recently got a zombie villager. Hello, Mr. Goat. I'm going to head home quickly and choose one of the names that you guys picked for the baby zombie villager. So I've got the name tag in my inventory. You don't know what the name is yet. You will see in just a second this name came from someone called lukes my Definitely, I'm saying that wrong. The name is spelled L-I-W-K-S-M. There we go. Shout out to you for the name. I appreciate it. So now we are going to be calling our baby zombie villager yeah. Jeff. <gasps> no. Okay, he didn't die. I don't think he died. I'm literally just making him like a makeshift home right now. One there and then one here. And now you are free. There you go. Oh, and he's attacking me. I forgot about that part. But anyway, there you go, Jeff. You now... Have a name. I'll have to look at you from over here. And now it's time for finally the final part of getting this house finished. Well, not house, mega base. So I think the first part we're going to be making actually look pretty cool is the bridge. Don't get me wrong. It's going to be hard to kind of do all the complex little bits that they did in the book. But the bridge is still probably going to be the least stressful because I don't have to be flying around on the side of towers and stuff. But there we go. The first acacia of many added to the build. I wonder why they went for that combo. But it's pretty cool though. It does kind of match. Last couple of buttons and it's complete. There we go. The build's done. I'm joking. Obviously. In fact, I think while I'm doing this now, I know I'm not a great builder by far, but I'm going to try and give like some building tips, I guess, while I'm doing this to make this more interesting. And hey, if you want to use these tips yourself, if you do trust me, then you can do so. But I'm not going to lie. I actually used to really underestimate the use of like slabs and stairs and all that kind of stuff. Like it makes a build so much nicer if you use different kind of things like stairs and walls and stuff. That can be pretty cool. In fact, I know I was talking about how they've matched acacia with the sandstone. I'll leave a link in the description for a website to do with block palettes. For example, there could be one that's like acacia, sandstone, and sea lantern blocks or something. But I'll make sure to link that in the description. What am I, what am I doing here? And then once these are added, I need to do some weird thing with the stairs. So now that there's a block here, they can sort of bend these bottom stairs to go like that. I guess it's kind of cool to have these sort of different patterns on the build. Then with the walls, the old lanterns on top. To me, it looks like they just randomly chucked them about on the build. So that's what I'm going to do. And then they have fences going down for whatever reason. And now we move on to the actual build. So first off, I'm seeing this massive flat part here, which needs to be changed. But first, I need to put some stairs around that top part. I'm glad they did this because, I mean, another building tip, I guess. I don't really like when walls sort of finish off just on like a flat wall. I think it's cool to maybe have slabs or like stairs going into a roof or something like that. So I think on this wall, I'm going to go up to about here. So we connect these stairs together. Then we put slabs here. And then also sandstone slabs on the side. That was a tongue twister. That go to some stairs there. And now with this acacia part, so it goes duh, 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 bum, 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 bum. This is kind of looking like a villager nose right now. And then we connect it with some sandstone blocks. So as you can probably tell, I've done it a little bit different. My entrance is way bigger than their one. But for my first time kind of trying to do an entrance like this, I think this is actually okay. Now that the front was done, it was time to just add detail for the rest of the build. So I thought it would be a good idea to tackle the roofs first. I built the roofs for each of the towers, which wasn't too complex. After I did one, I could pretty much do all of them. But then as it got towards the end, I realized that I had literally no acacia left and then had to break down loads of trees from a nearby forest, which puts us right here. So I've sort of had the idea to put trees dotted around this build. Maybe not like a full-on forest, but to just have like a decent amount of trees dotted around. I think this will actually add to the build quite a lot. In the Mojang book, they actually use trees dotted around sort of that area. I don't know what trees they are. I don't think they're acacia, but to me, I personally feel like acacia would fit the best, especially since that's literally what we're using for the build. Luckily, I've got loads of bone meal, so I can just do this quickly. I actually got all the bone meal. I mean, you can probably guess where I got the bone meal from. I don't need to tell you. I don't have too many saplings. I literally had less than a stack when we started but you know what i'll do my best
Okay, I had to get some extra saplings to sort of dot them around the area, but I don't think that looks too bad. The reason I want to put some over like here as well at some point is because then it doesn't look like there's just randomly a bunch of acacia trees like around this build. But now that that's done, it's time for the final part of the build. Once again, actually trying to make it look like a build. Oh yeah, I do want to also quickly say throughout this video, I haven't actually been showing the book I've been using because it's literally just a few pictures of the build. There's nothing really for me to show. But anyway, this video is getting quite long, I won't lie. And this isn't probably looking like the picture in the book. So like what I've done many a time, I think we're going to have to hop in one final building montage to finish off this video. I need to go add lots and lots of detail because that is basically what makes this build. I mean, I'm guessing that's what Mojang was going for. I'm really hoping it's going to look like how it does in the picture. But anyway, it's time to get building. And ladies and gentlemen, the base is complete. I think this is looking pretty amazing. I copied all the details that they did in the build, but theirs looks so much more detailed. I don't know why, but let me know what you think of this base. Of course, I'm not going to be doing the interior in this video because then this video wouldn't come out for like another multiple days. There's also some parts of the back where the picture just didn't show me. So, um, yeah. It's looking a bit plain. I'll have to do the back at some point, but just do it myself because the book only shows this front part. Anyway, thank you for watching episode 9 of The Hardcore. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Anyway, thank you for watching. And yeah, see you in a bit. Please subscribe and like. Bye-bye. You know what's crazy? I never actually moved into that place. Well, it does look cool in your world. Yeah, funny you say that. That was my objective for the next episode. A nice little ocean build to spice up the ocean area a bit. Anyway, hello, hello. Welcome back to the Hardcore series. Some of you may not have seen the last episode because I actually didn't name it as an episode, but it was meant to be an episode. That's why this is episode 10. And now in episode 10, I'm heading to the ocean because I have one thing I need to do, and that's visit an ocean monument. So I don't think I'm really going to try and defeat an ocean monument, but today, like you saw in the intro, we're going to be making a really cool habitat for the sea life. It's going to hold axolotls. It's going to hold fish. Of course, not together because the axolotls would kill them. I learned that the hard way in my last world. But anyway, a lot of it is going to be made out of the blocks that you get from an ocean monument, which means I have to go visit one. I think there's one right over here. Ah, there it is. But first, to make sure I can actually kill the guardians that are trying to kill me, I'm going to need to grab a trident. Whoa. Okay, I know I'm looking for drowns, but this, this is actually sick. Look at this. Look at this thing. This looks like something out of like an adventure map or something. Okay, any... Oh, we've got a golden apple. Not exactly an enchanted one, but I'll still take it. And I'll take the gold. Nice. Nice. Oh, yes. Okay, we finally got one. Look at that. Oh my goodness. That actually didn't take too long as well. Maybe like five drowns or something. That was very lucky. Now, of course, I don't want to be using this trident without enchantment. So I've got mending, of course. We've got unbreaking. And then, of course, so it actually comes back to me, I've got loyalty three. I don't know the difference between loyalty one and loyalty three. But anyway, we've got that all sorted. So now I'm going to quickly fix up the trident. And then it's finally time to get the blocks. And then time to make this build. I was actually going to be going with those blocks right there. The ones that have got like 12 squares on each one. But then I realized how hard they were going to be to get. Oh my goodness. How hard are guardians to kill? Four hits. Four hits for one guardian. That is nuts. I mean, it's better than having to use a sword and taking loads of damage, I guess. Oh my goodness. Mining fatigue. Is that four minutes, I'm guessing? Oh, there's one behind me. Look how many there are. I just realized this is going to be pretty much impossible with mining fatigue. Oh no. In fact, since I don't want to be wasting your time and we have a lot more to do in this video, I think I'm going to have to tackle this a different way. I think it's time for one of the good old Zetro time lapses. Oh, wait, I forgot something. So the idea is sort of to try and drain this ocean monument, but I can't really do it without getting sponges. So I have an idea. So if I'm not mistaken, there should be an elder guardian here. So I'm going to place these, these, and that. Okay, that didn't work. Maybe over here. Ah, uh, there it is. And now I can just do this because I'm too scared to get near it. Boom. There's the third one, the fourth one. I don't know how many it takes. Five. Oh, it's zooming near me. Okay, nine. There it is. The first Elder Garden huh? destroyed. And we have Sponge. There we go. So now I just need to do it to the other two Elder Guardians, I think. There's the other. And there's the last one. 
In fact, you know what? I've been doing too much of just sat back with my trident. I'm going to go in and get a hit. Yeah. There we go. We have completed the ocean monument. I thought I would get an advancement, but apparently not. So now I'm hoping all the elder guardians are gone. These guys should stop spawning. I don't know if that's how it works, though. Anyway, now that that's all done, because I need to go mining and I don't want guardians constantly attacking me, I now need to drain this. Well, at least part of this. So I'm going to go do that, get mining, and uh, yeah, wish me luck, because this is going to take a very long time. Please leave a like. I would definitely appreciate it in times like this. <laughs> Anyway, now that I've got all the materials, it's finally time to go ahead and actually build this thing. So I did kind of build a version of this on creative. Well, at least the shell of what it's going to look like. And then once we've built the shell, it will be time to do the whole inside part. I'm not going to lie. I don't really know how to explain what this is going to look like. I'd say the best way to explain it would probably be a Yoshi egg, but maybe made of glass and prismarine blocks rather than whatever dinosaur eggs are made out of. I did think I was going to have enough materials for this, but now seeing that I've used almost a whole stack of dark oak logs, I may have to go get some more. Look at this. I've literally not even made a dent. Five minutes later. Okay, yeah. Maybe I was right. Ah, we meet again, old friend. And there we go. Here's the platform completely done. Now, I'm going to start doing the bottom of the build. I'm pretty sure I know how to do it. I've written it down on my phone. So, it's going to go three, three, two, two, one, 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 two, two, three, three. And then a one block gap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then another block. And then that should be correct. So, now if I do this again, this should all line up. I'm hoping it will. If it doesn't, I'm going to be upset. Now, I think this needs to go up one, two three four five and then the other side there we go already starting to run out of blocks all right looking good looking good as you probably already noticed this build is very very symmetrical which means it's going to be probably pretty annoying to build because if i go wrong once i'm gonna to have to destroy well a lot of the build and i don't want to have to do that but this part goes out four wide oh yeah also have you noticed there's a lot of blue around this area there's blue ocean blue blocks and you know what else is blue the alley and you know what looks like the alley the twitter logo i have twitter if you want to follow me on there at Zetro Lol, I would appreciate it. Shameless plug, but you know what? I want to get to a thousand followers. It had to be done. I'm actually sort of running out of blocks. I think I'm going to have to go and drain more of the ocean monument. I think I only drained a little bit of it, which I was literally up till 6 a.m. doing, but it's got to be done for the ocean life. Yes, I know this is just a game. Oh, yeah. Speaking of ocean life, by the way, like I said before, this is to help fundraise money for Team Seas. Of course, every little helps. So if you guys want to go and donate some money, that would be very much appreciated. Even one single dollar helps out because even if you donate one dollar, that is a whole pound of trash out of the ocean. I've already donated my part. And if you want to donate, link in the description. Oh, it's becoming nighttime. Look at that moon rising. I'm not going to lie to you. The rest of this build is just a bunch of squiggly lines, but symmetrical lines at that. So I'm going to hop into another time lapse because I'm going to have to go back and forth and back and forth looking on my creative world to actually see how this goes because I don't want to get it wrong. Anyway, time to grab some more blocks and get into this time lapse. <laughs> Okay, so that's most of the shell part done, I guess. I don't know what I'm going to do here, but I guess I can work that out at some point. Maybe I'll just leave it. It kind of looks like a star. But anyway, if I can find a picture, I'll put it all up on the screen now nope. of where I actually got inspiration for this build. Because, yeah, it was heavily inspired. But now I'm going to be putting glass all around the outside. I don't actually know how I'm going to do the top part, like here. But I know this spot here is mainly going to be made out of glass. Oh, yeah. And in terms of where the animals are going to be, like I said in the intro, of course, I can't exactly keep axolotls and fish together. That wouldn't be a good idea at all. I think maybe I'll have like all different types of fish on the inside and then axolotls in the bottom. Sort of in like a tube down here underneath, I guess. This sandstone here will go all the way down. And then inside here, I don't know. It could be just like one big aquarium that you can stand inside, I guess. I think that looks pretty decent. It kind of looks like a fish. The, the body here and then, you know, like the X as in like the tail, like when people people draw fish. I don't know. Maybe it's just me that thinks that. Anyway, though, there is one side done. If you guys could leave some suggestions for what animals I could keep in here in the future, that would be amazing. I'm thinking maybe dolphins. Look at my head through the glass. Maybe dolphins, of course, axolotls, fish. And I did this part all wrong. Also, I'm not too sure about this dark wood. I think it's cool, but I might have been able to choose a better looking block. So I might be changing that very soon. Ah, oh, zombies are so annoying. 
Wait, what is that? Is that was that glow squid? No. The axolotl killed something. Come on, man. Why did you have to do that? This this is exactly why these guys can't get put with fish. Monsters. Anyway, though, that should be the rest of the glass done. I think this is looking okay. It's just a shame that while finishing it, we had to hear that terrible squid death. Oh, axolotls. You're so cool, but you just have to be so mean. I don't understand it. So now that the first layer of glass was done, it was time to do the rest. I started by smoking sand to make glass. Well, tried to. Put a bunch of glass around the build and then also started to do a few minor details so then I could get to completely filling this ocean habitat. Look at that build. It's looking kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not too sure about this kind of glass here. I don't know if it looks good or not. But either way though, I'm just gonna get to actually building the inside before anything else. So this center part is gonna be a massive aquarium down here. I think what we're basically gonna do is have pathways going to the middle and each corner here is gonna have like a different part to go down to the aquarium. I think that'd be pretty cool. I just don't know how I'm gonna do it. Yeah. In fact, I should probably start by opening these parts up here. Wow, look how blue these walls are. And you know what else is blue? Oh, I already did that. Wait, do these walls like change color? I swear they do. Look, I'm just gonna stare at them for like a minute and I'm gonna see if they change color. I swear they do. See, look at that. Am I wrong? I swear they're changing color. So I think I'm going to start off by putting sandstone all the way down because I mean, if I'm going to put an aquarium down there, it's not exactly going to be an aquarium without any walls, is it? Ah, uh, this should be fun. So what I'm going to do is sort of like an outline at the bottom, like I've just done there, all the way around. So I know exactly where I'm putting the blocks because if I don't, then it's probably going to be a bit confusing. But at least now I know that I'm going to have to build here all the way up. I do not think I'm going to have enough sandstone to go around this whole thing. That is not good. Oh yeah, by the way, I think at this point, part of the build on the biggest wall here i think it's 11 blocks wide i'm gonna have like a massive hexagon here i think it's gonna be like one big hole so then if fish and axolotls need to get out easily they can i don't know though it'll either be that or i just put glass there because having a big hole might just defeat the whole purpose because everything will just swim out but i can't do that if i don't have enough blocks i'm probably gonna have to get some more oh well oh look we got a first axolotl although he's probably gonna be got yep he, he's already going Okay, now with two completely full shulker boxes of sandstone, definitely going to be way more than enough. And with this wall started, it's time to get this completely finished. There's the first couple of walls completely done. Once again, like I said last video, looking like popcorn. Do you not agree? This big wall, like I said earlier, I think I'm probably going to do the cutout after. I'll just completely fill it in for now. There we go. There is the first side finished. Oh, these bubbles are so annoying. And another done. And there we go. And now I'm stuck. But here is the whole under part done. I'm trying to think how I can kind of light this part up. Of course, we're going to have the glass around here, but I don't think that's going to be enough. I'm thinking glowstone. I feel like that'd be the best option. Or sea pickles. They could be good as well. And I'm stuck. <laughs> I didn't realize there was glass there. Oh my goodness. Okay. <clears throat> Forget that happened. And now with this shape here, I was going to be using the white stained glass because I've got loads of it, of course. But I feel like that wouldn't be as good because then you can't properly see out of it. So I think I'm going to use some normal glass. Right, here we go. Hopefully this should look pretty cool. There we go. I like that. I did misplace one glass, but luckily I have my trusty silk touch shovel. That was the wrong one. That's the silk touch one. Oh well. Some more glass. Hopefully I've actually got enough. Oh no. Turn up. Dun, 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 dun. I can't believe those cute little things kill fish. That's crazy. This place is actually coming along nicely. Look at that. Uh, what has happened there? Okay, now look at that. It's looking good down here. It's looking good. Although, I do need to quickly sort this bit out. I'm not going to do anything special. I just don't want... Whoa, there's a bunch of sea life down there. But unfortunately, though, I'm going to have to block off this part because if I don't, all the fish are just going to get sucked down there, which won't be great. And they'll end up like this guy. <laughs> there we go. So now, the last thing I need to do is quickly put some glowstone here. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Now this is looking a lot better down here. I'd also like to remind you that every episode, I take the likes from the last video, divide it by 10, and explode that amount of TNT in the nether to get netherite, which will eventually lead up to us getting a full netherite beacon. So if you want a like to help us get there quicker, I'd appreciate it. And here's what we got. Oh, we're getting there. Especially when I eventually explode 100,000 DNT. I reckon we're going to get this full netherite beacon, but I need to quickly pick this up because I, I need it. Can't let any netherite go to waste. So now that this area down here is completely done, it's time to do one of the final things for this build, and that's fill it with fish. I've got a bunch of tropical fish here, and I'm hoping this is going to look pretty cool. There you go, fish. Be free. Whoa, this is looking cool already. Anyway, what fish is that? Looks like a chessboard. There's some more. There we go. I tried to get as many different fish as possible to make this look pretty cool. Put some on the coral, because why not? Oh, we've got a squid as well. Anyway, though, here is the final three fish, three different fish. Look at that. This place is looking amazing. 
Although I need to make a decision. So with this area up here, I didn't really know what to do with it. I didn't really want to fill it with a bunch of stuff. I just want to keep it quite open. So what I'm going to do is actually make some like whole parts here. I'll show you what I mean now. So what I'm going to do is this. I've got a bunch of these colored changing prismarine walls. And I think we're just going to have a wall going around each corner. And then there can be a big gap to look into where the fish are. But first I must count. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. Is that good? No, that's, uh, yeah, that's definitely wrong. Let me switch this up real quick. Okay, I think that looks a bit better. Although, I don't know if it's exactly symmetrical. But, oh, well, it's good enough for now. Now, what I'm thinking is this. We just take out all these blocks here and leave it open. I don't know if that's the best idea. But, I'm hoping the fish will be safe still. Unless some axolotl just walks in here because he wants to see the fish and, uh, you know, kills them. Also, can I just say, if you've managed to get to this point in the video, I don't know where we're at. But, if you have managed to get to this point, Comment Team C's or hashtag Team C's. That'd probably be better. And I'll go through and heart a few comments. Now I've got to grab all this wood. We can't be leaving all this rubbish in the ocean, of course. That's what this whole thing's all about. Okay, I think this is looking all right. I actually like that. I think we're going to keep this. So now if I do this on all the other sides, hopefully that's going to look pretty cool. With a bit more detail going to be added off camera, I think this is looking pretty cool, especially at night time. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we have one last thing to do. Now, these fish here, which I don't know if they've disappeared yet. Oh, no, there they are. I think I need to give these guys some ways out because it's cool having this habitat if they want to go there and just kill, I guess. But they also kind of need a way out or it's just kidnapping or fish napping. See, they're going already, but then come back in whenever they want. So we're going to have this little hole here, but obviously on each corner. And then I'm going to have marine blocks around here, which I think are actually going to look pretty sick. Oh, look at that. Tell me that does not actually look kind of cool. So we'll do it over here. I think I did three blocks down and then one, two, three, four, five, six. Obviously on both sides. Another done. In fact, I'm only going to do two because I don't exactly want all the fish to start leaving, but hopefully that will give them some room. So if they do want to leave and then come back in, they should be all good to do so. I think this is a really cool ocean habitat. I'm not going to lie. I really wanted to just have a cool thing underneath. Have a build up top, but nothing too crazy. I think this is looking pretty cool. Only thing I want to do now, which I'll just do off camera, is just add some blocks around where this wood is, just to make it a bit more interesting. Look at that. That's looking quite cool. In fact, I have one thing to show you guys quickly. Look at this. I built this in the last video. I didn't actually name it a hardcore episode in the title and thumbnail, but it actually was. So if you want to check that out and how I did it, then that would be pretty cool. Building a Minecraft mega base the way Mojang intended it. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and uh, yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Ow. Bye-bye. Oh, and it was for charity? Even better. Yep, millions were raised for Mr. Beast Team C's charity. So, what's next? Oh, just you wait and see. Huh? Well, I had some future projects coming up that I really needed lots of ores for. So... So, I went on a giant mining trip for a video. I mined for literally 10 hours straight. Oh, what a great idea. Must have been very tedious there. I'm starting the timer now. Ladies and gentlemen, the timer has begun. But yeah, I've got a bunch of pickaxes. I've got, of course, enough for a beacon. If you guys want to know how I got this beacon, watch the video coming out next week. You guys will see after this video, a very cool video, how I got myself a beacon. But yeah, first of all, I need to actually clear space for a beacon. In fact, I'm probably just going to place it here. Full gold beacon, this is actually going to look pretty cool. Also, if you're wondering why I'm actually going to be doing this video, and mining for 10 hours straight once again, for one, of course, I want to get rich with diamonds. I want to get more diamonds than any other Minecraft hardcore YouTuber has. That would be sick. But I also just really need, like, the materials, like iron, redstone, and that kind of stuff. For a video that you guys will see very, very soon. There's the last layer and the yeah. beacon. So now, if I grab a couple of bits of iron, well, actually only one bit of iron, we should be able to get haste to, to make this way easier. Well, would you look at that? Five minutes in, time to actually finally get mining. <laughs> If you guys want to predict how many diamonds you think I'll get in the comments, I actually have no idea. I'm hoping 20 stacks. That would be good. Anything more than that would just be amazing. Amazing! And there's lava. That is not amazing. Wait, since there's lapis over here, would the diamond trick work? Am I going to be able to get diamonds here? Okay, so now that I'm facing north, I go... One, two, three, four. And then down. Oh my goodness. We've got the first diamonds of the whole video. It actually worked. 15 minutes in, we've already got our first diamonds. But I do need more. Come on, we need to find some diamonds. Not gravel. Come on, diamonds, where are you? I'm feeling some diamonds in three, two, one. Never mind, we've got more deep slate. Oh, diamonds. Let's go. Diamonds. Di oh, no, 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 no. 
no, 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 no. Oh, almost burnt some diamonds. That wouldn't have been good. And we're already on 22 diamonds. I'd say this is actually going pretty successful. Please give me some diamonds. Please give me some diamonds in three, two, one. I'm going to keep trying that until it works. It will work one day. Why do I think that was diamonds? Oh, hello there. Hello. How are you doing? How are you? I should probably mine around the diamonds just to be safe. Oh, redstone. Amazing. I can't believe we're already on almost half a stack of diamonds in 20 minutes. I think it's getting to that point where I'm going to have to move my beacon for the first time. Right, let's grab the beacon. There we go. Bum, 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 bum. Grab the gold blocks. And there we go. The beacon is done. Almost. Now we dig up. Oh, I can hear a skeleton. Are we at the surface? We are. Amazing. I swear when I dig up, it's always nighttime. And now, straight back down. And the beacon works. We now have haste. Amazing. Amazing! There we go. Let's get mining and getting diamonds. Okay, the pickaxe is getting very low. I think I may have to uh, start mining some coal. I think I'm actually going to start mining at level 9. I feel like that would be a lot better. I've got a gut feeling. Oh, my, uh, my gut was not correct. Although I am hungry. Maybe I just need to eat. We were doing so well at the start. Where are the diamonds now? What's going on? I'm not going to lie. This honestly just feels like I'm constantly having to try and dodge deep slate. Which is making this very, very difficult. Which is kind of annoying. Oh! diamonds. Yes, some more diamonds. Finally, I will take those. We just have to be patient. That's all. We be patient and then we're all good. Diamonds, diamonds, diamonds. Can they even be behind dirt? I don't think so. Oh, diamonds, diamonds, diamonds. See, this is what we've got to do. We've just got to be consistent and we've just got to let the diamonds come to us. That's all that's got to happen. So easy. Easy peasy. I'd also like to remind you that every episode I take the likes from the last video, divide it by 10 and explode that amount of TNT in the nether to get netherite, which will eventually lead up to us getting a full netherite beacon. So if you want a like to help us get there quicker, I'd appreciate it. And here's what we got. All right, I'll take it. Pretty decent. Oh my goodness, so many zombies. Please just go away. Wait, lapis here? So maybe... Never mind. Like below maybe? Nope, just, just deep slate. I guarantee there are going to be some diamonds right here. We just have to be patient and we just have to let the diamonds make their way to us. Around this corner somewhere, there will be some diamonds. I promise. Nope. I hope I don't hit deep slate. Okay, as soon as I say that, amazing. Oh, lapis. Someone give me some diamonds. One, two, three, four. Do I do this? Oh, the trick worked. More diamonds. Let's go. Hey, the trick sometimes screws me over and just doesn't work whatsoever. But sometimes it is a real lifesaver and the trick does work. And now we continue to mine and get XP so the pickaxe does not break. Oh, more diamonds. More diamonds, ladies and gentlemen. We're getting there. We had a rough start, a rocky beginning, but we are getting there. We are getting the diamonds. It's taken a bit of time because of this thing right here. But you know what? We're getting diamonds and that is all that matters. If I get any diamonds within the next 10... Never mind. 19 more diamonds in the basket. There we go. Oh, wait. Th look at that. Emeralds. Emeralds on top of each other. And some more diamonds. Wow. I hate silverfish. I really do. Oh, we just hit three hours. Let's go. I don't know how many diamonds we're on. We won't know until the end of the video, but we are three hours in. Seven to go, and I'm already feeling very tired. It's worth it, though, for the diamonds. I feel like it... Oh, ho, 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 ho. hello there. How are you, Mr. Diamond Vein? I will take you. Amazing stuff. Amazing stuff. Oh, two creepers. Going to get me a big explosion. Oh, my goodness. That just got me to half a heart. Jeez, I did not know there was a creeper behind me. Well, you live and you learn. I guess maybe that's probably not the right metaphor to use here. But yeah, at least I'm not dead. <sighs> Oh, ho, 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 ho. we are getting so lucky at the moment. Zombie, are you here to celebrate with me? Like, come on, look at that. Glorious. Diamonds, glorious. Diamonds, I really love diamonds. What is that song from? By the way, guys, I'm going to go toilet. I'll be back in like a minute. I think I'm going to mine a bit more around here and then it may or may not be time to then move the beacon once again. Oh, I see. Oh, <coughs> oh, I see lapis. I see lapis. Do we go straight down? And do we get some diamonds? Yes, we do. Ladies and gentlemen, we have hit the jackpot once again. So at this point, I wasn't getting many good ores and enthusiasm was beginning to run low. So I decided to hop into a call with Minecraft multiplayer survival member Prod and try and liven up this mining trip. Yo, can you hear me? Yo, yo, yo. Oh my yeah, God. Mate, this is actually tougher than I thought, especially on like four hours sleep as well. This is nuts. I don't know why you're doing this. Yeah, you're I know. Crazy. I think to uh, to get 
definitely more hyped because at the moment I'm just, you know, aimlessly mining. I'm getting diamonds. But I actually think every time I get diamonds, basically what we should do is manifest diamonds. So every time from now on I get diamonds, we've got to get really hyped, okay? Everyone in the stream and right. me and you, okay? Deal. 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 Oh, diamonds, 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 diamonds. Wait, how many? Come on, come on. 23. I will take it. Oh, more lapis. Okay, one, two, three, four, three, two. Come on. Come one. On. Never mind. <laughs> no, it could be above though. It could be above. <laughs> oh, let's go. No oh my god, even more. There's no way. We literally no just that was like a minute. Anyone watching this video right now, you go to level 10 and you place a beacon and you just dig around as much as you can. Just go like this. You just uh oh prod, you're joking. You're joking me. Five minutes later. Calm oh. down. Oh, more diamonds. Oh, even more let's diamonds. Go. Let's go. See, we manifested that. We, actually, we did. actually did manifest it, and it actually is working out so well. Oh, hello. Oh, please don't blow up my beacon. Please don't blow up my beacon. Thank you. I feel like we haven't really gone this way that much. I'm going to do that now. Oh, hello, hello. That's a bit of a weird vein. It's kind of like, kind of disconnected a little bit. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Nice. Nice. You know what, Mojang? You've got to give me some more diamonds now to make up for that. Nope. Seeing a lot of dirt and not a lot of diamonds. Uh, you're giving me OCD the way you mine. The way I mine is amazing. Look at this. It's very efficient. <laughs> I mean, maybe not. This could be really inefficient, but oh well. Speaking of mining, I actually need to mine a bunch of this because my pickaxe is going to break. And there's a creeper. <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh my god, someone clipped that. We're just staring each other out. And I'm actually gonna go and combine this with this. Hopefully it isn't really expensive. 35! What did he say? Hey. Oh. Huh? 35 levels to combine these two. That is going to take me a while. Now we just have to wait. Many, many minutes later. Anyway, back to mining. Now, where's the beacon? Because that's where I actually need to go. I need to go back to the beacon right now because my inventory is very full. And I found it. That was quick. -da 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 -da. Look at that. We've only got 25 plus 12. We've only got 37 diamonds from this location. We need to get a few more. I hate... What's this called again? I don't even want to know the name of it. I don't care. Oh, but there is a creeper there. Oh, is he going to... Am I going to get a music disc right now? Music disc? No. Any diamonds? Any diamonds? Come on. One of the final mining trips of the night. Can we get some diamonds? That would be amazing. Anyway, though, on that bombshell, with nearly one hour remaining, I think I have a good idea. I think I'm going to wrap this up here. That's going to be the end of the mining, and I think I'm going to go collect all of the items to see how many items we got total. This is going to take a while. Later. And with only 12 minutes left, look at all of this stuff. It's actually kind of nuts, and especially when I go back and grab everything else, it's gonna be insane. Oh my goodness. Wait, I need to eat some crisps. What is going on? And now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment of truth. We have got... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11... And 47. I was behind by four diamonds. Oh my goodness. I'll still take it. It's still a lot of diamonds, but I was four behind what I got last time. In fact, you know what? 11 minutes left. I might still be able to go get the final few I need. Hmm. What way should I go? Okay, I'm going to go this way. Come on. I literally need five diamonds, and I've beaten my record. And we've got about 10 minutes to do it. Come on, deep slate. Get out of my way. Oh, there's lapis. Okay, there's lapis. There's lapis. Okay, which way is north? One, two, three, four, and then down on the fifth one, I think. Come on. All I need is just a few diamonds. No, you're joking. There's literally none here. Oh, wait, what? There's diamonds. There's diamonds. Wait, what? How did I not spot these? Oh my goodness. They're right here. Okay, please be more than five. <gasps> okay, wait, we've done it. We've done it. Oh my goodness. There's eight. That means we've, I've, I've literally beaten my record. Oh my goodness. And with eight minutes remaining, I've just beaten my record for mining diamonds in 10 hours. That is nuts to me. I did not think we got this many. Now, all I need to do is take my beacon home, put it back where it belongs near my house. I don't know why it's this little underground. I mean, I know why it's here. Oh, there's a creeper. Please do not blow up. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe it. Now it's time to grab this beacon, go home and celebrate. Just under three minutes remaining left on the clock. The beacon is back where it belongs. Look at this solid gold beacon. It looks very cool. Well, with a bit of emerald in the middle. You're a fake and a fraud. Oh my goodness. 11 stacks and 55 diamonds. Probably not as many as some people. I could have got a lot more if I planned a bit better. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this is not the main point of the video. I needed all the diamonds, but the main thing I needed was over there. I needed all those materials, but also I needed all the materials that are still down there ready to be collected. And you'll see why very, very soon. Look at all these diamonds though. They are very cool. It's raining and that is the end of the video. Look at that. 10 hours on the timer. That is nuts. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Look forward to more frequent uploads and hopefully better ideas because I've got more time now. Anyway, thank you for watching and yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Bye-bye. So you know I was saying how I needed those oars for projects? Well, yeah. 
So this next episode was actually one of them. I needed so much redstone for this farm. So much so that you had to mine for 10 hours? Let's just say it was quite the farm. Just take a look. Anyway, hello, hello. Welcome back to the article world. As you can see from my inventory, I have a very important job to do this episode. I have something to show you guys quickly. Now, I don't think I've showed you guys this before, but look at all these bees. I don't know. I don't know why there's so many bees here, but this, this isn't it. What is that guy doing up there? But when I start to fly over here, some of my sounds stop working and look at all these bees. This isn't even the worst part. Are you ready? Boom. Why? Why? What is going on here? Can someone answer me why there are so many bees on my world? Sounds aren't even working right now because of how many bees there are. If only bees could make fireworks, this would be amazing. Uh, hello? But anyway, aside from that bee situation, I do have a job to do in this episode. Oh yeah, I have something to show you guys as well. Last episode, I completely forgot to show it, but I went looting the oceans for quite a while and look at all this loot. I don't know why, I just love looting places. Oh yeah, look at this as well. Anyway, though, of course, today we need to get infinite fireworks because I'm not going to lie. I don't really have a good source of them. I have a creeper farm, which is good for the gunpowder. But for paper, I don't exactly have the best sugarcane farm. So, of course, I need to make a giant sugarcane farm. And as probably most of you know, I'm going to need observers. And observers use quartz, but I don't have any. So now I'm just going to quickly pop to the nether and get all these quartz. I hope I'm getting a decent amount of XP from this. In fact, speaking of XP, do you know what's crazy? I still have never used an enchanting table in this world. I, I, I know, it's crazy. I think that should be enough for now. Now it's just time to head home. Anyway, now that that's all sorted, it's time to actually build one of the main things for this whole project, a sugarcane farm. So I kind of created some sort of design on creative. So it goes eight blocks here, and then the same with the other side. Glass to stop the water from flowing out. And then water, of course, so this sugarcane can then grow. And there we go, but there's one more thing. We need to make it automatic observers to scout out the growing sugarcane and then some redstone so you know they can actually do their job and now you have a fully working sugarcane farm Oh, see? It's working already. But I mean, if I actually want to get unlimited rockets, I'm going to have to build a lot more of those farms. And a lot more of those means I need a lot more materials. Now, before anything, I need to build one of those right here. And there we go. Now, I have two. So, when I'm making the other farms, I'll get sugar cane from these so I can place in the others. 500 IQ. I'm not going to lie. It's actually crazy. These really don't take that long to make. I highly recommend them. I'll give you guys a little 360 here just in case you want to make it yourself. Redstone back there. So, now that that was done, it was time to build the layout for all the other sugar cane farms going backwards. And then, we would be able to scale up to get the maximum amount of sugar cane possible. I need to to make sure to line all these hoppers up correctly because I don't want to have to go to like 40 different chests. Oh, this is going so well. In fact, I'm realizing I've completely just neglected this area and I'm just building this side. I need to actually face the mountain. In fact, I think I have another idea first. Oh, one more hit. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, the nether star has been acquired. Okay, now the beacon is fully complete. I don't know if I needed this many levels, but I did it anyway. But you see how there's no netherite at the top of the beacon? I had my netherite right here, and then my game crashed. And now when I reloaded my game, the 20 netherite blocks are completely gone. If anyone knows how to help this issue, please let me know in the comments. But anyway, with that out of the way, I suppose it's time to just carry on with the sugarcane farms. Oh my goodness, look at all these sugarcane farms. But now I think the next thing I'm going to be doing is putting glass here for every single one of these. Isn't this nuts? Anyway though, let's get glassing. That's definitely not the word. So I finished placing all the glass and actually went to go get a few more materials so I can get finishing this whole sugarcane farm and get making unlimited rockets. But then this happened. Okay, I accidentally hit a bee and now there's literally a million bees after me. Look, look. Oh my goodness. No, stop poisoning me. Oh, how do I fix this? At least it isn't all the ones over there after me. Go away, please. 
Oh, no, no, no. You know what? I'll just leave them for now, and hopefully they'll leave me alone. Oh, my goodness. I didn't actually expect to be doing three rows. So this sugarcane farm is about to be a lot more powerful. I'm also realizing now that I'm going to have to destroy this block here. I've done it on, I think, all the farms, but I'll get that sorted fairly quickly. First, I actually have to worry about getting the farm to, you know, work. Over around an hour and a half later, this is finally, well, the base layer is finally done. But of course, on the Zetro channel, oh, there's some more. We don't exactly just do things normally. We do things big. So I know this is going to take me days, but it's now time to make this probably about 10 times the height. So for probably one of my most time-consuming time lapses ever, it's time, I suppose, just to get straight into it. I can't believe how long this actually took. Look at the size of this thing. This is the biggest farm I've ever built in Minecraft Hardcore. Look at it. I literally said I was probably going to build it like 10 times the height. So like up there. But this, it already gives me way too much sugarcane. Look at all of this. See, there's literally no point in me building this thing any higher. Look at this. Every single one of these chests is full to the brim with sugarcane. I don't think I'm going to need any more sugarcane. Well ever. But anyway, now the time lapse is not done because, of course, sugarcane for paper is fine, but you also need gunpowder, which is perfect because I built it right next to my gunpowder farm. Now I've got a bunch of shulkers in my inventory. There should be a bunch of gunpowder down here. Oh, there we go. Well, gunpowder and string. And now if I fill up these shulkers, I'm going to have to do this multiple times to get all the gunpowder. And then it'll be time to be making fireworks. A lot of fireworks. I might at some point also grab all the string because I feel like it'd be pretty good for trading with Fletchers. Ah. Wait, I just realized you guys haven't seen Jeff in a very long time. Let's just say now he has some uh, some drip. Yeah. Look, at him, look at him with all the enchanted diamond armor. I'm pretty sure I actually got that from the NC looting. Come on, Jeff. Try and do parkour. Stupid Jeff. In fact, speaking of farms in this episode, of course, we've got these two massive farms here. I've actually kind of got a farm here, but also, as many of you probably don't know, we have this bad boy right here. Oh, yeah. I had to get some food from it recently. But anyway, I don't know why I'm waffling so much. I have a job to do. Shulkers are beginning to fill up fairly quickly. In fact, the last shulker is almost done. And... There we go. Seven shulkers of gunpowder complete. Wait, I am so dumb. We need gunpowder. Here's a decent amount of gunpowder. I was going to go AFK for a bit longer to get a bunch more. But over here, there's literally chests upon chests of gunpowder that I was going to use for TNT. How could I forget? Well, this makes things a lot easier. Now, of course, I can get infinite fireworks whenever I want. The video has basically been completed. But how do we know how many fireworks to get at the moment? We build somewhere for the fireworks to go. So that's why before we get the fireworks, I want to build a giant firework. So part of this build actually requires terracotta but luckily at one point when i was exploring my world i found the mesa biome is that what it's called so i know exactly where one is so i don't know about the second coordinate but the first one i need to get to around eight thousand blocks <sighs> The beauty of travel in Minecraft. Wait, I thought it was a lot more further than this. This is only 5,000 blocks away. I mean, I'll take it. But now, is it this I need to grab? It is. Wait, how do you get concrete powder? Because I think I need that as well. I kind of need this, but like red. I mean, this says red, but actual red. Okay, I needed red concrete, but red terracotta will do. A few inches later. I feel like breaking these blocks would sound really satisfying, like sped up. Nope. I hope mining this doesn't take too long because I really, really want to get building. Day two. <sighs> Took a while, but I'd say that's probably enough terracotta for this build. Well, I'm hoping so. Now, with all the terracotta collected up, there was two more materials I needed to get. Iron and wool. So, I collected up a few sheep and then breeded them until I had too many to the point where my fps was dropping and once i got a couple of shulkers of wool from the sheep i made an iron farm which was really scary for me because last time i did this it didn't end 
well. But I got it done and it was actually the easiest iron farm I've ever made. So I'll leave a link to it in the description. Anyway, with all these materials collected, it was now time to get on with the build. So I tried to start building this before, but I was um, very tired. So now I'm doing it when I'm a bit more awake because I want to actually make it look good. And if I'm half asleep, it's probably not going to turn out amazing. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this part I'm stood on here is like that part of the firework. So you can see how big this build is going to be. So now I have to build those four sides and then the roof to complete this big firework. Also, a good thing is that when I finish one side, it's going to be so easy because every other side is going to look the same. This is probably going to be the hardest part and it won't even be that hard. Anyway, we need to put more wool here. I think going up six. Wait, I just realized we can save iron by just not putting any here. Wow, what a life hack. Anyway, some more iron and then I think I'm going to be putting white wool down. There we go. Oh, the first use of red terracotta right here. I mean, on creative I used red concrete powder, but I mean, oh well, this will this will do. Wow, this is going to fit a lot of fireworks. Wait, oh, I've gone wrong somewhere. Ah, there we go. White concrete would have been cool though. I probably should have got some of that. I think this is the first side done. Oh, no wait, I still need to do the top. Look at that. I think it's actually looking all right. Right, a new day, a new side of the firework to do. I'm going to take a screenshot of this. And now it's time to get doing the other sides. I have just ran out of iron. I'm so close. I literally need like five blocks. I think I know what we have to do. There we go. Amazing. Now, let me just finish this off quickly. Almost there. And there we go. Also, when I built this on creative, it looked a lot different. I think I could have done a little bit better. But oh, well, nonetheless, it's done. Okay, okay, okay. I don't think that firework looks too bad. It's not the best. I'm not going to lie. But it's not terrible. I won't lie, though. I could have probably done it a little bit better. But you know what? At least we have somewhere to store the fireworks. That isn't just random chests outside my house like I do with uh, a lot of other things. What is this storage? Anyway, though, ladies and gentlemen, it's the moment we've all been waiting for the actual title and thumbnail of this whole video. Just crazy. This is the most I've ever worked on a video, I think, with this sugarcane farm literally taking me three days. And I'm pretty sure it's one of my shortest videos. I don't know how this has happened. But anyway, though, with everything completely finished, it is time to finally make a bunch of fireworks. We've got all the sugarcane we would ever need and all of the gunpowder all the way over here. And we have a bunch of chests down there. If I can fill every single one of those chests, I don't think I'm ever going to need fireworks again. But I'm not going to lie, crafting fireworks is not exactly the most entertaining thing in the world. So, to save you guys time, I'm going to go and craft these fireworks, and you guys are going to see if I'm able to fill every single one of those chests with fireworks. Anyway, I'm going to quit wasting your time now. I'm going to go craft these fireworks, and yeah, I'll see you in a second. Literally. And now, ladies and gentlemen, with every single chest completely full, we have infinite fireworks in Minecraft Hardcore. This, this is actually just insane. And more so, we have infinite fireworks now that I can literally make them whenever I want. Looks like an Enderman's been here. But look at this. I can't believe it. This is, this is, uh nuts. But now that I've got infinite fireworks, maybe they would be good for a certain journey. Maybe. Anyway, though, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Thank you very, very much for watching. In the comments, let me know, do you like fireworks? Okay, that was a dumb question. But anyway, thank you for watching, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Bye-bye. Did you know you can just update certain chunks in your Minecraft world? No. That's what I decided to do when I wanted to update my world and complete all the advancements, but didn't want to get rid of all my houses and farms. Makes sense. Anyway, hello, hello. Welcome back to the Hardcore series. I don't know why I'm starting on my roof again, but it's time to say goodbye to this 1.17 Hardcore world. I mean, this area, this area will be fine, but surrounding this area is a different story. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to update to 1.18. I've seen people doing it. I've seen the world generation. It looks amazing. Amazing! Literally, the only parts of this world that aren't this area that we're keeping is this potato farm right here, the skeleton farm down here, and of course, the mega base over here. We can't let this get destroyed to the caves and cliffs update. Wait, is that what the update is? I don't know. In fact, let's see what I'm actually getting into. Okay, they're in a cave. A lot of mountains. In fact, no, I'm going to get copyrighted. But we can see what's on the website. Incredible, much anticipated if we are counting comments and we would if we would count that high cave huh 
Sophia, what is this typing? Oh, this does look really cool, though. I can't wait to find a lush cave. Those are going to be sick. These mountains are nuts. I can imagine doing builds on these. Is this natural? Okay, this update looks sick. I think it's just time to get straight into it. Oh, my goodness. It's so weird looking at my world like this. Look, there's the sugarcane farm, the creeper farm, my house. <laughs> Look how big the potato farm is. We've even got the mega base over here. But now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to update the world. I've discovered a lot of chunks. So now, I suppose I'm just going to start deleting chunks. I'm hoping I'm not going to accidentally delete some that we need, but I don't think we're going to need any of these. Now I need to be really careful when it comes to this area. So I'd say we can get rid of all of this. And then I don't think we need any of this. I really hope I'm not cutting it out. Now if I cut out this area, that should be completely fine and we can update all of this to 1.18. Delete selected chunks. 482,000 chunks. Am I sure? Not really, but we're going to do it anyway. They're gone. Right, I suppose it's time to load up Minecraft and oh my goodness, what have I done? Oh my goodness, there's a new background. I'm actually on 1.18.1. .1. I didn't know that was a thing, but apparently it is. Wait, am I hearing like music? I'm going to try and turn it up for you guys. So I'm going to load up my words right now. I'm very nervous for this. I've made a backup. I'm just so excited to explore this world. Come on. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're on. In fact, I should probably make it daytime. Okay, there we go. Now, time to explore. Okay, I'm just going to fly this way. And I'm guessing that we're just going to start to see some different sort of generation. Oh my goodness. This is insane. I don't even know Optifine on this version yet. So I can't zoom in. Uh, what is going on with this ship? Uh, hello? This is, wait, it's part jungle woods, part whatever this is, spruce or dark oak. Is this like a glitch? I don't know. Look at these mountains though. This is insane. Oh my goodness. Wait, isn't it called packed snow that you can get with a bucket? I'm going to need to get some of that. Look how high up this mountain is. This is nuts. This is actually crazy. Wait a minute. These are the new caves. Oh my. This is crazy. Are those glow squids? I think they might be. Imagine the bases that you can make with these caves. You guys have probably already seen these before because I'm doing this video a little bit late. But I hope you're still as excited as I am because I, I can't believe what I'm seeing. But there is one downside of this. If you saw my video where I'm mine for 10 hours straight, we do not like deep slate on this channel. Wait, what level am I at right now? Minus 43. Wow. Oh. Wait, have these amethysts always lit up? Whoa, look at all the snow. It's Christmas time. This is the perfect timing. Wait, are these ice spikes or are they something different? But now that we have explored, it is time to try and find a lush cave. I really want to find one of those. What is happening there? <laughs> Wait, what is this? This cave is nuts. Oh, there's a mine shaft. Oh, this is really cool. Oh, a mob spawner. Wait, I need to light it up. What's in these chests? Okay, I'll take the name tag. I'll take the disc. Wow, that was probably the smallest mine shaft I've ever seen. <gasps> Diamonds! Wait, one diamond. You know what? I should be more grateful. I feel like this cave is more promising. Is there anything around here? Wait, what is this cave? What is with all these drip leaves? These are some quirky caves. Now, since I knew my elytra was soon to break, I thought it'd be a good idea to make my way back to the skeleton farm to fix up my elytra. And then saw this. Um, what? Can someone tell me if this is normal? I feel like surely it isn't. This is probably the weirdest thing I've ever seen. It's literally like a little sky island. What is this? I'll take golden apple. Right, we'll move on. 7.59. AM. There's no way my elytra is just broken. I don't think that's ever happened to me. That was scary. Falling with a broken elytra midair. That was not a vibe. I'm happy it's still here. I was so worried that I accidentally deleted it when making this into 1.18. Hello there. Why are so many glow squids? Have they like increased the rate of glow squid spawning? I, I genuinely think they have. There we go. Fully fixed up. And now we commence mission find a lush cave. Oh, this could be it. No, it's one of these caves again. Now this is a mine shaft. This is way cooler than the other mine shaft. Now apparently I've just watched the video and it says that the lush caves are below those flower patch things that we saw earlier. Ooh, but I would also take a loot from a jungle temple if it's good. Yeah, not the best. Wait, are these trees it? If I dig straight down, is there going to be a lush cave? I think so. All right, let's go and investigate. Oh, we're getting some different kind of blocks already. Oh, a new diamond trick, maybe. Is this a new way to get diamonds? I'll take them, but that wasn't supposed to happen. Oh, we've made it. We've got these drip leaf things. We've got the glowberries. We've got the moss. Wait, what is this flower? Spore blossom. Okay, I'll take it. I would have definitely preferred one of the larger ones. The ones that you can alight you through. But beggars can't be choosers. Oh, and some axolotls. Hello. Are you guys as impressed as I am with these caves? I think they're actually really cool. Oh, and some more diamonds. Oh, more diamonds and more creepers. Wait, I think there's another zombie spawner. I think I'm going to have to destroy it because I have no torches. Goodbye. And now there's only one chest this time, but what? Wait. 
No way. You have to be kidding me. We have found a new music disc. I feel like this is kind of rare and I've just found it. I'm so hyped that I almost forgot the diamonds. As soon as we found the Lush Cave, I was going to say that we're now on the mission to find one of these. And we've got one. How amazing is that? Also, there's a lot of redstone right here. And I'm wondering if I've found one of those things where like there's loads of ores in one place. Although, I'm going to assume this isn't it because they are very rare. But there's also another thing I'm going to go do. Play this music disc. I do need to make a jukebox, although I don't quite know how to. Doesn't it use a diamond in the middle? There we go. Okay. Okay. This is very different to any other music disc. I like it though. It's alright though. It is a decent song. What do you guys think? Maybe that was your first time listening to it. But now time for the next part of this 1.18 adventure. Getting the brand new 1.18 advancements. Okay, so first off is the Caves and Cliffs advancement. Free fall from the top of the world to the bottom of the world and survive. Okay, seems easy enough. I've seen some people do this before. First of all, I need to grab some blocks and probably the most random block. I want you to leave a guess right now of what block i'm gonna use don't cheat but i'm gonna be using observers you're probably wondering why i've got loads of them that's the only reason now i'm also gonna need a water bucket a bucket of tropical fish will do i suppose now where am i gonna do this because i need to do it somewhere well hopefully there's not gonna be many caves this could be a good idea okay i'm gonna do it on this corner because then i can follow this block and land straight in i won't have any sort of danger of missing 10 seconds later i can't believe i'm blocking this off with observers so what happens when you got loads of spare blocks i suppose okay so it is this block here. Oh my goodness, that was scary. Okay, I'm so glad I have golden apples in the chest plate. Oh my goodness, my heart is racing right now. <sighs> that is why you never dig straight down. I need to give myself a second, my heart is racing. Right, I think I'm going to have to go somewhere else. Oh, okay, this is a good idea. I'm going to go here, and then if there's lava, I'm not going to burn and almost die. But how far do I need to go down is the real question. I'm already at minus 34, this is nuts. Okay, we're at bedrock. Now also, what I think I'm going to do is go ahead and block off all these holes, because I feel like if I'm mid-falling, it could go very wrong, and I could just fall on a ledge. Sorry, dripstone, you gotta go. No! But now I'm going to need to get rid of the water because from what I've seen, you can only have a bucket of water on the last block. So it's now time to flow all the way to the bottom. My diamonds. Very cool. Wait, I'm going to test out this hole right now. Oh, that was scary. But if I just continuously build now all the way until I can't anymore, we should be able to get this advancement. I think this is probably the easiest one you can get. Surely we're getting close to the limit right now. I'm not sure what the limit is, but I'm guessing we're getting there. Okay, there we go. Look at that. Level 320. Do we have to jump or just fall? I'm going to jump. I've got feather falling boots, but that means nothing when it comes to this kind of fall damage. Okay, I'm going to drop in three, two, one. Now, please land in the hole. Okay. Oh, we've made it. We've made it. Yes. There we go, Caves and Cliffs, the first advancement done. Probably my first time trying to actually get an advancement, but that was fun. Now I'm just going to leave that massive stick of observers in my world. Oh well, it makes the world look unique. Now next up we have the advancement, Feels Like Home, where I need to take a strider, I think 50 blocks over a lava lake in the overworld. First off, we need a lava lake. So I've got a bunch of lava buckets here. So if I just place yeah, these randomly, yeah, hopefully yeah. they'll cover up the whole area. And I'm guessing this is fine. I can just walk through this edge part here. In fact, I need to get a fishing rod as well because I need to get warped fungus on a stick. Is it these mushrooms? It looks like it. There we go. Now I just need a strider. Oh, hello, buddy. Oh, this is perfect. I don't need to go too near the lava. Although the only problem is I don't know how we're going to get up to my portal. Am I going to have to make a lava path going all the way to my portal? The things I do for these videos... In fact, what am I talking about? I don't need to place blocks. I just need to place lava over there so he can actually get to the portal. Will he come to me if I hold this out? <gasps> yes, he will. What does happen if we try and go on a block? Is he taking damage right now? Okay, maybe we will be fine. We just need to dig up. I feel bad for him. He's shaking, but realistically, he's not a real thing, so it's fine. Come on, man. You've got this. Go. Oh, no. One of these guys. Goodbye. Oh, we've got to get all the way up there. Come on, man. Only a little bit more to go. Now, if I make a little pathway here. Look at him go. He's like an F1 car. Okay, he's here. And now we should be able to do it. Look at him. He's shivering with excitement. I can tell he's just so hyped to get in that lava. Now he's happy. Although it's a bit hard to walk on. We seem to just be bobbing around. Hopefully, that's fine. Okay, we'll put this guy here a minute. And maybe it needs a bit of adjusting. Maybe it's a good idea to make it a bit thinner. Now, this should work. Uh... Hello? I've just checked. This is over 50 blocks. Am I missing something? Oh, wait. I think I know what it could be.
There we go. So I think what the problem actually was, was basically because it was one wide, I accidentally kept stepping on these blocks here, which would obviously cancel it out, meant that I was only walking bits of lava. Now, what do we do with this guy? Do we keep him? I, I think we should put him out of his misery. We'll get to that in a second, but I've done all the preparations. So now what we need to do is get this villager over to there because this advancement is star trader. Trade with the villager at the build height limit. Go on, man. Go over that way. I'm just going to hope that I'm not going to kill him by hitting him. At least I'm not using a sword. Come on, man. You're nearly there. Okay, if I can get him to just stand on here, we should be good. There, there we go. Now, if I push him a little bit, then get in a minecart myself, we should be off. There we go, he's going. This is actually working. Look at him, he's having the time of his life. Has anyone ever seen a roller coaster made out of observers? Look at it, it, it just looks ridiculous. You've got this villager, there's a little loop-de-loop -loop here. There, they made it. And hopefully, so can I. And there we go. We are now at the build limit, so... Oh, wait, I didn't bring anything to trade with the villager. I'll be right back with some sticks. Finally, this bamboo farm coming in useful. And... You're kidding me. There we go. That one really didn't take too long. Probably because I did most of it off camera. Now, what do we do with this guy? Um, send him back. All right. See you later, man. Now, time for the last advancement. The sound of music. Make the meadows come alive with the sound of music from a jukebox. I've got the new music disc, so I think I'm going to use that, but there's one problem. I, I don't know what a meadow is, so I'm just going to have to go searching and hope I can find one. I've kind of got a feeling that the meadows are those places which look a bit like this area here, but with loads and loads of flowers. Okay, now, where would a meadow be? Okay, we're in a desert. Might be able to find some temples, which would be great for enchanted golden apples. This could be meadow territory. Wait, is this a jungle? Okay, something is up with these biomes but i do see a village it's probably the weirdest jungle i've ever seen okay i'm trying to go a different direction now see if i get a bit more lucky oh wait is this it no surely this doesn't count okay just seeing a lot of ice spikes at the moment are these meant to be rare i suppose they used to be oh wait is this it i feel like there needs to be a lot more flowers than this though Yep, that's not it. Come on, Meadow, where are you? What is this cave? Okay, I'm getting a bit sidetracked. I just want to see. Whoa, this is nuts. Okay, I need to not get distracted, though. Wait, there are a lot of flowers here, a lot of tall grass. Is it this area? <gasps> yes, it is. Oh, my goodness. This is not what I expected a meadow to look like. I thought a meadow was one of those areas with all the different flowers, you know, the colorful ones, with the perfect backing chat to go with it. Ladies and gentlemen, we have now got every single 1.18 advancement the timing of that beat drop what a day it has been genuinely i was literally about to fly over this and not think anything of it and then i saw a lot of flowers and thought i may as well give it a go 1.18 you really are something wait is this a meadows my house is right over there and i flew 10,000 blocks to get a meadow when there's one right here but at least i notice here now oh my goodness look at the size of this thing i forgot this is even here so anyway you're probably wondering what i've got to do now and it's not to do with 1.18 but as probably many of you know i take the likes from the last video divided by 10 and explode that amount of tnt in the nether but i did actually forget to do it last episode so i've added the likes from a couple of videos ago and the last video and now to make it up to you guys i'm going to explode all of that TNT because I got a lot of comments reminding me now It's just a matter of finding somewhere to dig down when there's not just going to be pools of lava Now if you've not seen me or anyone else do this before what we do is dig a giant tunnel And then we just go and place loads of TNT so without any more hesitation By the way, I do have the exact amount of TNT I need just so everyone can see I would say it's time to stop hesitation and just get placing this TNT because it's going to be a long one Now, don't ask why I'm back up here again. I just went here for no reason. But there, 63 ancient debris. Almost enough to get back one of those netherite blocks I lost. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, it's in the last video. But anyway, now, before the video ends, I have one more thing to do before we end off this video here. You see my nice little house over there? I've got a little pond here. And I've realized I don't have a single thing in there. So I thought, why not get an axolotl? They're pretty cool. I had loads in my last world, and now I don't have a single one. Only problem is in 1.18, I don't exactly know where to find them. But it shouldn't be too too hard i'm guessing wait is this a mine shaft here there's a mine shaft right near my house or anything good nope. not really 
Okay, well, I didn't mean to hit it, but okay. Oh, I'll take a name tag and another name tag. But anyway, where do we get an axolotl from? I'm guessing the ocean over here. All right, first spot. Can we find one? I don't really have a preference apart from obviously the rare axolotl. I would love to get that. I don't even know if it's still a thing, but if it is, I'd love one. The bluey kind of one, that'd probably be the best. Oh, some glow squids. We've got a lot of life here. Surely there's got a... <gasps> There it is. Wait, this is the exact one I was talking about. This is the exact one I wanted. Other than the rare one. Hello, sir. Thank you very much. Look at all these glow squids, though. Anyway, though, objective complete. Oh, we're in a lush cave. There you go, man. There's your new home. Look at him. He's loving it. Anyway, though, I think that is going to be the end of this video here. I've got a lot of cleaning up to do. I've got this lava over here. I still need to put, actually, more villagers back in here. I also need to remember to actually block this little part off. I've also got to clean up this lava, this little part here. And actually, this. I don't what this just sat in my world it's so what even is it although it is a fun little roller coaster go on man go have some fun oh yeah i also need to clean up this monstrosity i always sit in here afk just looking at the furnaces when i could probably just be doing other stuff I'm, I'm literally using gold for this oh yeah and you guys didn't see but i might have made a few too many rails wait is the villager up here no okay i have no idea where the villager is anyway i'm gonna go in this video here because i have a bunch of stuff to go do on this world thank you very very much for watching and uh yeah i'll see you guys in a bit Bye-bye. Ah, uh, Minecraft 1.18. What an update. Yeah, it was so cool seeing all the changes. Oh, yeah. You know how I like to mine? Yeah, I can tell from all the mining videos. Well... Buckle in for another mining adventure. I don't know why I expected any different. And now it all starts with a place to hold all of these ores. Also, hello. Hello. Welcome back to the series. So I've got a bunch of slabs, which obviously the ores are going to go on. But I want somewhere cool to put all the ores when I try and mine them. I'm thinking the top of this mountain here. Although we might have to shave it down a little bit. I think this would be pretty cool. But all this has got to go. And with that complete, it's time to put a nice little platform right here. Now, it isn't going to be anything too special, just some slabs. I think I am probably going to do a couple of layers. So this can be the outer layer. In fact, I am going to actually take off the corners. And then that's exactly where I'm going to start the second layer from. Sorry, man, you got to go. <laughs> So this is exactly where the ores are going to go. It's not the biggest platform, but that doesn't really matter. Of course, I can build upwards. Here we go. Just a few more slabs. And it is actually going to get nighttime soon. So I'm going to need to place torches down. There we go. And the torches. So I currently have around three shulkers just filled with random ores, which of course isn't enough. So I have an idea. So what I'm going to do is try three different mining methods that I could think of, and I'm going to see which gives me the most ore. So the first one is just get a beacon and mine all the way around it. We've got this method, literally just the classic strip mining straightforward. And then the last method, just going in caves, which is my favorite because caves are very cool to explore now. And just before I mine the 10,000 ores, I'll make sure to show you which method is best so you know which one to use. But it's time now to start with method one. So I've got my beacon. I've got all of the diamond blocks. Yes, I'm making a diamond beacon but the question is where does the beacon go i think i'm gonna go over this way new 1.18 territory which does mean they're gonna have to go to minus 58 which is crazy to me wait i think i have a good idea so if I go down one of these ocean caves, that's going to mean a lot less digging for me. And now I just need to make my way all the way down to level 58. I can't believe you can go this slow down. So first of all, I need a place to actually put the beacon. And then we can get on with the mining. Why is this actually so symmetrical? Anyway, diamond blocks. Imagine how long all these diamond blocks took to get. Got to take off one more row and another. There we go. First layer done. Oh, yeah, I need to dig from the top. There we go. Don't know what I'm going to do about all the water, though. The emeralds go in. And now we're ready to mine. So with each method, I'm going to mine for exactly one hour. And then we'll see how many ores I have at the end. So I'm going to start a timer, and it's time to start mining now. This was definitely a lot easier with stone. I hate deep slate. Oh, our first ore. And it is redstone. Very cool. I'm just going to keep going in random directions. And I do actually want to hold torches in my offhand. But I'm going to place them instead because I don't want to be down here without a totem. More redstone. I'll take some gold. The ores are beginning to stack up diamonds four diamond ore i'll take it don't think i really need diamonds anymore at this point but i mean we'll take them doesn't sb say they're like for peasants or something anyway though we'll carry on <laughs> 
Okay, it's going decent. Oh, let's see. There seems to be a lot of lava. And at this point, I don't even know where my beacon is. But I suppose we'll just carry on and just hope for the best. Now, I paused the timer and I had to head back home for just a couple of reasons. One, I needed torches because I did not want any mobs to spawn while I was getting the ores. But also, I needed shulkers to, of course, hold all the ores. And then I headed back to the beacon and it was time for mining again. Well, it's safe to say I didn't need all these shulkers with me. In fact, I'll put all these in here now. 35 diamond ore. Oh my goodness. Well, we've got around, I think, just under 20 minutes, so we'll carry on. <gasps> Again, why am I getting so many diamonds? Oh, I'm definitely going to have to fix my pickaxe. Okay, not exactly diamonds, but I'll take it. I'm actually glad we're getting a lot of diamonds because that's going to look way better in the thumbnail. I like to make most of my thumbnails in my hardcore world rather than on creative or something. I don't know. It just seems more genuine. Unless I can't, for example, my last video. Just couldn't get the right screenshot in my world. All right, we've just about 10 minutes left. I'd say we're actually doing pretty good. Ooh, sorry, I was halfway through yawning. That reminds me, I do really need to make a gold farm. I've seen a bunch of people do it, and it seems very efficient. Also good for XP. I don't know, I probably will at some point. I also don't even know how to get above the nether, but I'm convinced it's not too hard. And also, if you're wondering why I'm not getting gold from the nether, I didn't realize you can actually smelt that gold and get a full gold ingot from it. Oh, what do we have here? I mean, I'm kind of not really sticking to the rules if I go through this. I mean, I've lost taste anyway. Let's take a look. No! Oh, that jump scared me. Oh, you do get a lot of ores in these, though, I think. Oh, is that a chest? No, I'm seeing things. Oh, this is a chest, though. A name tag. Oh, no. Now, five, four, three, two, one. And that is the challenge ended. Well, the first part of the challenge. And we ended on a grand total of... Hold on, let me get out the calculator. 314 ores for the beacon method. So now to go to the second method, which is, of course, strip mining. And I'm actually going to chuck this shulker right here to show that we got these ores from the beacon. So now I'm going to be going strip mining, but it's not exactly the most interesting thing in the world. So what I'm going to do is go find somewhere to dig, and then I'll be sure to update you with all the results at the end. <laughs> I'd say that's a pretty good amount of ores, but we have a bunch to collect. I left most of them in the wall because I didn't want to use that time up when I was mining so I could get the most amount of ores possible. And now with all the ores in this shulk right here, we now have 330 ores, which I think is a few more than this method right here. Look at all the diamonds I'm getting. I'm genuinely very excited to mine all these ores. Now, I'd also like to remind you that every video, I take the likes from the last video, divide it by 10, and explode that amount of TNT to eventually get a full netherite beacon. So just before the last method, that's exactly what I did. Now with some of the netherite, obviously I didn't get all this netherite just in this trip, but I do now have a bunch, and you guys are always commenting, telling me to upgrade all my tools, so you know what? It's finally being done. I expect some very lovely comments for this good deed I've just done. Who knew that so many people would be annoyed that I just still had diamond tools? It was probably good advice though. And now finally time for the last method. I'm probably going to make this one a quick one because I don't want to be dragging it on. I don't really have a preference on what cave I look for. I just need to find a cave. I think this method is probably going to be the best one. No specific reason. I've just been mining a lot recently because obviously these caves are pretty cool to explore. I'm finding quite a lot of ores. I think probably a lot more than usual. Diamonds. Oh. Goodbye, sir. I will definitely take some diamonds. I didn't realize I was this low. Do you always find just diamond one veins when you go down to these caves? Because that's all I find. Maybe a two vein if I'm lucky, but mainly just one veins. Maybe it's just me. Oh my goodness, so many mobs. All right, well, I think that's the end of this cave. But with around 56 minutes left and 330 ores to beat, I'm just gonna keep mining. Oh, I may have found a large copper ore vein. Oh yeah, that actually reminds me. I'm going to throw in the clip now of when I first found one. Okay, I hope you can see me. I wasn't even going to be recording today. This will probably just be put somewhere in a video. So if I go over this way, that's a copper block. Is this rare? I'm pretty sure this is rare. I, I don't know what to say. Look at it. It's literally everywhere. But wow, this is definitely going to make sure I overtake the other methods. And I wouldn't usually include things like copper, iron, and gold in the mining 10,000 ore. But now that you can use fortune with it, I think it'll be very good to include it. Yep, yeah, this is definitely a large 
your vein. Look at all this copper. All right, let's get mining. Now, I'm not going to bore you with a bunch of copper, but it is safe to say that mining these large copper veins are extremely helpful. I've seen online people get thousands of ore, and I didn't exactly get that, but I did get a massive amount that will definitely help towards mining the 10,000 ores. Now, I just need to find an iron one. Now, I didn't do loads of digging to go inside of the veins, but I would still say that over four stacks of wow. copper ore is nothing to be unhappy about. I'm probably going to get more ores with this method than I did with both the other methods combined. I just think with all these massive new caves, it's the best way to get ores. They're literally everywhere. And of course, this video takes a very long time. But the one good thing about doing this video is the fact that I'm not going to have to go mining for a very, very long time. I was thinking as I'm just down here. So I have a question for you guys. Do you like the underwater caves or do you like normal caves more? I think the underwater caves are a lot better for one reason. Just the fact that there aren't loads and loads of mobs everywhere. See, this just isn't a vibe right here. Oh, another copper ore vein. No? Oh, I think this is the first lapis I've seen from this method, if I'm not mistaken. Now, I think that is enough for that cave. But one thing I do want to do first is see if we've already overtaken the other methods. So we have 52 plus 8 plus 6 plus 3 plus 64, 64, 43, 64, 21, 4, and another three more stacks. Ladies and gentlemen, this is 521 ores already. And we're only just breaking halfway through. Look, there's literally some ores right there. So if you want to get ores, I think this is definitely the method to use. Ladies and gentlemen, I can't believe it. This shulker right here has a total of 1,205 ores. Now, it probably helps that I did get a copper vein, but also what I did off camera was actually found an iron vein. Although I didn't actually get all of the iron because I completely ran out of time. So now it's time to grab these shulkers and I'm going to put them over here. Of course, they're not full, but luckily I have a plan. So I've moved around some ores and now we've got all these shulkers completely full and we need to just fill these two to get all of the 10,000 ores. But I've got a little stash in my house. So if we go over here, boom, got a little bit of gold, a bit of lapis and loads of coal. So I should be able to fill the last couple of shulkers and then I'll grab some quartz and copper too and also some iron. And there we go. We actually have over 10,000 ores here. I'm pretty sure probably just over the limit. It is time to go and mine 10 thousand ores now where is the mountain ah how could i not see this wow i can't believe how excited i am just to mine ores i'm very excited to see how much we have by the end in fact i'm gonna go grab something there we go now we have a place to actually put the ores as well as all the shulkers it's time to get placing so i think i'm gonna start off with all of the coal because quite frankly it's probably the worst ore here and then we'll be moving up all the way to those amazing diamonds but now probably around an hour of placing ores oh my now i'm gonna take it two layers at a time i think that'll probably be best and then as i slowly get them done i can work my way up and eventually have the 10,000 ores placed this would look so satisfying in a time lapse but unfortunately replay mod is now for 1.18 in fact i think it is but you can't actually use optifine and replay mod at the same time and for whatever reason i get really bad fps when i'm not using optifine on 1.18 well 1.18.1 oh so here's two layers done and then here's four layers done you can probably see how big this is going to end up seeing as i only used probably about two thirds of an inventory of coal imagine i built one of these massive ore cubes but like hollow that would be insane i could make like a giant diamond door is that just sure a goat <laughs> apart from myself. So this is what a full inventory of ores gets me. And I've probably got about 10 more of these to do. But if I just left this thing as like a giant statue, I'm definitely going to see what this looks like before I go mining it all. I bet it's going to look sick. If I kept it though, probably one of the most expensive statues ever. Speaking of expensive, actually, I do need to make sure I bring over my beacon. Expensive because it's, you know, full diamond. But I will need to bring that up when I go breaking the ores. Speaking of ores though, I have a lot more to be placing. How fun. I definitely overestimated how much coal I had. Look at this. I can just make my whole screen just coal. Not that that's very impressive. Oh my god, miso soup. You guys ever heard that TikTok sound? I don't know why. I've got it stuck in my head. Really want some miso soup. I don't know what miso soup is. Miso soup. Oh, cool. This copper kind of looks like miso soup. Well, actually, it doesn't. I'm going to say something and you're never going to be able to unsee it. I just realized it now. Are you ready? I'm going to say one word. 
carrots. And now I'm going to put the rest of placing these ores into a time lapse for two reasons. One, it's boring just watching me place ores. Two, if I keep talking over this, this video is going to be about 45 minutes long. And an extra bonus reason, number three, it's pretty late and I need to do this before people in my house go to sleep. So I'm going to get placing these and hopefully replay mod doesn't crash. So yeah, I'll see you in a second. Okay, bye. Would you look at that? It feels so weird. I haven't seen it from this angle before. This this looks insane. So for the first time in like the past week after I've been getting all these ores, it's time to finally switch to the Fortune 3 pickaxe. I don't think I'm ready to see how many diamonds we're going to get, but I'm just going to go for it and hopefully a pretty nice amount. Also, if you want to put a guess of how many diamonds we'll get, I mean, you can put a guess with the other ores, but let's be honest, diamonds are the coolest. We are getting closer to the end. Okay, five and a half stacks. Now we've got the emeralds. Oh, wait, I forgot something. Yeah, 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 yeah. And now that we have a beacon, it should go a lot faster. It's time to go for gold. That was kind of cringe, I'm guessing. Wait, I just realized the haste logo is actually a gold pickaxe. Wait, is it? It must be. How am I level 77? I actually want you guys to leave a guess as well what level I'm going to be, because that's going to be nuts. I'm going to guess, like, surely I'm going to get close to level 100. In fact, how much gold am I at? Oh, if anyone ever wants to do this, I highly recommend it. And also, speaking of beacons, well, I wasn't really speaking of beacons, but there's a beacon right there. Do you see how the main beacon is actually kind of a diamond color? Imagine I was to get diamond, obsidian, glass, and make a beacon that looks like a beacon. That would be cool. I am so rich. Oh, this is going to be satisfying. And I'm out of inventory space. What am I even going to do with all this? Like, make a giant iron golem? Wait, no. I meant to say a glow squid, but I don't think glow squids are even this color. Maybe a normal squid. Who is ever going to need a double chest and a half full of lapis? Not me. Wait, I missed some. Every little helps, even though I just said I don't need it. Oh, we're down to the nether blocks. It's crazy that I've gone through diamond, emerald, iron, gold, and lapis, and redstone, and I'm only about halfway through. I also need to remember with quartz, if I turn them into blocks, I can't turn them back. Well, I'm pretty sure that's how it works anyway. Wow. Already at a full inventory of quartz. Wait, they're called nether quartz. That's crazy. I just thought they were called quartz. Whoa, I'm literally in the clouds right now. Crazy. And another full inventory. And there's all the quartz done. Wow, we really are coming down to the final stretch. And I can't believe I'm still able to use my beacon. I don't know the distance between these. If anyone does, then just let me know. But I don't really know the distance you can be away from the beacon blocks wise until it starts running out or it stops working. But it must be a decent amount. <laughs> Okay, it is night time and we are now at the final level. I'm hoping that we can get maybe close to level 100. We're at level 97 right now, but it would, it would be cool to get to level 100. And I actually have thought of a plan that I'm going to do basically for when I show you guys all the ores, which is going to be very cool. It is kind of crazy to think that I was having to use woods to smelt things because I had no coal. And now I've got too much. Well, I suppose you can never have too much coal. But anyway, there is the 10,000 ores completed. Anyway, though, I'm going to chuck these bits of coal in here. And now every single one of these chests is full. That's why I had to get another one. Even all the shulkers are full. Now I'm quickly going to smell everything. And then you guys will see every single ore. Probably around two hours later. Yes, this genuinely took a very long time. I didn't just use the super smelter for this. I had a bunch of furnaces right here, which did speed up the process quite a lot. But in all of these chests, there are loads and loads of ores. Now, let me show you. Let me just give you the grand reveal. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what the 10 hours all led up to. Look at all the copper, all the iron, the gold, the redstone. Look at all that coal, lapis, and even some quartz at the end. And out of all of this, the best part, look at my level, ladies and gentlemen, level 104. But I'm going to end the episode there. Thank you very, very much for watching. I'm very hyped for all this all. I have a lot of plans to do with this, but I won't say them just yet. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this video. I need to go mine that diamond beacon. I just remembered and uh yeah i'll see you guys in a bit
Bye bye. I hope you enjoyed that episode. Certainly did. Well, lucky for you because we've got some more mining up ahead. Of course. Don't sound too hyped. Fun fact, this video as of right now is actually the most viewed video on my channel. Anyway, hello, hello, of course. Welcome back to the Hardcore World. Now you've seen the title of the thumbnail and first of all, I want to begin by marking out the area with these blocks where the mine is going to go. Now I think there's an area right over here, but I'm also going to have to start terraforming as well. This is going to take a very long time. In fact, I brought these chests to actually put the materials in after mining, but I'm probably going to need to start using them already. Okay, I think you can see where I'm going with this. In fact, I'm going to see how far we are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 13, 21, 35, 47, 50. And each one is two blocks. So that actually means this is 100 blocks. So we need this, but into a full square. Here we go. Now, I should also mention it's conveniently placed behind the potato farm. What a massive farm this is. Another thing I was also going to do was fill in this whole area. But I feel like it would be kind of pointless because I'm going to be mining it anyway. But now I'm actually going to fill in the walls to make this a nice clean circle. I mean square and then I'll almost be ready to get mining although I'm not too sure what I'll do about this water How am I already out of dirt? Well, there are the walls done, but now there's one more thing to do before we get mining. And that's, of course, get a couple more beacons. And if you're asking yourself why I want a beacon, it's pretty simple. I've got one beacon, but I also need one extra beacon to go to the top to cover the whole area. But also one more beacon when we get down below so I don't have to go breaking the other beacons. But first, I need to find some wither skeletons. Oh, here we are. Oh, I've actually been here before. See? Finally, my first one after many, many wither skeletons. Just another five more to go. Two in a row. No. In fact, I'm going to try and find a new fortress. Oh, this does look promising. Why don't I just make a wither skeleton farm? Oh, I just got a wither skeleton skull. Ladies and gentlemen, it's only up from here. Oh, three wither skulls. Now I can make one out of two beacons. Okay, so I've managed to get an extra two wither skeleton skulls. So now I actually only need one more. And I'm at this giant fortress, which has got loads of wither skeletons. I think this is the biggest fortress I've seen. There's this area. There's that area over there. And also this area. These blazes are so annoying. Oh, we got one. Although I am going to kill all these wither skeletons quickly before I go. Oh, hello. Seven wither heads. Oh, wait, more company. Eight wither skulls. You know what? At this point, I'm just going to go for nine. There we go. Now it's time to head home, although I don't exactly know where home is. I'm many blocks away from the portal. Okay, judging from the one block bridge, the portal should be somewhere around here. Whoa, that's a lot of gold. Don't mind if I do. How have I ended up back at one of these again? Finally, home safe and sound. Oh, it's good to be back. Now it is time to head down here and fight the withers. Now I am going to do one at a time, which means it shouldn't actually take too long. And it should be pretty easy. Bam, bam, boom, boom, duh, duh, and... A wither. First fight of three, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to put my chest plate on. And I'm just going to head straight in with the hits. Look at that damage already. In fact, I'm going to eat a golden apple. Almost half health already. And no damage being taken. He's about to go. Too easy. That is how it's done. And that took no more than 30 seconds. That's not how you do it. Here we go. One golden apple. And time to go in. Sorry, man. You got to go. Just a couple more hits. Easy. Two nether stars. This is going quicker than I expected. I would try and hit it with the trident, but I'm pretty sure it does like, yeah, literally no damage. Suppose I just got to go in with the sword then. Sing, 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 sing. Cheeky little trick shot for the last hit. Okay, well, it didn't work, but there we go. And that is how you get three nether stars. Now, hopefully, I have the materials to actually craft the beacons. So, we do need some obsidian. And there should be glass right over here. And there we go. Three beacons. Oh, yeah. We have all the materials to make the beacons. Back to the mine we go. So, we'll have the diamond one here. There we go. And a lovely gold one in this corner. Oh, I need to power them though. Don't tell anyone. I'm just going to use this iron for now. Some haste too. Some more haste too. But we also need pickaxes. Now, I was going to go making a bunch of pickaxes, but why do that when we've got all of these? All I need to do is go combine them. Definitely going to need another anvil. And now with the shulker box full of tools, I'm so thankful I went end looting. It's time to start mining. After all the prep, it is crazy to think that I'm actually starting this. It's also crazy knowing that this is going to be in my life for the next week. And as of a plan for how I'm going to mine, I think I'm just going to go in random directions. I'm going to have a full inventory in no time. 
There it is. Anyway, of course, the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of all the dirt. But also, you're about to see the first day of mining. Although, it won't be a whole day because it is 8.30 at night. But 8.30 until whatever time I finish tonight will be day number one. The next real life day and some pretty good progress, I'd say. But there is one problem. I do need to get mending for these tools. So that's what I'm going to go and do. This bee glitch is so annoying. Look at this. Did Wadsy ever manage to fix that problem? If so, I need to know how. Anyway, to the very messy villager trading hall. All right, who wants to give me a mending book? Anyone? All right, guess we're going to need to breed some more villagers then. This should do the trick. Oh, it's going well already. Wait, I think I already hear a baby. There it is. Okay, now we should be able to get one. Please be mending. Oh, wait, I have a different idea because I'm pretty sure there's a zombie villager up here with a mending trade. All I need to do is cure him. There he is. So I have a spider eye and sugar. All I need is one of those mushrooms. Here we are. So there's the fermented spider eye. Some glass bottles filled with water, of course. One piece of gunpowder. And there we go. So now we need to give this guy weakness. And now you get a golden apple. Wow, that was loud. And now we wait. There we go. Five emeralds for one mending. Don't mind if I do. Now I need to put mending on every... Oh, on every single one of these. So I'm going to go do that because I need a lot of levels. So I'll do it off camera. And I'll see you in literally a second. The next day. Well, considering that it took me a good couple of hours to get the XP to put mending on those tools, but also fix them up. I think I need a better farm, but that can't be done right now. I have other duties to fulfill. I can't believe how tired I'm getting from this already, considering this is the second day I'm doing it. I can't imagine what it's going to be like when doing the deep slate. It's going to be painful, to say the least. Look at all of these materials I'm getting. I'm gonna need even more chests. Oh, I want to get this dirt out of the way so I can start with the cobble. Okay, I may have got a little bit carried away, but look at this. So I wanted to basically see how far down I was actually going to be going to go. When we get to the deep slate, it's actually almost impossible to mine. But look at this. One mob spawner, two mob spawners. But do you want to know something even crazier? Look at that. I found two of the exact same music disc. The new one as well. And since this took me about four and a half hours to mine, I'm going to stick more to the surface for now. Now, you're probably wondering why I'm back at home. And the reason is all of my pickaxes are very broken. So with the effort of trying to get them all fixed up and maybe have enough XP to enchant even more pickaxes, I'm going to be doing what I did in the last video, mining lots and lots of ore. So I'm going to get all these ores placed and then we'll get mining. Whoa. I didn't think I had this much ore, but apparently I do. Now it is time to get mining. Now, it is safe to say that rather than just mining those ores, I got a bit carried away. I built an end farm, which didn't actually work too well, but I got some XP from it. And ladies and gentlemen, I did an all-nighter to get, look at that, a full shulker. Every single one has at least efficiency 5, mending, and unbreaking 3, some with other enchantments as well. So, I'm going to grab this shulker and finally get back to mining. I don't think I've done any progress since you guys have last seen it. Oh, yeah, and if you didn't know, I'm saving all of the materials from this for building. I wonder when another wandering trader will spawn. Pig, chicken, you guys have got to move, please. Yeah, yeah. Had to be done. Earlier in this episode, I said that this is going to be my life for around the next week. It's going to be a lot longer than that. I think it's been over a week if you take into account preparing for this video. And I'm still not going to be done for probably another week and a half. I saw Duckyo do this before, but I really wish I was doing this at 1.17. Because Bedrock is at like minus 14 or something. Just look at how far down I'm actually having to go. So yeah, if this video didn't come out a month after my last video, you know exactly why. Also, it's very early in the day right now. Meaning I think the next time lapse you guys are going to see. Sorry about all the time lapses, by the way, but how else would I make this video? The next time lapse is probably going to have the most progress out of this whole video so far. And the next time lapses will be even crazier.
Okay, a lot of progress being made. Also, I don't know if you saw my tweet, but I do have COVID. So I apologize if I got a croaky voice. I'm trying to get this video done for you guys. That Enderman farm is literally a lifesaver. It's so efficient. It is crazy. Also, you might have been able to tell, but I've sort of given up on the idea of collecting all the materials because that would have probably doubled the time that this is going to take. Is that a mine shaft? Wait, no. How could it be a mine shaft that close to the surface? Oh, respect to anyone that tries to make this video. I think the worst part is just not being able to see the end. It feels like you're just constantly mining and it's never going to stop. Also, I will say I do have a plan that I will tell you guys about in a minute. But first, we just need to get rid of probably around 12 more layers. So I should probably get to work doing that. There's a couple of the layers gone. I think probably around five or something. And it took literally hours. Give me some deep slate. We have got some deep slate patches, but we're not fully all the way down, which is very sad. This zombie's literally been here for hours. Oh, not even at deep slate yet. I'll get there eventually. Okay, starting to see a bit more deep slate and lava. Finally, we've made it to deep slate. Look how clean that actually looks. But now, I have a little experiment to be doing. This video is mining, of course, all the way down to bedrock, 100 by 100. This is 1.18, meaning that in 1.17, I'm actually almost at bedrock. But in 1.18, I'm very far away. So, I'm going to mine one of these layers to see how long it takes. And if it's going to take me a very, very, very long time to get this done, we might have to bring out the old TNT. But don't be mad because it means I'm probably getting this video out about a week early. So I'm going to go ahead and mine this and see how long it takes to mine just one of these layers. An hour and seven minutes to do one layer. Let's do the maths. So I'm going to split them up into 60 minutes and seven minutes. And I think we've probably got around another 58 layers to go. So if you do 60 times 58, that number equals to around 3,480. Definitely didn't use a calculator later and then if you do 7 times 58 that equals to around 406 what the hell is that and if you add these two together that comes out to 3886 minutes which is almost 65 hours probably plus the 10 ish hours that the other part's gonna take because i've got that part you know where i've dug quite low but i'm not quite there yet so you're looking at a total of 75 hours to mine everything and even if i did over 10 hours per day that would still take Take over a week. So by using this TNT, this video is coming out a week early. That's definitely what that says. So what have we learned from that? Hopefully you're not annoyed that I'm using TNT for the rest of this hole because it does mean that I can get this video out probably a week and a half early. And also my handwriting is terrible. Anyway, now I need to go make the TNT. Okay, I've got my shulker full of TNT ready. I've got my flint and steel. I'm hoping this is actually going to work. We're going to pop this bad boy yeah. here. Now, I don't know where the TNT should exactly go. What if I just place them in the middle here? Is this going to make my PC lag? Oh, okay. Wait, what if I dig a little bit underground and then place the TNT? Is this going to be enough? I feel like I'm in the nether getting netherite. Okay, but with this TNT, I do feel like we can make these holes a bit bigger. So I had to get a little bit more TNT and yeah, we've made a bit of progress. It's even hard to do with TNT. This is about three shulkers of the stuff. Look at that, an amethyst geode. Look at it, I match. Maybe I could just sit in here for a bit and ignore up there. Oh yeah, I also kind of broke a lot of my diamond beacon. I'm hoping I managed to collect all the blocks, but something's telling me I just lost a lot of diamonds. Anyway, time to explode more TNT. By the way, I'm gonna show you how many hours I spent on Minecraft on this video at the end. It's a lot. Okay, after all that TNT collecting, is this going to work? I just came up with this thing, sort of rings of TNT. I've done three layers. So with this second method of exploding TNT, I'm going to do it and hopefully... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, it's, it's going. Is it working? It doesn't look like it's made a dent. Okay, I'm going to try some other TNT placing methods, BRB. Oh, 
or I'm getting very close to finishing this finally. Of course, I am going to want to tidy up these walls. Look at them. But also, look how close I'm getting to the end. I have flattened this bottom layer to make it nice and clean. But yeah, getting very close. Now, I know I was using TNT, but I've kind of ran out. And I feel like since it's the home stretch, I may as well just keep mining. Look at all those diamonds. It's kind of crazy how many diamonds I have gotten from this. Oh, more diamonds. And now I know I cut most of this mining out because, well, it would be quite boring to watch. But trust me when I say this has been such a draining task. I'm so proud that this is almost done and I didn't just give up. And hopefully you're excited to see the end product because it does, like I said, need some tidying up a bit, which I'll do after. Also, I did take some days off. I don't know if you saw my Twitter, but I did get COVID literally halfway through making this video. But it's all good. We pushed through. And now, ladies and gentlemen, speaking of pushing through, it is time for the final stretch and get this hole fully dug out. Hopefully you've enjoyed this journey so far. I'm very excited to get this finished and you know what i think it's finally time to get this thing done <music> ladies and gentlemen the last few blocks right here i can't believe this is actually happening right now oh we are so close these slimes have been such a pain during this video honestly but my friends three two one there is the final block. I've got some random blocks scattered here and there that I need to go and break. But my friends, that is pretty much this whole thing done. I can't believe I did this. I thought I was going to give up about two, three weeks ago. But there we go. There's the whole done. Almost. Next time you see this, this will look a lot better. I don't know what block I'm going to use yet, but we definitely need to fill this in because it just doesn't look great. So give me a second. And there we go. I'd say this thing is looking definitely a lot better. So hopefully you enjoyed watching me do this monstrous task. If you have any ideas for what I can actually do with this hole, please give me some suggestions. And yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in a bit. Bye-bye. That must have taken so long. Oh, it did. That video actually took me around a month. That's crazy. I'm assuming the next episode was more of a chill one. Well, I thought it was going to be. That was until I decided to make like a hundred bamboo farms all in one. Jeez. I bet you didn't even use all the bamboo from it. You'd be surprised. Fletchers do really love sticks and bamboo is like the perfect material. All right, I'm at the skeleton farm trying to get bow and arrows. You'll see why very soon. I completely forgot that I literally have infinite string and sticks. That I'm going to use to make bows. Now, what I want to do first is actually flatten out this area right here because I think it'll be a cool area to actually start building all the farms. And they'll be right next to my potato farm as well. So it kind of makes sense. Also, if you couldn't guess already, this is going to be a chicken farm. So I have the materials in my inventory. This shouldn't be too hard. Right? Anyway, we now need a block here with a dispenser on top. Apparently, I need glass here and another layer. Hopper here. Bit of carpet on top. A comparator. Observer. Nice little staircase. And now, what I need to do is find a chicken, kill it. Actually, don't kill it. Give it some wheat seeds and bring it back to the farm. Hello. Oh, I don't even have wheat seeds. All right, sir, come with me. Look at him. He's running as fast as he can. Come on, we're almost there. Now we just need to get him in. Is he going to follow me? Come on, man, you can make it. And wrong way. And again. Come on, third time's the charm. Now up here. Okay, we're going to do some improvisation. So can I just push him in now? Yes, there we go. Finally. Okay, that did take longer than I expected. Hopefully the second one will be a bit easier. <gasps> oh, hello, buddy. Hello. Come on, man. Be a bit more speedy than the last guy, please. Oh, no, 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 no. All right, here we go. So now, if you'd just like to... Please, please. Yes, there we go. Second one done. Is this going to give me a baby? Nope. Oh, I have so many wheat seeds in this chest. Well, that's going to make things a lot easier. Now, I believe we can have up to 24 chickens at a time without them all just despawning. So if you guys just want to uh, get to work, this is going to be such a long process. Okay, well, there's that done. So you thought I was just making the one chicken farm. Oh, no, no, no. I have two shulkers completely full of stuff here. And I'm going to make just a few more farms. Arms. There we go. Now that is a proper chicken farm. Look how many of these things we've got. So now I am rich with chicken. And if you're wondering to yourself, Zetro, how did you get all these chickens in here? Well, I got eggs from these guys and um, just threw them in. So these guys don't really have a purpose anymore. 
That's a lot of chicken. Now, with the first farm out of the way, it was time to raise the farm epicness bar a little bit higher with farm number two. So what I'm going to do is make a massive bamboo farm right here in line with these two massive farms. So I'm going to have to terraform that space. But first, I don't really want two bamboo farms. So there we go. Mate, you're not meant to be there. Now, here's the thing. All I need to do is flatten out this marked area right here. Then I can build the bamboo farm. But first, this mountain has to go. You're done. And the only way to do it is with TNT. So I have some sand right here. Bit of gunpowder here. That should be enough. And now I think I'm just going to randomly place the TNT all around the mountain. Hopefully this actually does something. Oh, okay. It's made a dent. Maybe just a bit more TNT and I think we'll be there. Okay, that has to be enough. Oh my goodness. Definitely a bigger explosion than I expected, but at least I can get to work flattening now. So that's the area flattened. We can just ignore that bit down here. So I think now it's time to start on the bamboo farms. And I did go a bit overkill on the materials. But that just means I can make a massive farm. So we start with a little pillar right here. And then apparently you have to go across nine blocks. And I believe this is where the bamboo is going to go. I hope I have enough stone brick. Day two. I've just built this whole thing backwards. No. Nice. Suppose the pistons go here this time. And then up 13. 12, 13. And then I think we need observers to actually detect the bamboo. Anyway, though, an observer there. And now I have to go do that many, many times. This is looking sick. I did try and pick a very aesthetically pleasing one. Because, you know, I want this world to look good. Some red stonian does need to go here. Wow, this one really is going to take a long time. And a lot of observers. Wait, can rails actually go? Oh, they can. And now I think this glass is actually optional, but I just wanted to place it. And then after these logs have all been placed, the farm should be done and looking good. And there we go. Wasn't too difficult. All we need now is just a few more. So, of course, I like to do big things in my world, meaning I couldn't just stick with the one farm. I had to build loads. It is time to get placing all of these pistons. Honestly, from when I did that sugarcane farm quite a while ago, I accidentally made so many pistons and observers that now I don't need to make any, which is good because a lot of farms use those and it kind of speeds up this video. And I'm thinking of a way to possibly build this up like I did with those over there, but I'm not sure how the item collecting would work. Anyway, there's all the pistons done. Now, with this first sort of row of farms done, it's made me realize that I'm actually running really low on glass. So I have two shulkers here that need to be completely filled with sand. And then as soon as I got all this sand, I'm going to put it in my super smelter and then probably just get finishing the whole bamboo farm. My fletchers are going to be getting so many sticks. I did not think I was going to dig out this big of an area. To be honest, there's only one thing I can really do with the extra sand. We'll add that to the collection. Oh yeah, and we've got all the glass that I now need as well. And now that I had all that glass collected, it was time to build a bunch of farms to maximize my bamboo. So the farms are done, and as you can tell, these chests are filling up very, very quickly. So I think I'm just going to make these double chests so we're safe for now. Um, hello? What? Okay. So yeah, these need to be double chests. But now also, here's the thing. I've kind of run out of wood, as you can tell from the lack of logs over here. It just doesn't look as good as those. But I have a plan. So of course, you know, we're making a bunch of farms in this video. I think it'll be good to make a tree farm. And then once I've done this, of course, I'll be able to finish off the logs, but also have a lot of wood for future builds. I also might need a bunch of wood a little bit later on for a big project. Oh, more redstone. I wish Mumbo Jumbo was here to just do this for me. Wait. Is that normal? I've also just realized that if you split a breadstone, it kind of looks like enchanting table language. But that's not important right now. And with this farm done, all I needed to AFK now was loads of bone meal. And luckily, I've already got a skeleton farm. And with all this bone meal collected, it was the perfect opportunity to see if this farm was going to work or just be a waste of time. Well, this is a lot more wood than I expected. I was going to carry on a bit more, but the farm did break, which hopefully it shouldn't be too hard to fix. I'm really not looking forward to mining this. But you know what? At least I've got a good axe for it. There's layer one gone, layer two, three, and four. Look at all those logs. And then here is the bamboo farm actually fully completed. And I think it's actually looking very cool. So I guess that's the bamboo farm done and time to move on to a new farm, right? I think you and I both know I can't just leave it looking like this.
So I started gathering materials on the 13th of February. It's now the 21st. And even though it took me eight days, I'm so happy with how this farm turned out. I didn't think it would take as long as it did, but look at the size of it. Does anyone have a bigger bamboo farm than this? But now there's one more thing I need to do to this farm before it's complete. We need a collection system. So here's the plan. Here is the massive bamboo farm as if you're facing forward at it. And then right here is just a block of grass. So what I'm going to do is have water starting up top and then basically flowing down. So a giant square of water leading into loads of hoppers. What a good drawing. So now that you're all caught up, let's get working on it. And this shouldn't actually take too long because all this down here is hollow. So it shouldn't be more than a few layers I've got to destroy. All right, with a layer taken out, I know exactly where the water's going to be going, but the hole just is not deep enough. And as there are nine different rows of farms, I believe I'm going to have to be going a total of nine layers down. Uh, you all right, mate? It's not all fancy schmancy with all the same kind of block and everything, but it does look good. All I need to do now is place the water. Now, where do I put the fence gates? Would it be here i'm guessing and then open them as well so there's those done and then i'm guessing the chests would go here and the hoppers here maybe and then now we need a space for the hoppers although i don't know if we're gonna need hoppers there as well i don't know if i have that many we'll see okay maybe i do have that many <laughs> right i'd say that's good enough for now and i would say that is now the farm completed there's just one thing left to do and that's to see if this farm works or have i just wasted eight days of my life hopefully not Well, it is safe to say that the farm is definitely working. I went AFK for a while, and even though each chest only has around a stack to a stack and a half of bamboo, look how many chests there are. So yeah, I'd say it was worth it. Although my tools definitely think otherwise. And I forgot to say, look what the replay mods for this thing did to my Minecraft. Never seen anything like it. Anyway, though, very, very, very big bamboo farm complete. But now quickly, I have something really important I need to talk to you guys about, and I think you're going to be very hyped about it. So many of you may know, I have a friend that goes by the name of a cookie god <laughs> <laughs> and he has a subscriber wall. But I was thinking, why don't I just one-up him one more? Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the new subscriber wall that I'm going to be putting names on in my hardcore world. And you're probably thinking, Zetro, how is this one-upping cookie? You've just built it in different materials. My friends, I'm going to be picking a comment from every video and writing your name. But not only writing your name, writing it with a block of your choice. For example, if your name's Ben and you say netherite, then there's going to be a word that says Ben made out of netherite starting here. So make sure to get your comments in and tell me what you want your name to be made out of as well. Also, I'm sorry, Cookie Army. He said it was fine. In fact, another thing, quickly, before I get to making the next farm, this gunpowder farm right here had to go because I have this bad boy right here. But anyway, now with the world being that little bit cleaner, it's time for the next farm. So the next farm up is actually a gold farm. And it's actually the Ill Mango one. It's the best one I could find that's automatic and very, very good for XP. So this is going to be very useful, but also kind of a big project. So first of all, I'm actually going to need to go and find the top layer of bedrock. What? Huh? What am I seeing right now? I'm gonna need to know how Wadsy fixed it. Oh, we're here. I'm gonna assume that is the top layer. So I believe all I need to do is that. Oh my goodness, we're up. Do I need to know the block that I got up from? I'm gonna guess this one. I'm gonna put some obsidian and lever here. As you can see, I've come very prepared. So now piston goes here. Okay, please work first time. Did it? All right, I've done some calculations, and by calculations, I mean I've gone back into the nether and redone it with a screenshot of the coords, and I think that right there should be the exact place to do it. This really should not be this hard. Okay, please, this has to work. Okay, there we go, finally. Okay, I'm already above a nether waste biome, which is good. So I think I need to start off with scaffolding. I'm now realizing this is going to be a lot of back and forth. Whoa, look at all the ashes in the air. Anyway, a bit of glass goes here. Don't ask me why. And then I believe this needs to be a platform. Also, like usual, I'll leave this tutorial in the description. I think these pillars right here are actually just temporary, but the hoppers, I'm guessing, are going to stay there. Wait, I need ladders. Oh 
My, my heart just dropped. Okay, I need to go grab a totem. I'm running out of totems. I need to be more careful. I have returned. A lot of glass being used for this build, more than I'd think. And with one totem, unfortunately, down, it was time to get this platform done so I could get to building the main part of the farm, which is going to be very useful very soon. This literally just looks like a mishmash of random blocks. Like, why are there grindstones here? What's the point in these stairs? I have no idea, but I need to make sure I don't drop down them because if I do... I'll suffocate and die. But now here's the bit that gets a little bit complex. So I have to go out by four blocks, in one block, then another four blocks, in one, another two, another two, another two, and then one five times. I know it's confusing, bear with me. And then this side is the same. So two, 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 four, and another four. It looks like a protractor. And now it looks like two protractors, or just a circle. And now I actually have to go fill it in. All this for some gold and some little green particles that will make that little number go up a bit more. Definitely worth it. Luckily, I've got so much glass spare from the bamboo farm. While I'm placing this glass, I also should mention that if you guys are going to be commenting on this video, anything you like, but also the block you want your name to be out of if your comment gets chosen, make sure you have subscribed. But anyway, enough of that. Back to this. Alright, it's time for the big boy blocks. It's time for the magma. Probably the main block out of the whole farm. So right in the middle here, I need to go out eight blocks. And I could get Frostwalker boots, but I'm not gonna lie, I can't be bothered. So I'll take the damage. Gotta do this on every single side, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I've gotta do a circle again. Five, four, three, two, 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 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Please be correct. That actually looks about right. Just needs to be done a couple more times. Now I just have to do a bunch more circles. But you've already seen me build one. You don't want to see the rest. All right, there's the second ring done. It was very complex. Here is the third one, fully complete. And there's the fourth layer done. Now I'm very confused about how the next part's going to go. So I think it goes three blocks above. And you basically do lines of glass. One here. And then continue to basically go all the way around. It's a bit complicated. There's so many of these. This is going to work so well. I mean, as long as I can get this right. Yes, I know the build height limit this looks about right to me now to do that two more times two thousand years later there we go now it's looking done but i don't think it is yet okay i was definitely right about having a lot more to do but now the farm is completely done i'm testing it and look at this this is insane. I'm so happy right now. You don't understand. But now for the ultimate test. I'm going to go AFK for an hour and see how much XP I gain. But also how much gold I get. So let this little experiment begin. Okay, the fact that I went from level 50 to 157 in an hour without having to do anything makes me very happy that I built this farm. But now I also want to check the chests. Oh... My goodness, I definitely need to filter out these chests. But it's safe to say, the farm was definitely worth it. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the gold farm complete. Oh yeah, and if you didn't see this video, I mined 100 by 100 area all the way down to bedrock. And I probably should have used this to build a farm in this video. So if you want to suggest anything to do with this hole, maybe a farm, but it can be something else too, let me know in the comments. And now that I have these farms with more farms to come, I guess you could say we're only just getting started with this series and I have a lot more to come. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in a bit. Bye-bye. Well, you were right about the bamboo farm. Hey, you want to see one last mega build? What kind of build? Well, it had been a while since I'd made something cool, and I wanted to switch it up a little bit. So, where are you going with this? Oh, you'll see. I wish the end looked cooler. It's actually really, really bland. I think I need to spice it up a little bit. I'm going to transform it into the nether. These endermen need some new friends. So, I think I'm going to start off by transforming the obsidian pillars, which means I'm probably going to need my beacon. And I think I'm going to be destroying every single pillar apart from the middle ones. So these four pillars here are actually going to be used as markers because I'm actually going to be splitting the end into four different segments, each one for a different biome in the nether. I'm actually going to time how long this takes because I've got a feeling it's going to take a very long time. 
four and a half minutes just to do two layers. I hope these things actually look good in nether brick. Wait, I just realized I don't need to take out all of this obsidian pillar. I only actually need to do the edges. And about 30 minutes later, all the obsidian that I need to go is gone. That's a lot of obsidian. Now I need to turn this nether rack into nether brick. I could use bamboo from the farm to smelt it. I think that should be enough. Wait, how do you actually even make them into nether brick? Oh, now with a shulker of nether brick, aka 27 stacks, I'm going to try and get the first pillar done. And that way, I'll know if it actually looks good or not. Okay, I'll do these two top layers first. This block sounds so cool when you place it. Oh, this is actually looking sick. Now I just got to do the rest of it. That looks so weird. And what will look even weirder is when most of these pillars are gone and the ones that are left are literally all made of nether brick. We've now only got these two pillars because these ones are not actually in line with this line and it would look a bit weird. I've also split up the end as you can see from the middle. But the one bad thing is this bedrock looks very odd. So I'm going to use the same method I used in the last video to destroy the bedrock. So this may or may not work first time. Please work. Oh, I forgot the TNT would just fall. Okay, now it should work. Third time's the charm. There we go. That definitely looks a lot better. I did have to build my own two nether brick pillars. Now that we have a bit of a nether vibe, I also want to try and get a strider. Of course, they're on the lava. Okay, this is going to be very dangerous. I need to get off him. Yep, I thought that might happen. Could these guys go any faster? Striders make such a weird noise. They're just like... Anyway, okay, we have the strider in the overworld. Also, if you're wondering why I'm doing this, I just want to test if these mobs can actually go into the end. All right, I've tried linking up a couple of nether portals. I don't actually know if I've done this right, but I'm going to give it a go. And the good thing about striders is the fact that they can literally just walk on lava. And that's where we need to be. Now, I suppose I just do that. Oh, he just fell in. Oh my goodness, it actually worked. For now, man, you're just going to sit in this box here. And now that I know that works, later on, I can get some even crazier mobs. So with the basics done, I want to start off building a nether waste biome. Building each biome, moving all the way up to a warped forest to hold all of my endermen. So to start with, I need a lot of netherrack. And with the scale that I'm doing this at, I'm guessing that I'm going to need many, many shulkers. I've got a feeling with all this netherrack, I'm still going to need a lot more. But I don't know whether to place these blocks on top or break the end stone, then place it like that. I'm just going to do some of this side and like this and see how it looks. Okay, I think that looks fine. I think I'll do all the outside first and then I'll be able to go and fill it in. Wait, can endermen even spawn on blocks that aren't this end stone? Surely they can. Hopefully that won't become an issue. I'm very glad I have my elytra on. Yeah, placing these blocks above the end stone is definitely the way to go. And I think I'm going to leave these kind of edge parts for after because they're probably going to be the hardest part. Bro, why do Endermen do so much damage? And I could be wrong, but it feels like so many Endermen are spawning on this netherrack. And I'm also right now remembering that I'm going to have to go down and do the whole side of the island as well. If I'm transforming in the island, there's no point in just doing half of it, I suppose. Seeing just this netherrack here placed makes me so hyped to see the rest of the build. Although before I get to doing the rest of the build, I don't know how far down I actually need to go with this. Like what if I go too far under the map and I, you know, die? Why are all the endermen here? Is this a bug or something? Anyway, I'm going to assume that you're probably getting a bit bored of all this block placing. So here is what this part of the island looks like before. And here's what it's looking like now. It's kind of crazy. Now, I want a flow of lava. And I think the only way I'm going to be able to do that is putting lava coming off one of these pillars. And then I think we're going to have a massive lava pit going around here. Now, I only want one lava pool, but it's going to take me such a long time because I'm going to need so many source blocks. But it will make the biome look a lot better in the end, so it's worth it. I'm so confused on how to fix this. I'm just going to spam lava and hope something happens. Finally, I think it's sorted. Now, if I just take off these blocks here. All right, I think this lava pool looks okay. I might extend it soon. So what I want to do next is get some... Oh, what I want to do now is get a bunch of ores to place down in this nether waste. And also probably some magma blocks. I don't think I really need that many ores because they're not going to go deep like this. They're just going to be one layer on top. All right, I think that should be enough ores for now. I suppose I can literally just place these randomly like this. I think that's... Whoa, that's a lot of endermen. And now if I go and add a bunch of fire... 
Okay, it's actually starting to look like a nether waste biome. Although I might have placed a little bit too much fire. I can't forget about the magma as well. I think I can only place it next to lava though for that to actually make sense. Only problem is I can't really put glowstone down because, well, there's no roof. Now, while this might be a bit difficult to make it look good, I now want to transform this nether brick pillar into an actual nether fortress itself. Okay, I would say that's tall enough. And then here, usually the bridge is broken off. And now I'm realizing that the path is meant to be three wide, not two. There we go. And then this path is going to carry along. And then for whatever reason, we need some windows here. Now, I think it would be a good idea to have this bridge connecting to this pillar, just like so. And then in the middle of this bridge here, I'm just going to make one more pillar. I think this does look good. And now this biome's just missing one thing. So what I'm going to do right here is just rob this. And then place it right about here. And then the portal right here. Spread these things out a bit and there we go. First biome complete. Also, in the last video, I told you guys to basically comment what your name to be made out of. And I'll pick one to go on this wall. And this person won and wanted ancient debris. So here you go. There you go, Steve. It took me about three hours to get that ancient debris. Now, this next biome is, of course, going to take me a very long time because we've got to do the floor, all the trees and vegetation, but also, once again, all down the side and the bottom of the island, which takes such a long time, but it makes the build look ten times better. So, I've got silk touch on my pickaxe, and I need to get as much crimson huh? nylium as I can. I managed to get around a shulker of this stuff already, but it's just so annoying. These guys keep getting in the way. They're just stopping me. And these guys too. They're annoying. And now I have a shulker full of stuff. I'm sorry, Mr. Pickaxe. It is time to start making biome number two. These guys are so annoying. They keep picking up the blocks. Look how dumb this looks because of these guys. I'm going to have to destroy all of this and put a layer of netherrack below it. And he's angry at me. Uh... These guys are still making this place look like a mess. I'm going to place down a bunch of string and see if then they can still pick up these blocks. I'm really hoping this works because if it does, it's going to make the build like 10 times better. And now if no endermen take these blocks, then we're good. 3.28 a.m. It seems to be working. A block or two did get taken from the edge here, but I think that's because they can get to this side. So as soon as it's all full, they won't actually be able to get the blocks. But the annoying thing is I'm going to have to do it for this whole part of the island. Oh, help me. And now the floor is done. But now the next thing I need to do is go and add a bunch of trees. And they don't grow from a crimson saplings, meaning I have to go and get loads of these logs. Wait a second. Oh my goodness, I'm so dumb. So this is all I need to do. Well, that saves me a lot of time. I definitely want to make sure I don't place too many of these because I don't want it to just look really messy. But I suppose that is sort of what a crimson forest actually is. Now, the last sort of things we need is a bunch of vegetation around here. I'm also going to chuck some of these on the floor. I think last but not least, just a few little bits of lava. Chuck a little bit there. And after completely covering the sides in netherrack, I had officially transformed half of the end island. And remember, this is only half of the island transformed. This build is going to look insane by the time I'm finished. And now the next biome I'm going to be building is the Soul Sand Valley, which might be a bit difficult because I don't know how the ground pattern is actually going to work. We're also going to need to get some skeletons in here, which will definitely be difficult. And once again, we're going to have to do all down the side and the bottom, which I can't express enough how annoying it is to do. But it's got to be done. So I'm going to start by getting the Soul Soil and Soul Sand. That's got to be the two quickest shulker boxes of blocks I've ever got. This shovel is just so fast. And now to, of course, go and build the floor. Now this is done, but I need to get some fire, which is going to be blue. Blue. Wait, why did I go to the nether? It's not like I can collect the fire. I literally just need this flint and steel. Whoa, that is cool. I'll make sure not to add too much this time, though. All right, that is decent. It's decent. Now, we just need three more things for this biome. Basalt pillars, bone block things, and skeletons. And we're going to start with the pillars. Only problem is I won't actually have anything to attach my basalt pillar to. Oh, no. 
That was cool. See, this is what we're going to need to make after. All right, one more pillar, and then that should be about the right amount. <laughs> me said about just then reminds me of how Sandiction says about. He's like, a boot. What even is basalt? It's a rock. Okay, anyway, back to the end. So we're going to have the first pillar going here. Probably go up to about that height. No, that's too short. Okay, that looks about right. Next one's going to go on the opposite side. I think that pillar looks better. I don't know how many to do. I think I'm just going to chuck one here. And in fact, I was actually going to do one more over there, but I don't want to make it like kind of symmetrical. Now time to build some of these bad boys. I think the cool thing about these bone things is they're actually not that complicated. They're quite symmetrical. There's the first one done. Then we're going to have one right in the middle over here. I think we should try and do like an actual skeleton. These blocks actually look kind of cool, but when you actually look at them and realize that they're bone, it's kind of, kind of odd. And then one last addition, we're going to also have one of these bone things over in this corner. And now I actually want to add the skeletons. And speaking of mobs, I've actually added these little walls here just so the mobs can't escape and get into different biomes. Although the endermen can just go wherever they want. Now I need to go get some skeletons in here to complete the Soul Sand Valley aesthetic, I suppose. I am extremely lucky that my Soul Sand Valley is right next to my nether portal, meaning I can just bridge across... And get a gas firing fireballs at me. You did this to yourself. Ow. Going back to the bridge. Now it should just be as easy as finding a skeleton and just leading him back to the bridge. How? Just walk on the bridge. That's all you had to do. All right, take number two. No. There's no way they fall off this. Yes, come on, come on. Come on, man. Follow the soul sand. Don't do it. Okay, we've got two. No, don't start fighting. You, go. You. Ugh. Okay, I've had a new idea. This better work. Surely, if I block off all the lava, there's no way. Yep, just walk up here. Now, just get in there. Get in there. Yes. Come on. Come on. If I break this, is he going to go in? And now, all you have to do, this is all you have to do. Come over here. And now, sir, me and you into the portal. Oh, no. Okay, I've got another one of these guys here again. Now, this time, I suppose I need to just push him in. Run over here. Yes, quick. Get in there. Oh my god. Yes. Please don't walk off. He's in. Now, sir, you get a name tag and you can stay here forever. And with those foundations set up to get all the skeletons into the end, it actually became really, really easy getting each skeleton in and eventually had all five skeletons to complete the Soul Sand Valley. Oh, I could honestly sit here all day and just stare at these biomes. We've got the skeletons. They're looking snazzy. But it's now time to do the final floor. I don't actually have any blocks for it. And instead of you watching me, because it'll be quite boring, let's just get into it. I also just remembered, once again, I'm going to need string. Because I'm assuming the Endermen are going to want to pick up all the floor blocks. What are you staring at? Jeez, Endermen do a lot of damage. I've also just realised that this beacon now needs to go. Now time to do the floor. And now with this masterpiece all done, of course I had to do the sides as well. All I need to do now is place down a bunch of trees, bone mill this whole sort of area, and then I'm done. Also, I got the mobs before doing this, so I don't even need to do that now. I kind of don't want to do as many trees because I don't want to completely fill up this area, but maybe I should. Okay, we definitely do need a few more trees. Yeah, that definitely looks a lot better. You really do need trees in these biomes. And you know what else you need in these biomes? And I have to make sure I cover every one of these blocks in whatever this is. Because if not, the Endermen, they're going to be grabbing these blocks. Wait, why don't I just make this like... Whoa. Can I do that again? <laughs> what? Didn't know that could grow here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We're actually finished. I can now safely say I have fully transformed the end into the nether. I told you I wanted to switch it up a little bit. Well, I'll defo say you followed through with that. Yeah, but after that, I, of course, had to go back to my roots. You mean mining again? That's exactly what I mean. But why? My goal is to one day become the richest Minecraft hardcore YouTuber. Ah, I see. Well, I think you'll be there one day with these kind of videos. Hopefully. So I want to get some god pickaxes to maximize the efficiency of this challenge. I think a shulker full will be enough. I should also probably turn them into netherite. But now there's three types of books I'm going to need to buy. Efficiency, mending, and unbreaking. So I'm going to use my giant bamboo farm to get the emeralds to pay for the books just like so and you know what string actually works really good too 
And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you get Shulkers of Emeralds. I know, you're welcome, you're welcome. Now, all I did next was AFK my gold farm for XP, put some books on some pickaxes. How am I meant to do this for multiple times per pickaxe for a whole Shulker of them? This is going to take like over a thousand levels. But now, after a full day of hard work, I now have a full Shulker of God pickaxes. Now, I'm going to head back into the nether because, I mean, it's one thing having infinite God pickaxes, but imagine having infinite beacons. So now I've got to locate a nether fortress. Here we are. So first off, of course, I need to kill wither skeletons to make the withers. 126 wither skeletons. That's how many skeletons it took me to get these three skulls right here. But the quest for beacons doesn't stop there. No, no. And now I have a total of 30 wither skulls. But before I leave the nether, I have one thing more to do. And that's get a bunch of gold for the beacons. And before going AFK, I'm going to extend these chests so I can go AFK for a longer amount of time. That should be right. And then more here. Now, obviously, we need hoppers. And now I'm going to do the other three. And hopefully, I can start getting gold. Look how much gold I just collected while doing that. Now, I'm going to go AFK for a very long time. And then we'll be finished. Why does this farm give me so much junk? But at least I'm rich with gold now. Now I just need to kill a bunch of withers and then we'll go from there. All right, so one there, one there, and one there. Oh my goodness, look at those bars. That is freaking scary. Oh, I forgot they regenerate too. Chase me into this tunnel. All right, surely I can just get loads of hits on him now. He's literally almost half health. Come on, man, you gotta go. One nether star captured. These guys are actually scary. They're very loud as well. Okay, this guy's actually so weak. Second star down. How am I even going to get up to him without taking loads of damage? Thanks for the boost, man. Bro, these guys are so annoying. Last hit. There we go. Now I'm going to make some beacons. I've already got three beacons in this chest right here. And I'm going to use this gold to make six beacons. And you'll see what I'm going to do with the rest of the wither skulls very soon. Now, I think over here next to the 100 by 100 hole, I'm going to start with mining method one, which is just going to be simple strip mining. Of course, like each method for a total of 10 hours. Oh, good old deep slate. And apparently the place to be is Y minus 58. So now first step. Beacon. Now, I've, of course, got my shulker full of pickaxes ready. And I suppose it's time for our number one. Oh, some iron already. I am so hyped to see how many ores I'm going to have by the end. Surely it's going to be a lot more than when I mine 10,000 ores at once. Oh, diamonds. Some redstone. Thank you very much. Wait, I just dug into my 100 by 100 hole. I suppose we'll go this side. Oh, I knew this would happen. Oh, I almost missed these. Oh, a few more diamonds to add to the collection. Oh, diamonds. I'm probably going to be the richest Minecraft hardcore YouTuber after this video. Okay, the first hour is about to be up. Can I get any more diamonds before we finish? Nope. But that many resources after the first hour, I'd say it's pretty decent. Moving on to hour two, I'm going to go to the complete opposite side of the mine already. Speaking of diamonds, I'm going to silk touch all the diamonds and other ores I get in this hour. And then just mine them all at the end. Oh, what have I just stumbled across? Oh my goodness. Listen to when I walk. No, my silk touch pickaxe is about to break. But while AFKing at the farm, got set on fire. I just got down to two and a half hearts. I actually could have just lost my world. That was so scary. I'm just going to try and forget that ever happened. You know what? At this point, it's the end of the hour. I'm just going to place all the oars. Oh, that's a lot of oars. Although nowhere near the amount I have by the end. Now there's the diamonds done. I forgot you could fortune gold and iron. Oh, this is a lot of redstone. There we go. Finished. And even though it went wrong, that's how many resources I got in the second hour. And now after a couple of successful hours of mining, I decided to mine for three hours straight in a few different tunnels to see how the diamonds would vary. And well, okay, I know it doesn't look like a lot of ores, but I think this is going to give me a lot of diamonds over a stack. Wait, I might get like more than five stacks of diamonds from this. And finally, the reveal time. Oh, ho, ho. not five sacks of diamonds, but almost. Now, of course, no one cares about the rest of the ores. So we got that from the first hour, that from the second hour, and that from the past few hours. But just before we move on to the second crazier mining method, I've got one more thing to do. Honestly, this is getting too much already. This right here took me five hours of off-camera mining. I want to have at least eight stacks of diamonds after this. First layer done. Second layer done. 
Hey. hey, don't try and escape. Third layer done. Honestly, my pickaxe is loving this XP. And the moment of truth. Now, with all the other rules collected up, it's time to finally see what 10 hours of mining looks like. All these resources right here, I'd say we did pretty good. Which brings us to the end of the first mining method. And now for the second mining method, one that I was very excited for. Exploring the 1.18 caves for once again 10 hours. But first, I had to actually find one. Oh, this cave actually looks pretty sick. Oh, I think that is literally it. I'm going to have to travel thousands of blocks to actually get a good cave. Also, the time has started, by the way. We might want to get a good cave quickly. Yeah, this, this will do. Oh, I think this is a lush cave. This is the only problem with these caves, the mobs. Get out, get away. But honestly, I've got a feeling that if I want to be getting diamonds, I'm going to have to go to the really deep caves. This looks really promising. I don't think I've ever seen a cooler cave. Oh, I'll take some gold and some redstone. I feel like I'm going to collect so many different ores from these caves and that's exactly what i did rinsing this cave of all its ores until i found something kind of odd i haven't seen one of these spawners in so long i could get any music disc or not i'll take a name tag oh two name tags why are mobs so annoying honestly half this time is just spent killing these but that wasn't the hour over just yet That was easy enough. Another cool looking cave. Get away from me. I want another mob spawner. Is it? Yep, it's zombies. And nothing good in the chests. I guarantee this will be one diamond. I knew it. I hate these spiders. Wait, is that? Oh, I thought it was diamonds. I swear there's no diamonds in these caves, unless Minecraft wants to prove me wrong. Oh, hello. I thought this was the bottom of the cave, and then I see this monstrosity. A large iron vein. If this diamond falls, I'm going to be so annoyed. <sighs> Key, I like it, Picasso. And now after seeing how many ores I could get from just two hours of cave mining, I decided to grab some shulkers, stocked up on food and fireworks, and went on possibly the biggest cave mining journey I've ever been on. Why am I doing this to myself? Guess it's time to get as many ores as possible. How do I keep finding these massive iron ore veins? Okay, I get it, you guys don't like me. Yeah, fight each other. This is probably not the best way to store all my ores, but I've got an idea. Sticking to our mining theme, I'm going to grab a bunch of quartz and then make a little platform to display all the ores from the different methods. First, I actually need to find quartz. Oh, surprise, surprise. Now I'm ready to build. And I think I'm honestly just going to chuck it here. And if you're wondering why I chose quartz, it's because they look cool. Now I just need to grab some chests and all these ores can go in here. And just like that, I have all the resources from strip mining in one place. In fact, there's also one more thing I can do. And now we have all the ores I got from cave mining. And that's only from like six hours. You can definitely tell I got some large veins. I've already made it to the final hour of cave mining. This has got to be the single biggest copper vein I've ever seen. Bro, these mobs are so annoying. Also, these underwater caves have been amazing. And I feel like these caves aren't too great for diamonds, but they do give you gold. And a redstone. Another zombie spawner. I actually saw Legundo died to the zombies, so rest in peace, Legundo, in the comments. New cave time, because I'm impatient. Oh, this is a lush cave. By the way, is the red blue axe little still a thing? Because if so, I want to get one. This has to be the coolest cave I've ever seen. This is like a cave you'd see on TikTok. You know where there's like cool music playing? It's like, you know that one? It gets better and better. I love flying right above the lava. It makes you feel dangerous. Although we need to stop messing about. I've got ores to collect. There's no way. This is the coolest cave ever. I'm going to have to make this my PC wallpaper. Also, I am loving walking over these bridges right now. I really am happy with what we've managed to do in these 20 hours. Also, is that what I think it is? It's a slime. That is pretty cool. Although not as cool as all these ores. Now time to head home to see the final amount of ores. That is an insane amount. Look at all those diamonds. If I don't end up as the richest Minecraft hardcore YouTuber after this, I don't know what to say. Now I've got to go grab those skulls. I told you I'm going to need to use them again. And I should probably grab some soul sand because I don't think I have any left. You may know where I'm going with this. 
So we're going to head down here. I should probably make this staircase more efficient. But I don't have time. We've got mining to do. Now I'm going to light up this tunnel that I've already dug out. And now that it's all lit up, I should probably block off all the holes. Now I need to place the wither, but there's no way I'm doing it over this side. And this could go very wrong, so I'm hoping I do this right. Now if I place the wither right here and activate it, if he just follows me along, this should work. Follow me. Just chase me. That's all you have to do. Are you going to chase me? Okay, this isn't working, man. You've got to go. Why am I losing a lot of hearts? At least I got another star out of it. Well, it worked a tiny bit. Now, I think this time I just need to hit him with my hand and stay close. Please work. He's loading. Wait, what? What just happened? Oh, my heart is racing. I need to go grab a totem. Was I just way too close? Right, time for some wither mining. Right, I'm not going to lose a totem this time. This is a lot harder than I thought. Am I going to need to kill you? Okay, it seems like the answer is yes. This kind of shows that the method can work, just not very efficient. Okay, I think this time I just need to stay really close. Wait, where's he gone? Is this a cave? Oh, no. <laughs> Now, at this point, I spent all this time mining. Motivation began to run low. So I just wanted to see what some of my friends thought of this challenge and see if they thought this challenge was possible. No, it's not going to be possible. Honestly, 50 hours of mining, I think you're just going to give up. Yeah, no, absolutely not. Yeah, mate, there's no way. All right, I need to get some gunpowder. It's time for 10 hours of mining with TNT. And I think this will go well. So there's one shulker full, another shulker full, and another one. That's a fourth. Five shulkers of gunpowder. A few more to add to the collection. And that is now 10. Now, of course, if you've got gunpowder, you're going to need sand. And now I'm pretty sure that's going to be enough sand. And this should make quite a lot of TNT. Oh, wait, actually, we're already at a shulker now. Oh, wait, we're at exactly two shulkers now. Now time to explode it all. Going back to the good old trusty mine. And now we're going to use one of these already existing tunnels. Don't know if I should space it out or not, but we'll just give it a go. Two stacks of TNT. If this blows up the beacon, I'm going to be upset. Time to light it up. And now we're hoping for some more. Oh, some redstone. Some lapis right over here. More redstone. Oh, diamonds. Okay, not too bad. And now we're going to do another row of it, but spacing out the TNT a little bit. Okay, it's going. Just don't come anywhere near me. Oh, I'm actually seeing a lot more ores this time. We've got some diamonds hiding over here. Oh, it's actually a decent sized vein. Of course, some more redstone. Don't think I really need much more iron, but we'll take it. Okay, I think spaced out actually worked a lot better. So what if I did that? but with loads of stacks of TNT. Quick, torches, torches, torches before the mobs spawn. Oh, I can just hear all the mobs right now in that 100 by 100 area. Oh, some diamonds hidden up there. I didn't even notice them. Is that an eight vein? Oh, nine. Very nice. Wait, I wonder what would happen if I just placed a massive clump of TNT. I think that's a big enough hole. Now, is this going to give me any ores? Ow. Oh, no. Okay, might have been a little bit too close. Safe to say I won't be doing that again. So that's the amount of TNT I just exploded. But what if I just exploded this amount of TNT? I think it's around 12 stacks. Isn't that just nuts? Wait, is that? Yep, it's going to explode. Oh, no. Right, we just hope that doesn't happen again. Well, I've dug out a bit too much, so let's just add a few more stacks. The more, the merrier. This is around 25 stacks of TNT, although I'm going to run very far so the same thing doesn't happen. Some of it didn't even explode. Oh, that bat's going to die. There he goes. Mate, this actually feels like it's not ending. Few inches later. In fact, never mind. This actually might be the end. What am I meant to do with all the redstone from this video? Now, seeing as we were officially halfway into the 50 hours, I wanted to do something sick. So I decided to AFK for an extremely long time in the gunpowder farm, collect up shulkers and shulkers of sand, and then do a bunch of strip mining, returning back with TNT and placing it all. And it was actually quite effective. And that actually brings an end to mining method number three, which I would say was a pretty big success. Almost as many diamonds as when I just did strip mining. Oh, and of course, every video, I choose a comment from the last video and write your name out of the blocks that you chose. And as you can see, this person wanted their name OND out of diamond blocks. Of course, I had to make it happen. Now for mining method 4, possibly the last mining method depends on how long it takes. I'm going to be making a bunch of TNT droppers and making another 100 by 100 hole. So first of all, I'm going to need to try and find some slimes. In fact, maybe this hole is actually the spot. 
Okay, full shulker of slime balls, which is three stacks of slime blocks. We're going to hope it's enough. And apparently next I need dead coral. So I need a warm ocean. Oh, here we go. Apparently it's called a dead tube coral. Oh, it's this one. Okay, I'm just going to grab these ones. All right, I'm sure a stack will be enough. And all the other stuff I needed was actually really easy to get. And the one thing I need to grab now is obsidian. But I'm now just remembering I've got a lot from destroying all those obsidian pillars. I've also got some quartz and some lapis like last time. And we better get marking it out. Here we go, we've got a nice flat area. Hopefully that wall should stop the TNT droppers. And now to try and build them. So we need a sticky piston here, a slime block, an observer, more slime blocks, a wall, detector rail, TNT, minecart, slime, coral. And now for the moment of truth, apparently we have to break this obsidian and place a redstone torch here. Oh, it's going, it's going. Oh, wait, that's not meant to happen. Where are you going? Look at it, it's like a train. Oh, the tree managed to stop it. All right, attempt number two. All right. This should be correct. Hmm. Well, at least we know the wall works. Third time's the charm. We'll place a redstone torch. No, I did it again. All right, fourth attempt. Please work. Oh, it's not moving. Well, I guess I could just build loads of these. And that's exactly what I did. I found a tutorial for an easy TNT dropper. The first time I did it, it did end up blowing itself up. But the second time, it actually worked quite well. So I made the decision to build loads of them. Oh, I'm very much hoping that all of these work. So if I keep spamming these switches, it should all just blow up the ground. Bro, this hole is going to be insane. Two thousand years later okay quite a successful result so far i'm just gonna grab a bunch of ores and then i suppose move on to the rest of it and now i guess it's just time to finish this hole it's probably gonna take me more than 10 hours Now, this is my second 100 by 100 area. It is very messy and it isn't all the way down to bedrock, but it's because it wasn't giving me that many ores and it did take me up to the 50 hour mark. But even though it didn't give too many ores, I still ended up with quite a lot. I think it's safe to say cave mining wasn't the best for diamonds, but it gave the most ores out of all methods. And look at all these ores. That is every single one of them placed into blocks. So maybe I am the richest Minecraft hardcore YouTuber now. I also added this up and total, it took me around 90 hours. So after all that, I hope you enjoyed the video. That was awesome. I'm so ready to see the next project. Zetro? I don't get it. Why are you silent? Well, just take a look. Ladies and gentlemen, I did in fact die in my 1.18 3700 plus day minecraft hardcore world so first of all i'm going to show you the clip leading up to it and then i think i owe you an explanation 21 wither skeleton skulls in just an hour and you know what that means we just have to go afk for around another 30 hours there's there's no way i Yeah, so on screen now is pretty much what happened to me. I was building a wither skeleton farm to get loads of beacons and the wither skeletons just weren't coming through. I went through the wrong portal and there were just like 75 probably plus wither skeletons just stuck there. Of course, crowding me. There was pretty much nothing I could do. And even though I died in my Minecraft hardcore world, at least that opens up doors for new opportunities. But I think first we should at least go back and look on what was Minecraft Hardcore Season 2. My first time being back on this world since dying. Of course, we've got the farm area. These farms, especially this sugarcane one and the bamboo one, literally took me days and days. We've got the wall over there with two names on. Of course, I died, but it was someone called OND that got their name on in this episode. We've got my house area. Look at this place. I never got to build a Minecraft mega base. This house is tiny. We've got all the villagers down here that were actually a lot neater, but now they've just gone and now they're 
there roaming everywhere. Oh, and who could forget the skeleton horses? Isn't one of them called Spooky or something? Oh yeah, Spook, there he is. We've got the extremely massive but useless and underused potato farm that I built. We've got the 200 by 100 holes, the really messy one that I built in the last video, and the clean one, which is now the most viewed video on my channel. So thank you all for that. But I honestly can't even believe that this world is over. In fact, before I leave, I have to visit the end. Possibly one of the biggest things I've ever done in Minecraft, transforming literally the whole end island. And unfortunately, this work is all just gone. And now I feel like we should just look back on some of the memories we had on this incredible world. What a time this was. This looks pretty cool. You know, it's not the most massive extravagant house, but I, I think it looks quite nice. You know, we've got the little entrance here. Six or, or seven. Nope six but i will take it six diamonds wow my friends would you look at this bad boy this is insane but here's my problem i can't put any more enchantments on my armor so i don't know if it's the way i did it or with the update changing you guys please let me know in the comments because i'd appreciate it maybe i have to make new armor this is looking insane all i need to do now is put the buckets of water in the dispensers all right so i've exploded how many stacks of tnt was that i'm gonna guess like 20 stacks or something i know it was around a third of the chest this right here, all these potatoes to place, took me like three days. It was such a hassle. And ladies and gentlemen, the base is complete. I think this is looking pretty amazing. Would you look at that? It feels so weird. I haven't seen it from this angle before. This this looks insane. So for the first time in like the past week after I've been getting all these ores, it's time to finally switch to the Fortune 3 pickaxe. So we all know the saying, when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. Unfortunately, in this situation, life didn't give me lemons. It gave me a Minecraft hardcore death. But I'm not going to let that ruin my dreams of having the best Minecraft hardcore world and being the richest Minecraft hardcore YouTuber. You see, I've wanted to make a new Minecraft world for quite a while. And the reason being, I never got to concentrate on making the best world and doing interesting things. I always just tried to do the big ideas that weren't necessarily the best for my world. Which is why I'm happy to announce that I'm going to be making Minecraft Hardcore Season 3 and making it my best Minecraft Hardcore world I've ever had. For me and for you, the audience. And if you're wondering when the first episode will be out, it will be May 28th, 2022. As this is actually the anniversary of when I became a full-time YouTuber. Which I think is perfect timing and I'm extremely excited. And I'm very excited as this will give me plenty of time to get the best episodes ready. And trust me, I've got some very cool projects I'm going to be working on. And as I sit here in the rain for the final time on my old house, have you ever wanted to play on this exact seed? Well, I've decided to leave that seed at the end of this video hopefully you can create an amazing world even better than this one and show me all your creations and i'm also gonna go one step further there's a chance that you've wanted to play this world before i am going to leave a link for the world download in the description for you guys to play to continue the journey and play around in this world so if you click the link click the drop down menu where it says hardcore s2 at the top download it put it in your saves folder and you should be good to go hopefully you enjoyed this video and i'm extremely excited for minecraft hardcore season number three oh yeah well what do you plan to do now? Well, I've actually started a new adventure. What? Like a new hardcore world? Yeah, I'm so excited. That's awesome. 